Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Oh no, my chat's disappeared. Why? Refresh. <laughs> good evening, Ellen and Yamino and Grebo and Mandy. A good evening, L Echo L and Obscure. Good evening, Jamil, Lucy, Antoinetta, Stephanie, Punisher, Mum. Good evening, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you all so much for joining me for another live stream. Have we? Have we now live streamed for seven days straight? Is it seven days straight now? Wow. Anyway, milestones. I mean, I can't compare with some people, to be fair, but I, I think we're pretty much up there. Also, that's annoying. That camera wasn't centered for the introduction. That's fine. Please don't mind the bar on <laughs> on that side on the rewatch. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. How's it going? How are we all today? Rachel, Breath Machine, me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. BB, hello. Lovely to see you all. Thank you again so much for joining. I hope you're all cozy today. I hope you've all got something to practice, got some self-care to practice, got something to keep you motivated, because boy, howdy, was there a lot today. Um, I didn't really catch... I didn't really catch most of it. Um, did I miss... Chat, can you let me know if I missed anything important? Did I miss... I missed anything important today? No. No, it was just pretty much the same? Pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> it was not the same. <laughs> it was not the same. Oh my god, it was not the same. Okay. <laughs> so, hello, Beth. So, this is a warning to anyone out there who gets big cases of the Onos. Oh um, it's not quite third degree secondhand embarrassment, but it is certainly um, anxiety inducing. Enjoy also, it has started to bucket down outside. So, we're all going to listen to the beautiful sounds of nature while we react to all of this. Um, okay. Because there are so ma only so many hours in a day, and once again we've hit a position of there's about eight hours worth of content to cover, this is the this is the plan. No, we'll do a summary and then we'll do the plan and then we'll do rude disclaimers. That that works. <laughs> Lucas, hello, lovely to see you. Lucas asks, are you a cute leopard print or an old leopard print kind of guy? Well, I did hear Foodie ragging on someone else's leopard print, so I thought in solidarity I would wear my own and be judged. And be judged. <laughs> so, okay. Summary of today. From Chantal's perspective, and then we'll go a little bit into Old Mate's perspective as well. Um, spoilers as well, we will be watching part of an Old Mate stream in this one. It is really, really, really required to hold the narrative together. I'm not a fan of watching him at all, but unfortunately it is necessary today. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Foodie has done, let's bring up the streams. Foodie has done six live streams today. There's one missing here, which we will be covering. The missing live stream was the first live stream today entitled, I'm sorry. We're going to watch like the first 10 to 15, maybe 30 minutes of that one because it really puts into perspective the rest of the day. Oh boy, does it put into perspective the rest of the day. Boomski, hello, thank you very much for being here for three months. Boomski says, I'm so behind. So excited to catch this live. Boomski, I will try to do it justice. There is a lot today. This is, again, the summary of the day. <laughs> If y'all aren't interested in watching three hours of me, I totally get it. If you do want to watch or listen to three hours of me and Foodie, I hope you're doing something productive with your time. Cross stitch, elliptical, planks, three hour plank, bring it on. <laughs> something. I just got home from, from um, the Jimmy Times, shoulders and back today. I am very sore, but hopefully, hopefully this very comfortable seated position will work well. Right, summary. So, one deleted live stream entitled, I'm sorry, Foodie, sorry to old mate because she keeps running her mouth. Right? Cool, cool. Into the next live stream entitled Lying P.E.O.S. Can't swear just yet. Daddy G will pull me up. Um, lying P.O.S. in which uh, Foodie figures that Old Mate has lied to her once again in some context or form. It's really... The thing that's really pushing Foodie over into let me spend six hours shit-talking Old Mate. Oh, swear jar. Um, really is the lie of is Dee Dee staying over? Are they... Are they... Um, are they more than friends? <laughs> Are they more? That's that's really the one lie that's getting her. Um, so that goes on for about an hour. Make me more mad is three hours. And to be completely honest, chat, the make me more mad three hour stream is probably going to be the one we skip over entirely. There's not much in that apart from Chantal literally asking to be more wound up. That's all it is. Chantal talks herself in circles. Chantal 
Chantel rather instigates the chat to just get her madder and she just she just gets real mad. Cool, cool. We then get to Pete's is a real man, which is a two hour stream where she tells us how Pete's will file charges and will come and protect her while she travels to old mates to pick up the CPAP machine. Um, turns out, in the end, Pete's does not accompany Chantel. Chantel does go to old mate's place. There is a, a back and forth through the front door where Chantel does not get her CPAP for a reason that I will explain in a moment. She does not get her CPAP. She gets back in the car, drives around for a bit, parks outside the front of old mates once again, and it's confusing because the police show up. In later streams, Chantel will say she was not the one to contact the police. We will figure that out as we go along, um, because I believe there were people in her chat saying, yeah, I did it, praise me. Blech. Um, <laughs> blech. So we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out as, as it goes along. Um, police get involved. The law show up. We then cut over to Old Mate's live stream, where we see the interaction between the police and Old Mate. So we'll watch that for context. Um because the Wee Woo Wagon arrived, and then cut back to, once that's finished, cut back to Chantel, he didn't give me the mask. Turns out, the CPAP machine is missing the power cable and the mask, and Chantel's upset, and then an hour and 43 minutes of a stream entitled Let's Bees, which we won't cover at all, because it's just the same stuff. Chantel gets high, Chantel just, just talks shit about old mate and Didi, and that's it. End. End of. A couple of things I think I missed in that summary. Um, Didi's there. Didi's at Old Mates. Uh, uh, there's something else. I know I'm missing... There's so much more in this. There's so much more in this. I've got it. Hold on, wait. We've got notes. Good thing I've got notes. Let me see, let me see. I will get to everybody's members membership messages in just a moment. Sorry, today's been a big day. And I really should have started with these notes that I literally pinned over in the Discord for a reason. Okay, summary time. Morning begins with I'm sorry. A soft approach to walking back old maid into the good books and convincing us he has she has proof rather that he and Didi aren't fucking. Right? Right. Followed by lying piece of shit. Foodie takes a shit while raging about calling old maid in the morning, asking for the CPAP. He wants her to come over, wants her to apologize the above, then later finds out Didi is in fact still there. Third live stream, make me more mad. Fruity talks herself in circles, shit talking, raging about old mate and Didi. We have been here before. Mate, past Zach has an apt, <laughs> an apt writing style. Next live stream entitled Pizza's a Real Man. Fruity's upping Pete's, convincing us Pizza's gonna square up against old mate, talking himself into going, sorry, talking herself into going over there to rescue the CPAP and bring Pete's as backup. Pete's does not come as backup. The stream ends with her having driven to old mate, police showing up to collect the CPAP from old mates and including multiple back and forth between Fruity and old mate through the front door and dueling live streams. With cut to old mate stream, let's have dinner, old mate and Dee cooking and shit talking foodie after the door interaction. Police arrive, the stream isn't on mute, we hear the full interaction with the cops and old mate. It devolves into old mate complaining about foodie deleting his live stream. She cancelled his phone and iPad service. That was the important talking point, I forgot. She cancelled his phone and iPad service, resulting in an earlier stream that he was on being cut short. And then him getting upset because he thinks it's deleted, we'll get into that. Cops take the machine, sans mask and power cord. Old mate expresses his interest in a restraining order and the chat learns that a judge is required to put that into effect. He didn't give me the mask. Current live stream, no mask, no power cord. Foodie rages, shit talking continues. Done. Great. Cool. If you want to sync notes like that, feel free to join the Pulpy Discord, no, Pulpy Syntax membership, which gives you access to the Pulpy Syntax Discord where you can read all of the things. <laughs> Carla, thank you very much for, read your, uh, for coming back, rather. As a channel member, welcome back to Popstar. And L, thank you for being here for 12 months, L. L says, thank you for all the quality content. Much love. Love right back, L. Thank you very much for hanging out with us for a full year. A full year. Thank you for being here. Right, Poppy's notes. Poppy's notes are done. <laughs> Poppy's notes are done. That's the summary. We're now going to get into the, the, the live stream. Uh, Lucy has a note for me. You missed two big reveals from the Make Me More Mad. Accusations of old mate speed addiction. Oh, God, that's right. Do we, did we get a... Did we get a, a timestamp for the speed addiction accusation and confession she was in the bed on New Year's Eve? Oh, yes, we knew she was there on New Year's. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we've got confirmation now, but but yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Cool. <laughs> Tanya says, spoiler, the split custody of the CPAP. 
<laughs> no, BB, so she she alleged Old Maid was addicted to speed in one of these streams. I don't know if we'll get there. If we find the timestamp, we'll do it, but... Oh, thank you, Lucy. You're a gem. Appreciate it. That is a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Mum. That is a lot. I agree. Ah! Domingo, thank you. 223 for the timestamp. I'm going to have to make a note of that one. Anyway, we, we better get started because we've got a lot to cover and a lot to talk about today outside of the... Outside of the summations, did anyone have any questions, any comments, any concerns about the summary before we move on? Oh, Echo, that's right. Thank you very much. Uh, also, in other news, Shannon has returned to the conversation, being um, friends with Chantel. I don't understand. I'm a little bit sus about it all. But then again, I don't follow the Shannon drama, period. Really? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> But Shannon's apparently friends with Foodie again, and, and uh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. A lot of concerns, says Unicorn. Yes, yes. Ozzy has a lot of concerns. Yes, understandable. Why did all of this happen? That's a really good question, Yamino. I can't tell you. L, thank you very much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. L says this is incredibly random, but you've inspired me to buy myself some new comfy pillows. Heck yeah! You deserve a quad, a good quality pillow team. I agree, El. You know what? I say you you deserve four good quality pillows, mate. Thank you very much for the super chat, El. That's very kind of you. And I hope you enjoy your good quality pillows. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone's just got concerns. Not a lot of questions. Right, cool. We're going to get into it. We're going to start off with this one. This is the now deleted I'm sorry stream. We're not going to watch all of it. We're just going to watch the first... The introduction of it, just to kind of get context for what the day looked like. The big scalding cup of tea. Got, got some soda stream. Rude disclaimers. Hi, my name's Zach. Lovely to meet you. If you're new, thank you very much for returning. If you are coming back, I'm not a mental or physical healthcare professional. Just go ahead and listen, wait, and talk about things on the internet and watches way too much foodie beauty. Also, not here to bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate. Literally here to talk about the produced and monetized content that we see here on this platform. It's all about choices. Choices to turn cameras on. Choices about the words that come out of our mouth. Choices. We are here to discuss choices. This is a choice. Let's get into the choice, mama. Let's go. We are at 1.5 times speed on this one, I think. Everybody. Hello? Good morning, everybody. There we go. Volume up. Oh, many more problems. Lucas has a question. Why did she choose this jumper? Um, I actually... Violence. She chose violence today. I have a new blues song. I have a blues song for you all. Uh-huh. I'm waiting for more people to come in before I sing it. This is last night's makeup. Do you know how I can tell you this was last night's makeup? Let's let's get in. Let's let's get into the gig, mama. This eyeliner mark up the top here, she gave herself this the morning beforehand. This is last night's makeup. Just a note, if anyone out there needs to hear it, please make sure you wash your face. Not the word I was going for. Um, please make sure you wash your face. Please look after your skin as someone who spends a lot of time looking after their skin because my, my younger skin was very problematic. Um, please look after your skin. Please care for your skin. Oop. Hi, I look like shit. Hi, Trixie, Penny, Colleen, Raquel. Who did I met? <laughs> Reported for drug use. This is tobacco. No, it's not. No, it's not. And you know what? This puts a really good start to the day because we know she drove at least an hour's worth today. Sure, it's just tobacco, ma'am. That is the same joint you were smoking last night. That is the devil's lettuce, and you cannot tell me different. Lemon Z. Jennifer Brown. I have a new blue song I want to share with you guys in a minute. Human Bean says, wash your makeup off and moisturize. Very important key, key step. Wash your face. You deserve a clean face. I agree. Denise. You're flying to Montreal? I'm sick of that fuck. I'm sick of Montreal. Are you? Midnight Sun. Leah! Stargazer. It's funny, because you were going to drive there the other day to meet your emotionary friend. It's very important I'll never let it go. Never let it go. <clears throat> You're the one who's in Jamaica, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, how is this song going to go? I have a new blue song for you. This is a blue song? Na, 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 na. I can't sleep now. Because I have no CPAP now. Uh -huh. na, 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 na. But there's something else in my heart. Hello, I'm so in love. <laughs> <laughs> You're off. I have to say sorry. You're off the melody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry to come on here 
and put you guys through this. Uh huh. Are you? Are you yeah. sorry? God damn! Does the day just devolve? <laughs> also, <laughs> Mary, thank you for the compliment. Lovely to see you today. Hello. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I shouldn't have smoked before doing this. This is 1.5. I 1. sincerely am... I'm sorry for... Purple, hello, lovely to see you. She's not this. sorry. No, she's not sorry. And... I guess I'm apologizing to Natter. Because... Okay. I freaked out and... Did you? This is just for context. We had a deal and we had a promise that uh -huh. I would not talk about him anymore. Uh-huh. And every time... <laughs> Every time I get mad and we get in a fight, I always come online and I always talk bad about him. Uh-huh. We're here. <laughs> we watch. <laughs> we know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think she's quite high in this. Quite high. Quite high. Anyway, um, that's the first four minutes. We have a lot to cover, so we might just skip to the last, like, five, see if there's anything interesting in there. Whoop, we've changed. Changed to the kitchen. Great. <coughs> If she can't hook me in the first, like, five minutes of a live stream, we're just going to click on through, because we've got a lot to do today. No, there's no treats up here. God, I don't care. <coughs> okay, I gotta go. Do you? Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Anna. Let's just skip through, see if we can find any more evidence of smoking. The devil's What did things. I do? What did I do? Oh. That breaks terms of service. By coming on here and telling you about something that, that happened. Or venting. What am I doing any different than other people coming on here and venting about stuff? Oh, she's mad. Like what? She went from high and sad and saying sorry. Ah, oh, there it is. More devil's lettuce. Very good. This is not tobacco, miss. You can't tell me otherwise. Scamming? Bullying okay. who? Okay, so I just wanted to check because I wasn't sure if she just had like that one little, one little toke early in the stream. But no, there is more evidence. There's evidence all the way through this, I imagine, of, um, of foodie beauty. Uh, smoking it up. She's not ripping bongs, which is a shame. I miss ripping bongs with foodie. Hmm. <laughs> I do. I miss ripping bongs with foodie. Anyway, that's how we started the day. Let's get to the next live stream entitled Lying POS. I got some stuff and I need to go poo poo. Y'all, if your fight or flight reflexes kick in on this stream, I understand. We're about to go into the the um, facilities with with the one, the only Miss Foodie Beauty, and it's not going to be muted. So grab a buddy. Go poo poos. She's gonna go poo poos. We're gonna go. Are you guys gonna come into collectively? We're going poo poos. The bathroom with me. Um, we are held hostage at this point, Miss. <laughs> Listen, <sighs> Lucy, Hi, thank Tiffany. you for the poo poos. Sorry. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry, but this has to happen over. This is and this is what we would call a rage poo. Yeah, Katie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we have... No, we won't go. Over. <laughs> and over. We don't need to get too graphic up in here. I literally go live. Why are you so loud? I literally go live. Okay. So loud. Sorry, I'm just flushing my poop. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up! <laughs> Chat, today's live stream is filled with anxiety and really tense moments, and I'm not gonna lie. I, I need to find the humor in it to get through. I do. I do. I really do. Um, Caitlin, thank you very much for being here for 10 months. <laughs> oh no. Poo-poos. I appreciate you being here, Caitlin. And yes, all of the poo-poos. I just needed to... Un hold on. I just needed to get this sound bite once again. And over. I literally go live. I literally go live. Okay. Sorry, I'm just flushing my poop. I don't understand. Chat, you're going to have to help me out there. Maybe this is a Canadian thing. Why is there poop in the bowl already? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did we walk into the bathroom to flush the, the toilet? Can someone help me out there? Because, like, that logic stream doesn't make sense to me. That's not how, that's not how we do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Boonski is yelling, it is not a Canadian thing. Okay, okay, okay. Lucy, thank you again for the movies. <laughs> I appreciate it. And Lucas, thank you for being here for 10 months. Thank you for the... This is It's a steaming trail of poo-poos. Yes, I agree. Um, okay, so... Flushing on the entrance to the toilet. That's a new one for me. 
I just, I have a lot of questions. I literally... <laughs> Could it be a northern versus southern hemisphere thing? Maybe. Go live. Hi, I'm just pooping. Okay. Lily pad, best of luck. We're going to sit here and um, indulge foodie. And say sorry. And I feel dirty inside. I feel dirty outside, Chantel. You mean, thank you very much for being here for nine months. I appreciate it. All of the poo poos. There's a lot of poo poos in today's stream. Thank you for being here. Lucy. <laughs> because, no. like, are you fucking kidding? So here's the thing this guy. Uh huh. I call him this morning. Uh huh. I, like, slept like crap. Like, I woke up choking, and it's been, like, three, what, four days now without my CPAP? We, like, we know, we know. You could have got, you could have brought it with you on your escape from Old Mate, but I've said that a million times this Call him, I wake up, I'm in my bed, I'm like, this is ridiculous, I need my CPAP. <laughs> Erin's is the best YouTuber apology ever. If only she were wearing a grey, like, sweat, sweatsuit. Sweatsuit? I call him, he answers. Hoodie. <laughs> Hoodie. We talk or whatever. Wants me to come over for sex. You just miss my dick, you don't miss me, you just miss my dick. Blah, 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 same thing. Right. Then, he's all pissed I talked about him online. And wants me to apologize. Uh-huh. Yep. So, this she's she's outlining a call that happened before the first live stream, the I'm sorry live stream. So, he's he's obviously had communication with Chantel today saying, hey, you need to apologize online, which is, which is entirely believable because we've had that as kind of a through point in the narrative from Chantel directly. So, what do I do? Um, I do it. Yes, Rose. There was nobody before. there with him. Like, when I called him, there was nobody there with him. Mm -hmm. Like, I could hear the iPad being loud. Like, I know that means that he's sleeping. Like, he sleeps with the iPad on loud. Uh-huh. But there was, like, nobody with him, and he was yelling, like, Didi, are you here? So don't do that. You'll get a better quality of sleep if you turn off your all your electronics. For, for me. Not a professional. But that's, that's how I fixed a bit of my sleep issues uh gravity thank you for being here for 11 months gravity says sending support and condolences to all canadians it's my fault i'm asking the wrong questions gravity for sure <laughs> thank you for being here he could try to prove to me she wasn't there uh -huh. told me he loved me like i love him i guess just seeing her there like and and him just treating her better than he treats me after everything i do for him yep. just fucking i can't get over it i cannot get over it so you made your choice Oh. You made your fucking choice, uh -huh. I told you. Uh-huh. So you know what? And he, had, he made a joke, like, are you going to go get beans or what? I need to make some falafels for Didi. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's a joke, though. I, I bet you it's real. Yeah, no, that's real. That's, there's nothing fake about that. <laughs> you're a liar. She doesn't sleep over. Really? So she just happens to be there every time you go live! Rage pooping. Rage pooping. We've all been there. Oh my god! I hate you! Oh I fucking god. hate you! I hate you so bad. I hate this! <laughs> I hate this. You drive me crazy. You make me look crazy in front of everybody. You make me look like a piece of shit in front of everybody, and then you're worried about what I say about you, make how it makes you look? You look stupid. You make yourself look stupid. And what? You think you're gonna have a better life with Didi? Are you fucking insane? You should be kissing my fucking ass. You should be licking in between my toes. And the phone is off, so guess what? Oh, you know what? And I'm not turning it back on. Get Dee Dee to do it. Call Talis Dee Dee in between your mmm, what is this sausage? We can I get this sausage? Oh yeah, I'm sure you love sausage. Oh, oh my god. I'm really, literally loving taking a shit talking about you right now. Here you go. <laughs> I'm flushing you. <laughs> I think that's been the best. I think that's been the best one all week. Girl, don't come for Dee Dee like that. It's your, it's ugh, God. <laughs> it's just no no one wins in any of these situations. <laughs> oh, Chantal. You out of my effing Be life. BB, this is where the big energy really started, you know? <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally insane. I'm insane. I'm flushing you out of my life forever. Goodbye. Uh-huh. But are you are you flushing before you leave the toilet, or are you leaving that to macerate? Just are you gonna come back for that one? <laughs> Shut up, Zach. BBJ, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. So anyway, you can all see there was a bit of a tonal shift, bit of a bit of a tonal shift today. <laughs> a little bit.
<laughs> a little bit. Let's see where we get to. I'm to clean my room today. I have to clean my room. I forget about this fucking asshole piece of shit loser. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that was the plan. Let's see. We're just going to skip ahead through this because I missed a little bit. We'll see if there's any interesting talking points. Spoilers. There probably won't be. It's just going to be her shit talking old mate Didi uh, because she's doing that for many hours today. And we really only need to hear it once. I mean, we've been hearing it all week, but let's and see. And saying something else online. That's uh -huh. why I'm fucking mad. I'm uh -huh. acting like something else online. Uh-huh. Like... Even if I talk shit about you for 80 years straight uh -huh. now. It, fe it feels like we're getting there, yeah. Still deserve, you You still should be kissing my feet. Right, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, skip. We're just, Would we're you just... not be fucking mad at this fucking asshole? I don't, I wouldn't Rubbing be with... it in your face, another I, person there. I wouldn't be fuck. with, I wouldn't be with this guy. Fuck you, fuck Didi. Fuck whoop, you both. Whoop, big energy. You fucking lying pieces of shit. Uh -huh. and you know what, Didi, you're a piece of shit too. You're a fucking, you're worse. You have no fucking backbone. Can't even... She is real mad at Didi. I don't know what Didi, what a... I mean, Didi's just there, hanging out with a mate, right? I mean, I'm probably underplaying the situation entirely, but that's what I could, that's what I can see. Elle, thank you very much again for the super chat. That's not at all required, mate, but I appreciate it. Elle says she's using the pooper symbolism for gonads. How <laughs> honors English queen. She, it's an, it, yeah, it's an analogy. She is, uh, <laughs> she is, she's flushing that man right out of her butt. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Elle. Answer the super chat where you're sleeping, right? Because he won't let you say. Denise, you oh, and I, same, same thoughts. Yeah, exactly. Someone same else thoughts. did your beck and call. Whatever, whatever. Oh, you could hear them kissing off camera? Bullshit. You kiss her, then that's your fucking I know, name. Lynn, the thing is, in, in, in everything that happened today, I'm just imagining, like, <laughs> Didi's just sitting back there being like, I don't know. She seemed awful calm for all of this chaos going on today. So maybe she's used to it. Maybe she's been through this before. Who the hell knows? But she she certainly seemed very composed in what I was seeing. It was wild. <laughs> That's really sad. That's what I feel like for both of them. She has even bigger lack of backbone. Because she knows. Like, you're so... Oh, anyway. <sighs> oh. Oh, I have to clean my car off again. It's the only reason I'm still home. <laughs> Fair hell. Didi's there for dinner and a show, peep. It does feel like that, yes. He's not live, so how am I going to tell him I need my shit? Oh, Grebo? I think... I think those are cicadas. Being real loud out there. Just I'm not leaving my fucking seat up there again. I'm tired and bitchy. Okay, and we, we know. We know. Tired and bitchy. We know. Louise, thank you very much for joining the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Popstar. I'm... I'm like, Chat, I'm, I know I'm going to skip through a lot of this live stream, but it's it's just the same. It's it's the sa it's the same. It's the same all day. We can just just pick a day this week and pick a live stream. It will be the same talking points with the same energy. Done. Skip. Let's see what happens. I literally hate everything about you. Like, how the fuck do I even know this guy? Sick AF. It is insects outside my window. Buzzy boys. Exactly obscure. Just a bit of nature. A bit of calming energy for this. I'm yes. well, you know. Oh, okay. So there's more smoking. This is definitely weed, by the way. Chat. These are these are her her, her pre-bought, premium printed, rolly situation type deals um, that she's been smoking weed out of all week. It's definitely not tobacco. Just a reminder that this individual then decides to go driving, you know, possibly under the influence. I'm gonna say inebriated inebriated impacted influenced by by drug use yeah probably all of those things i'm not going right now i don't want to go when she's fucking there she's always there go home you're stupid oh like do i look desperate like her one individual in this situation seems a lot calmer than the other that's all <laughs> i've never heard of this bitch before they're such good friends i've never heard of this bitch before i fucking ever before before now like that's a lie though because in the stream the other day Chantel got angry that old mate suggested going to visit Dee, Dee in Montreal and stay at Dee's place remember that was a very specific talking point we brought up so it's not like it was surprise it's Dee, Dee. it's it's obvious that old mate had had a conversation about her in the past with Chantel anyway just just a just a little historical note there where'd she come from where did any of these bitches come from what He's the king, bitch. But where did all these other bitches come from? Like, I'm what? the queen. <laughs> Skip. I'm half insane. I'm okay. I'm, okay. I'm just. Tell a novella, Ellen. I mean, you would be too. Tell a novella. 
<laughs> Punisher, I know. <laughs> I know, she's so bad. I love the thumbnail. Chantal, I like you, but this happens every week. I pray this time you stick to your guns and don't go back. You deserve better. <laughs> it really does happen every week, doesn't it? He's proven who he is. You're right. <sighs> You're right, but I was hopeful. He doesn't get it. Can people not... Do people not explain to him? Like, he thinks he's innocent. Like, he thinks he's completely innocent, and, like... We know, Chantal, he he's an asshole. The Move nerve. On. So use... R Ralphie, if you start shit, I'm gonna fucking punch oh. you. Watch out, Ralphie. <laughs> I'm kicking you out of here. Watch out, Ralphie. Ch Chantal chose violence today. Mary Sinshine. Hello, fabulous name. Thank you very much for joining the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Pulpster. She's literally sitting on... Maria, the chirping sounds in the background. Am I... Am I... Noisy boys outside the window. Chirpy boys. Well, chirpy boys in that they are not birds, but they are insects. Just a little bit of calming nature, you know? We like I nature. I right now. You don't want me to be mad? Shut up, Dee Dee, you fucking librarian. Oh, she's now watching Old Mate stream. This is the one that she got cut off because she, she logged in to her phone account or whatever and cancelled the iPad and... And that kind of shut the stream down. So, anyway, Charlie, thank you very much for the super chat. I very much appreciate it. Charlie says, he said there was a restraining order. He lied. He said there was a restraining order. He lied. Old mate said it about Chantel. Is that the thing? Because in one of the streams, he speaks to the police officers about restraining orders. Um, and they say, nah, mate, you're going to need to go before a judge slash the court to to get that one sorted. We can't help you there. But, um, but anyway, but if, if you do have any more clarity on that statement... I'll keep an eye out in the chat. Brittany, thank you very much for the super chat. Brittany says, I wish you stream sometimes earlier. Sorry, I'm always going to bed when you're coming on. I'm very sorry, Brittany. The unfortunateness of time zones. I wish, right? But the good thing is, at least that way you wake up and you've got like a five-hour stream to catch up on if that suits you. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat though, Brittany. Go back to Montreal. These people are going to piss me off, I swear. Do you mean Montreal? They're going to piss me off. Montreal. Yes, my bed. I slept in it every single night he lied to you. Uh -huh. I was there all through the holidays. Uh-huh. <gasps> tea. It's stale and cold tea, and we all know she was there through the holidays, but whatever. <clears throat> Sabrina, why did you unmod? I didn't. Just just that she... Would we consider that a lie? <laughs> Which, would we consider her not telling us where she was during the holidays a lie? Probably, yeah. A lie of omission. Passion too. Oh, Beep says after that not mute mute muted jeez. <laughs> after that not muted cop bit, he claimed that a restraining order was in the works. Well, fair. I mean that'll that'll take a process, I imagine, if it is actually happening through the through the courts, but um Okay, thank you for the clarity, Beep. I appreciate it. Ugh, I'm not watching him, fuck it. Okay. She clicked into a stream for like three minutes, so skip. We have a message for him. I fucking hate you so much. A lie of omission? Nice. <laughs> I'm a stalker. Well. Please. There's a lot. There's, look. No, I'm, I'm just saying there is repeated behavior of you doing this. I'm not going to let anything happen to peace. Are you kidding? Nothing will happen to peace. Exactly like that, Tanya. Yes. You think any, I, no one's going to let anything happen to peace. Pizza's not going to let anything happen to Pizza. I'm not going to let anything happen to Pizza. Pizza's going to sit in his room and get mad on the internet. That's what Pizza's going to do. Emily, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Emily says, 40 pounds down and just happier in general watching this rage. Miss Rager. Thank you very much for the super chat, Emily. Chat, can we get some hands up and some love in the chat for Emily? Congratulations on 40 pounds down, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you for taking your health and yourself seriously, mate. I hope the... Health gurney continues well for you. Thank you very much for the super chat again. And chat, thank you all for being wonderful, mature, and here for the shenanigans. I appreciate all of you. The outpouring of love is fabulous to see. Sorry, chat. I just have my window open and it's a little bit oh, rainy. Ah. Right, let's go. Without anybody going to jail, so... Am I coming back? Okay, I came back. Sorry, chat. Booped out there. Possibly the rain. Possibly a storm. Possibly just, you know, the Australian internet is run by hamsters, so sometimes they get a little bit tired. Right. <laughs> We're back. Apologies for everyone. Apologies to everyone for that. Um, Pete's saying something about his social security number. This is... I didn't catch this before. 
hopefully it's not too in depth. Hi, Pete. Hi. Terrible news, Vince. My social insurance number has been suspended. Oh no, I'm on a live stream. Bad nothing matter. Yeah, here. He's a piece of shit. Okay, well he knows she's on the live stream. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what social security is for Canadians. So, anyway, <laughs> just a note. <laughs> You've been talking about for how long? I know. You've been thinking for how long? I know. Yes. On a totally unrelated note, if you ever want to talk, I am here for you. Oh, it's like Send Link Mandy. Okay. I hate them. I'm in the future. Mary, I am. 7.45 p.m. here. Should I just go and bang on the door and, like, get my stuff? Probably. Turns out that's exactly what happened. Really? You want to come with me? Um, I do have my therapy appointment in 30 minutes. Oh, no, yeah, later. Maria, later. that's what I thought. I, I, it's confusing that a, a, a number would be suspended. I don't understand. Like, I understand payments being potentially suspended, but a, but a number? It's just a number. It's like a... It's... Later. What? But, yeah, I, um, I'm absolutely <laughs> going to kill you. I can just stay in the car with the... Uh, Charlie, they were a lot today. one dialed. <laughs> and my finger and my thumb is hovering over the, the one. No, I don't think you should go. Shout out to Pete's. Oh, uh, every, literally everyone in the chat is being like, it's a scam, Zach. It's a scam. <laughs> my dumb ass is sitting here being like, wait, is it like a tax file number? <laughs> Why would that ever get suspended? <laughs> uh, exactly. People are in Australia like, that I am. <laughs> have it ready so that, yeah. If he comes uh, over to the car shouting, I will actually hit the one right away. And tell him that I have. Sorry, what? I will actually hit the one right away. Yeah. Oh, Pete's is saying that he... Okay, so this is the part where Pete's is saying that he's going to go with, with Foodie and he's going to have the, the police on speed dial, which is a little ironic considering his his recent views on um, uh, policing. But whatever. Anyway. Also, I spent the entirety of today laughing to myself thinking that like we the spoilers we eventually get the police involved today me just sitting here being like it is interesting to consider Chantel still doesn't pay her taxes but anyway With the car shouting I will actually hit the one right away again team you know I'm a little bit grim at times and in all honesty you just have to have a bit of a laugh with all of this BS today because this is her reality not mine I'm just here to watch my stories the stories were pretty good today and tell him that I have Good morning, Wonder Woman. Hello. <laughs> but it's lovely to see you today. But it says, oh, mate, it was hyped hearing James was going. He was jumping up and down. He's clapping. He was hyped and high, and it was disgusting. I can imagine. Can you use? So. I can imagine it, yeah. I'll put this back down for Casey. He does like that thing. All right, let me think about what I need to do. We <laughs> know. Some paper dolls later, maybe obscure. I know what you need to do. Oh, Sam. You need to kiss Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're the boy. Oh, oh, oh. No. Jen, I honestly, oh, oh, I honestly have n no idea when repercussions for the taxes will be a thing. I, I honestly do not know. It's okay, Sam. Okay, Sam. I do know that the, like, Canadian tax office has, like, guidelines outlining, like, what you're supposed to do, but I have no idea. <laughs> Sam! Isn't he cute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's... Oh, Mary, Chubby it is boo. English breakfast today. With a tablespoon of stevia. Deleted my live stream from last night because... Uh, oh, you're raging? It was pretty clear, pretty quickly. I that thought so, Pete. It was just going to be a whole bunch of... Similar to our tax file numbers. A whole bunch of shit comments. Yeah. Right. Like, we spoke about that yesterday. We're going to skip ahead. Bye, Pete's. Not really playing a large role in today's episode, anyway. Keep it pumping. Let's go, hamsters. I shut the phone off. Right. Yeah. I'd rather hear him cough. <laughs> oh, the coughing makes me insane. Olivia, I'm looking for me and Ray Chevys. I'm sorry to bring this on you guys. Now we have his, him and his channel singing. Buffalo raging. I need my. What did he say? I, 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 I,
Oh. Someone else tell him to start packing my stuff in my blue flower bag. And I want to see Ooh. it go on the porch. I'll go get it. Oh, buttered crumpet. That's awful. I want to go get patties anyways and coffee. No, I I'm glad I didn't catch any of that. Right literally, literally, I only clicked into um to old mate stream to watch what was happening with the police drama. But yes, he is the worst. Agreed. No, he won't. Blue flower bag, Jughead. Go. Beep asked an important question: How does shutting the phone off delete two videos? Well, she te she te sorry she shuts off service to the iPad as well, which we later find out she's also shut off the Wi-Fi. Um, so the iPad is cellular to what we believe. So she's shut off service to that. So the live stream gone through the iPad as cellular service gets shut off. Live stream gets shut down. I don't actually think it gets deleted though. So I think if, if anything's getting deleted, we know Chantel has access to his channel. So Chantel goes in and deletes. She's gone in and deleted live streams before. So it wouldn't surprise me that she shut off the service and then went and deleted his live stream. It comes up as conversation in a little bit as well. No, I want to see him pack it. Oh, she reads those. Oh, Grebo confirms. She said she went in and deleted it. Blech. Well, not couple. Yeah, you are a couple. I wanted to gauge Nana's response. I messaged him. Oh. Yeah. How do you shut off the iPad? Ooh, I can disable the device from remote. There it is. Right. Okay, we like we went through this last time. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what situation you're in. Logging into someone else's account and deleting their shit is is not cool. Not cool. Somebody. Not cool. Was she just dancing? I'm gonna punch something. What can I punch? She's really upset with ZD. Make a it really like it, it just I don't know throughout the entire day it really seems like she's putting more attention towards DD than old mate and it's just I don't know it sits weird with me it's I don't know it. I don't understand it because I'm trying to apply my own reason and logic to it and it's not making sense go now I don't want to go now also, look at the hand what is what me just noticing my plants are getting bigger in the background good job guys good job team dance move oh my god I'm gonna freak out choices Punisher like, choices just this morning what did I see Sometimes I have moments of clarity, and sometimes I'm just so fucking stupid. <sighs> Do they have any meat patties left? Does anyone know? I want him to pack my stuff now. Stace, hello, lovely. He doesn't get it. This today. is like my... I know I said I would get all new stuff, but like this is like... I need my machine like to sleep with today. <laughs> I can't just go and buy a new machine like it's nothing. I need my prescription and everything. Okay, we're going to skip ahead. Let's go. Well, I, I don't know. I just... So many live streams. So little time. <laughs> I will. Plain cheeseburger. I'm going to get off here. Where's the eggplant? The eggplant's back there. It's not dirty underwear. It's my machine. It's behind oh. one of the plant boys. I think that's funny. See, he doesn't care. I'd turn around more, but, um, yeah, like I said, shoulders and back today. Bit sore. Okay, done now. Whoop. Done now. Right, so that was lying POS. We then get into make me more mad. Um... We'll watch this for a little bit. We'll cut to that particular clip. My underwear? Oh. I'm sure you wear granny panties, honey. I seen your toiletries. Okay, so we're just dual live streaming now. Like I said, we've been doing this a lot this week, but we'll we'll get some we'll get some context. It's fine. Okay. You read Deep Reader's Digest at work. Smoke alarm, hello. You go on knitting dates with your friends and you fucking wear granny panties. So don't be making fun of my sexy underwear, which by the way are still in the drawer uh -huh. on my bedside, and uh -huh. I need them. I need my lingerie back so that uh -huh. I can go have sex with someone better than Nather. Uh -huh. Okay, priority on the CPAP, though. Yeah. Priority. <sighs> Are we smoking more? Okay. But chat, my dumb ass thought she literally had one smoke this morning. Turns out she's been smoking weed all day, and now she's going to take a half an hour drive to Old Mates. Interesting. Definitely driving under the influence. I am a layperson. That's my opinion. Ladies, <clears throat> never let a man get you like this. Never let a man make you like this. Accurate, but applies to everybody. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, everybody. Never let anybody let you get like this. Do not do as Chantal do. Do the opposite. 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 Yeah, I, I cut off the iPad, but I don't think that's what happened. I don't know. Did it? I cut off the iPad, but he called me on Messenger after that. Probably give me shit. Oh, you're going to give me shit? 
For defending myself against you? Fuck you. You want to laugh about selling my CPAP? Fuck you. Oop. And just a F you just because you deserve it. <laughs> I'm just saying good to hear. <laughs> I look like such an idiot. How many just a while ago? Agreed. I'm sorry to Nagger for talking about him online. Well, no, I mean that too, but also here. Ugh. Foolish, foolish. Such an idiot. Foolish. Okay, we're going to skip ahead while she... Man, I, I really do miss the bomb. Let's go. Where is this person coming from? Oh. That's okay, Tiffany, I know. Blondie, that's exactly what I thought. She said she needed a uh, prescription for the CPAP, and I thought, when was the last time you actually went and, like, got tested? Like, when was the last time Foodie did a sleep test? I think she... Well, we know she did one because we did that retro react the other day. She did one just before the hysterectomy, or was meant to. I don't know if that actually went ahead. Um, so at least a couple of years. L, no one's responsible for her mental health. She is. That's it. Period. Other people can impact it, really? yes, but you have to be the adult to say, I don't want to be around these people, you know? Mm. I mean, other people can be kind and understand when they're impacting other people's mental health and not, like, aggravate it, which is not what's going on here. The, all of the worst is happening on screen currently, but, you know. Like Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Monkey, I think she'll be back together by the weekend, personally. Love to be proven well, I asked wrong. I to visit him when he was live a couple of nights ago. That's why she's there. Don't get me wrong. He always says, come visit. Like, and if you're with somebody, you're supposed to fucking ask. He doesn't care. Like, he doesn't, like the same thing with May. Didn't ask me about that. He just fucking go to a hotel room and meet another person. Like, and just casually mention that. Like at the time he told me. Not going to talk about May too much because we were all there when it happened. We, what I will say is that Foodie attempted to present an alibi to that entire situation and then said he never went to that hotel he never he never he never and then walked it back when she got mad and said yeah he went there but it was only five minutes what's going to happen in five minutes and then decided what was that really problematic thing she said a really problematic thing she said about sperm something something really ignorant and ridiculous and abhorrent you know Something classic foodie. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, we were all there. But uh, just, just an interesting point of historical note. told me about May. It was very casual, very vague. And I was just like, okay. And he told me, like, a fan, crazy fan wants to go meet him or something like that for food. He didn't think she would do it. So, what, am I, what was I getting at? Yeah, and it was just like, you didn't tell me till after she came and gone that you even went to meet her. And I was there that day. Like, what? Like, this guy is just like, I don't know. Uh, in essence, the way Foodie's telling the story now is not how she painted it during the situation. Oh, God. Skip. We gotta skip. Skip, skip, skip. Making fun of my underwear? Really? No one cares if I'm people... People have been making fun of people's underwear since time immemorial. Move on. No one cares about anyone's underwear. AMC, you welcome to very important users. Ready, set, please. Skip. Rather live with Dee Dee than me? Please. Skip. Uh... I know, me too. Skip. He didn't. That's not really from Matter. Can you check if it's really from him? He wouldn't do that. Missy Moo, is that for real? For real? Oh, I see, L. Right. Gotcha. That's not funny. Thanks for the clarity, mate. Hello, Timid. Lovely to see you today. Well, good morning. What a time to be awake. Skip. Skip. Wow. Good timing here, Zach. Like Let's random go. women. Like, what the fuck is your problem? I'm not allowed to talk to people? No! No! No, I'm not! So you're not! Like, right. oh my god, he's frustrating. Right. Oh my you, were, you weren't dating, though. Like, you dated for five days. Oh, and then we get to watch... No, what are we watching here? What is this? Fiddy, what are we watching? Oh, we're watching the stream? Oh, we're just waiting on the stream to start. Okay, we can just skip this. It's fine. Oh, look, pizza's back. Is he worth losing fan friends? Hello. Hello. Get out your school. <sighs> I just, I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like any of them. I like it sharp. I'll just be bashing him with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that a threat of violence towards someone, Pete? Just, uh, just gonna... DC, the mess! DC, the messiest mess. The messiest mess I have ever seen. This was a lot today. And good luck to everybody who covers it. All of the compilation channels. 
everybody, ev everybody who had to sit through the eight hours of mess, plus whatever Old Mate was producing today, mess. And I do love a mess, but this was this was an anxiety-inducing mess. Mess. <clears throat> Is it worth losing fan friend sanity? No. Get out your sword. <coughs> Not like it's sharp. Gecko, you'll catch up. It's okay. I'll just be bashing him with it. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, we're just we're just noting how much she's smoking today, and then decides to drive to go see old mate. You know. Choices. And I think choices. I get like maybe two bashes in before it just completely broke. Mm -hmm. Before the blade just completely came out of the handle. So, yeah, not a good option. Yeah, like holding my friggin' CPAP hostage. And no doubt when you go over to get it, his uh, plan is to try to keep you there. That turned out not to be his plan, Pete. No. Don't leave. Lemon Z, you just gotta make those two hits count. <laughs> this is just a note to anyone. You know what? Don't leave shit behind. Period. Just don't. Pack your shit and go. Take that iPad. No, I don't care. Also, about that I hope none of you have to experience the type of like relationship we've seen Foodie and Old Mate live out on this public platform for money for eight months. I hope none of you have to live through that because it's everybody deserves better. Um. But just a note, just take your take your stuff. Take your stuff or take the loss. That's it. If you're leaving something behind, make sure it's that something that you can live without. Because you may never see it again. Don't let it be your CPAP machine. I just want uh, my CPAP. But Good pause. Anyway, Thanks even regardless me. of that, I just... Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, she had it and brought it back multiple yeah. times, baby. Multiple Hello, times. welcome to Very More Beasts. Ready to be strong. Mm. Yeah, just got up by uh, therapy. <laughs> Beep, oh all God, three. Went okay? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Talked about the... Uh... Did he just say he got off his therapy? He did. Did he have this therapy this time last week? No, he didn't, because it was the it was Friday. It was a Friday, right? It was a f I think it was a Friday? I don't know, sorry. Something, something here smells a bit sus with the therapy and the cat appointment. It smells sus. I don't trust it. Mm-mm. Talk about how my brain is a jerk. <laughs> I, <coughs> Your brain's a jerk? You know yeah. what? I, I love mental health chat. I'm a layperson and don't understand a lot. Um, I'm not really interested in talking about Pete's mental health today. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There was a lot going on today, and talking about your brain is not it for me. Thank you. I'm doing the singing. I'll make hot dogs soon, I guess. Yum. You want some? Yep. Oh, L, absolutely. BB and I, when Old Mate and Chantel first got together, BB and I were like, yes. <laughs> this makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, BB, one of my fabulous mods in the chat. Shout out to all the mods in the chat, by the way. Shout out to the mods. You're all fabulous. Love having you here. And everybody in the chat, even the lurkers, you all make this community what it is. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being here, being as respectful and filled with shenanigans as possible. Now, the conversation that BB and I had privately, not privately, but as individuals, um, BB is often very, very right about Chantel's uh, intent when it comes to the romantic relationships. Um, because it makes sense, right? It makes sense to leave something behind and be like, oh, it's an excuse to go back and, and pick something up if I ever need to, to return. And I think, was it uh, Smoky Mark and Steve mentioned it on their Sunday stream, I think? Um, uh, he specifically mentioned leaving boxes behind as a reason to like go back if you necessarily needed to. Um, but it makes sense. Like we we all we all know what she's doing. It's a choice to leave a life saving piece of medical equipment behind. It's not the right choice. Lingerie, sure. CPAP machine, no. <laughs> How many do we have left? Because I know you had I know you had uh, something yesterday. What? Or was it this morning? How many of what? Hot dogs. Oh, a lot. There's a lot. There's, they're okay. huge, too. Actually, what I should be asking is how many buns left. All of the buns. Hmm? All the buns. Okay. All right, so, uh, three. I'll have three hot dogs. <laughs> Eyelashes, yes. CPAP, no. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> baby. <laughs> no, he's not. He asked me for money. Like, the other day, so. Did he? Well, you bought him cigarettes the other day. Let's, let's just... Keep up! Let's go. Let's go. This is all very familiar Good. age. Good. We'll do it. I want my... Uh, hi, Angel Rose! Welcome to Report B3 Sabies! 
I'm gonna say you're gonna get rage fatigue today, chat, if you watch the entire thing. <laughs> I don't care. Not it. <laughs> yeah, when he says he doesn't need my money, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking lying. Well, Mary, that's the thing. She's been sleeping without the CPAP for quite a while. So it is. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure she's not getting good quality sleep at whatsoever, but she never seems to. It, it seems like she only gets, like, four hours three times a day or something. We'll see, we'll see. Mm. What was that sound? <laughs> Hi, sweetie! Want to get her some vanilla ice cream? Look how old she is! Skip, skip, skip. This is just them watching each other stream and blah, 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 blah. He used the merguez. He used the scallops the other day. Effie, thank you for the super. I think there's just some chicken legs. Thank you for the compliment, rather. I appreciate that. Okay, watch, he's gonna make chicken legs. Wait, uh -huh. what else is he gonna make? Uh -huh. No one cares. Chantel bought old mate groceries. All the tea is cold and stale. Yep. Yeah. Eating cheese while talking about a suicide couple. <laughs> Whatever. I mean. And now you're making. Do you people not eat sandwiches and watch crime documentaries? And now you're making mad money. Yeah. I mean, she's making mad money. Mad. Mad as in. It doesn't angry. seem right somehow. Angry mad. Oh, these are beauty, dude. <laughs> Has welcome back. Congratulations. Hope you had an enjoyable workout. Skip. I need a hot dog. Plain hot dog. Oh, God. She's not even there. Oh, good. Big chunks of Skip. No, um, oh, we're eating. Okay, fab. Honestly, it's not that I wouldn't do Okay, the more, the more I'm staring at this heart-shaped necklace, the more I think it looks like a shark tooth, and she is she's wanting to be a surfer real bad. A girl? I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know. But I definitely don't feel like dating anybody right now. Um... <laughs> But won't you date? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Didn't you say you were dating someone though? Someone in <laughs> someone in <Quebec>? Angler fish. <laughs> okay, skip. We don't need to watch this. We don't need to listen to the clicking. We'll look at him differently. It's fine. Skip. 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 No one cares. They could be a fucking sexless android for all I give a shit. Hmm. And yes, I do feel a bit threatened by another woman sitting on my man's bed. Oh, sorry, not my man, right? Because he tells you we've only been together for one week, but all the evidence suggests otherwise, but that makes a lot of sense, right? Right? Chat, help me out here. Yes. <laughs> yes, it makes a lot of sense. Yes. Because you weren't dating. Because it takes two people or more's consent to say, yes, we're dating. So it seems like you were the only person saying you were dating. We've been here before. Mm. I, I, I don't say anything because I don't really care because I know what happens behind the scenes. She doesn't care. Anyway, I have proof. So. She knows the truth. Oh, and the proof that she, the proof she actually put up. Let me see if I can get it. Me. These are beauty. This is a library. <laughs> I love you today. She is. I know. Okay, so she put up a community tab right? post. We can have a look at that one. Just speaking of proof, this was two hours ago and edited. Hold on, let me get let me get this up. Get this up. This is good. This is good. Okay, foodie beauty, foodie beauty voice. <coughs> Sorry, but I just want to close this chapter with proof that he does tell me does does tell me he loves me. This is just one message. I'm not going to release all our DMs, but I just wanted to prove that there is a lot that has gone on behind the scenes. I blocked out his already doxed numbers. I love you too. I want to tell you important thing. Do you have to know really serious? Call me now. I don't think there was a phone call there. This is me. I love you honestly. And I sure do. You know I do. Know that you love me. I never believe the game with you. I will something something what. Great. Well. Proves nothing that more than he is a manipulative asshole, as we have, uh, as we have all knew. We've all knew. Brittany, thank you again for the super chat. Brittany says, before I go to bed, I do love your chat and I love the people in it. Well, excellent. I mean, they can all read that compliment, but I agree. <laughs> if it wasn't for you and FFG's community, I wouldn't have made it through my treatment. Just keep king. Thanks to all of you. Brittany, thank you very much for the super chat and for the kind words as well. That's, that's lovely. I agree. I agree. I am very thankful and very grateful to this corner of the internet for providing a lot of shenanigans and, and all of the fabulous people in the chat who, um, who unpack this ridiculousness with me. Find inspiration and motivation in all of this mess and go out and live 
better lives. You know what I mean? Thank you for the kind words and for the super chat, Brittany, once again. And I hope you rest well, and I'm sure we'll see you later. <sighs> well, Misha, I'm afraid if I show something, he's going to do the same thing. And he has a lot of sex videos about me. Would I expect Old Mate to release DMs? Mm, maybe. Could happen. Who knows? Like a lot. I, I don't, I honest to God, hope and don't think it would be sex videos. We did get that, that foot kissing still from Old Mate. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's nebulous. We'll, we'll find out though. Get hell. I am. <laughs> L. L says, <coughs> someone said that was on it's January 7th, no. which was three breaks up, breakups ago. That makes sense. That makes sense. Sorry, I have a huge zit. I want to pick it. Oh, God. Skip it. Skip it. Don't. Oh, you're going to be fine. You just want to get away. Like, you accuse me of just wanting to get away. I could smell something coming on that you want to go to the hospital. You just want to get away. Like, I just want to get away. Like, he thinks I come up with excuses to get away. The fact that I have to come up with excuses is your answer. Like, you get so fucking pissed off. Like, so pissed. And I don't want to start anything. So, for you to sit there with Dee Dee is a huge slap in the face because... My childhood trauma? I don't know. But, yeah, humor. You ruined your own reputation, exactly. I've never had to talk about this about, like with BB, never. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Everyone in this situation seems not great, but that's just, it's just my perspective. You don't need to listen to me. It's fine. Cookie, thank you very much for the super chat. Cookie says, to be honest, she is revealing, rev revealing, oh my God, Zach, learn words, reveling in the attention and the drama. I agree. She's going to reframe this as passion and be back to normal by mm, Sunday. Yeah, I reckon so. If it's not over the weekend, if Dee Dee doesn't leave on Friday, I think it'll be Monday. Yeah. I think if Dee Dee's staying for the weekend, it'll just be um, rage, 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 eat, 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 poop, poop, rage and eat. Um, through until probably Monday, and then we'll get radio silence, and then we'll be um, streaming from from the outhouse, most likely. And he's so rude to Pete. He is really disgusting. We know, right. like bad. We know, and yet he's been disgusting and bad towards Pete's for ages, and you keep going back. So help help you, me you make like that sense man, coward piece no. of crap. help me make sense of that yes. like talking to pete's like that really like you you're so threatened by pete's i don't get it no but like i mean you have another woman there for the week you have some fucking nerve like i think it's i think it's because in this well i mean Again, applying logic and reason to a, this situation, which doesn't work at all, ever. Um, Pete spoke shit about Old Maid on the internet. Dee Dee has not spoken shit about Chantel on the internet. To my knowledge. At least to the degree that Pete's went after Old Maid. Again, all trash, toxic garbage, but... I, I don't know. Other woman there. Also, Dee Dee doesn't seem to have a public platform to facilitate that but in the bed we whatever. just shared i might be wrong I i'm on, i'm honestly not digging too much into that and you're gonna cry i spent a week in bed with you when you're sick i brought zinc lozenges i brought emergency i made soup um we laughed at your jesus boogers together excuse me like literally it's like off camera like when we're together and it's good it's so good like i miss that so oh bad and God, shut up <laughs> heard her so many times why did dd sign up for this how embarrassing and boring <laughs> right you're embarrassing dd why would you sit there Pulpy's pronunciation cell yes or like your whole trip to talk shit about me hmm. oh vegan poop you can eat shit i hate you wow sorry rip vegan poop i guess well it, all his chat is my freaking uh disgruntled haters dd is gonna share his youtube money you better enjoy it while it lasts to be fair, he got a lot of views today. Just as a note. He's a stupid bitch and I'm going to get my stuff and done with this ugly face. Okay. He looks sick. Chat, we need to clarify it was not soup that she made. Hot wet chicken. Hot wet chicken. Oh, wait, is someone talking about Chantal's appearance after she said it was wrong? Exactly. Oh, sorry, L. What is that? You fucking hypocrite? Oh yeah. 
Chantel, mate, what did you do? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, Rhonda, thank you. Chantel, I'm sorry. The the big hypocrite here is Chantel. Chantel ripping on Dee Dee for the way that she looks. Meanwhile, you talk you talk about the way that Chantel presents herself on camera. You are the worst human in history. Chantel can do it, but you're not allowed. See? See how this I'm works? Anywhere lazy? Oh, yes, I am. Ellie, you gotta learn, mate. <laughs> Here's 10 for you and your beach whale. Now I get something to... No, they're gonna need groceries. He made a joke about that this morning. Are you Phoenix... coming? Because uh, we're running out of groceries. Sorry, Phoenix Wright. I just have to say that's said exactly well. Yes. To cook for Dee Dee. Exactly. Yeah, you're not joking, though. Watch his vegetable tray. It's not, I'm not there to replenish his vegetable tray. Oh, he'll get his YouTube money, actually, this week. Sorry. Yes, so yeah, will you. We'll see. <laughs> He wasn't joking, I know. He said that to me. He did. Because I would? No, I wouldn't. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, Something. yeah, she's so poised. Oh, okay. Talk more shit about Didi, Chantel, miss. And again, chat, you have reminded me of one thing as well that I think in context is very important. Didi's already visited once. Didi came down and hung out with old mate. Chantel got, like, up, kind of upset, but not to this level of, of upset. And then Didi left. And then Chantel got back with old mate. And then Chantel left. And then Didi came down. And this all played out at pretty much the same time last month. So if you missed that, you're not missing much by catching up here. Uh, but anyway, just an important note. Cycles, you know, cycles. He's such a fucking ass. I can't wait for him. Oh man, I can't wait for his downfall. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. <clears throat> Remember when Chantal used to say she's a good person? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime Chantal says she's a good person, I'm going to remember that specific clip. I can't wait for his downfall. All right, miss. I'm bringing him with me and you're not going to do fuck all. He's actually going to yell pussy to you out the window. Oh, yeah, he will. I understand, Elle. That's fair. Yeah. Got to know the limits, yeah, you know? Mean. Who are you going to get to film your videos? The porch lady? Huh? Your porch hooker, give her an STD <laughs> with your poppers and the speed I shot out the window because you couldn't stop taking. Yeah. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Hold on, we can rewind. We can rewind. Let's live through that in uh, in reality time. Here we go. Porch lady. Uh-huh. Huh? Your porch hooker, give her an STD <laughs> with your poppers and the speed I shot out the window because you couldn't stop taking. Yeah. Not Whatever. Not Go take more speed. Huh. Alright, so Foodie's alleging that old mate is um taking speed. Interesting. Now, I don't understand why she's mad at Poppers. No one should be mad at Poppers. <laughs> it's fine. Um speed, interesting note. Uh Chantal continues to speak very poorly of other individuals, uh, including the woman on the porch. So, what a surprise. Um, Chantal's the worst. Anyway. Fuckery. Thank you very much for the super chat. Lovely to see you today, Fuckery. Fuckery says she can't wait for his downfall because she, he doesn't want to be with her ultimately. It's a little sick. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Fuckery. Thank you for the super chat. I think in from where I sit in a grander scheme of things... They're all awful to each other, and so, God, I wish they were just out of each other's lives. Um, but Chantal really just keeps keeps, keeps going back, right? Right? Um, no one deserves to be treated like anyone in any of these situations, but she, she just keeps going back, you know? <sighs> anyway, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Fuck me. Fucking loser. Whatever. A fucking liar. I have something else to say. Yeah, you're a speed addict. <sighs> okay. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Okay, so we're alleging to old mate being a speed addict. Right. I'm just rewinding in my mind where Chantel was getting really upset at old mate being called Koki. And it really, you know what? It really does come down to the the specificities of the English language. It really does, it really does. 
Remember all of those times when she kept saying, I haven't done cocaine since July 8th. I haven't done cocaine since July 8th. Was Chantal doing speed? Chantal doing speed? Is that... Is that how that works? She's drug... She's drug shaming now, chat. You're all hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, she is. Do yeah, fuck with me. Poppers and coconut oil, exactly. All Natter saw was a low self-esteem Caucasian lady. Yeah, people can't call him Koki. Speedy. Speedy is the... Is the correct terminology. I'll have, have everyone know. Oh, there's a pleasure for my board. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. Just watch. Uh huh. Uh, from Doctor Daddy G. Speed is a type of amphetamine. <laughs> it is a central nervous system stimulant which causes high levels of dopamine to be released. Amphetamine is a central nervous system stimulant and is used in the treatment of attention deficit hyperactive disorder, narcolepsy, and obesity. Amphetamine was discovered in 1887 and exists as two enantiomers, levoamphetamine and dextroamphetamine. That's courtesy of Wikipedia. So there will be far more knowledgeable and experienced individuals in the audience and in this sector who will no doubt speak on the effects of speed on individuals who we watch on YouTube. I have no idea. Because... Chat, thank you, Joyful, for the reminder. Chat, there are over 700 of you currently here, hanging out while we catch up with Foodie's messy day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. If you'd like to hit the like button, I'd appreciate that very much as well as we continue. Nat, this is before Old Mate's Place. So she's been she's been smoking. He's acting like he's so, he's so fucking smug. I really, oh my god. Yeah, don't worry, Holly. I'm going to be careful what I say online, but... Uh-huh. Skip ahead. Skip, skip, skip. Muted? Okay. You can badmouth me the whole time. It must be real fun. You lied. You lied to me. You said she didn't sleep over. You said she wasn't there. And... <laughs> so as a note, just on what is speed, there are different types of amphetamines. Some are prescribed by doctors to treat medical conditions such as narcolepsy, an uncontrollable urge to sleep, or ADHD, as I mentioned earlier. Others, including speed, are produced and sold illegally. Other forms of illicit amphetamines are base and crystal meth, or ice, the most potent form. So, noted. PG, thank you very much for the super chat. PG says she is living real Kathy Bates in misery vibes right now. I, PG, it has been, it has been that all week, mate. It has been that all week. She, I'm glad she does not have a, a um, sledgehammer as a prop. You know. No, you bad your mouth yourself. Carrie, hello. You're not too late. It's fine. You lied to me. That's what. Did That's he? my problem. Did he? You lied to me. You lied to me. Okay. As another note, I'm literally just reading off the internet. I have no authority here and I'm a lay person. But just doing a bit of, you know, searching on healthdirect.gov.au, which is an Australian health website run by the government. Speed can cause unwanted side effects such as fast heart rate and breathing, increased blood pressure, loss of appetite, increased sex drive, jaw clenching and teeth grinding, large pupils, nausea and vomiting, a dry mouth, nervousness, anxiety and paranoia. Coming down can take days. You might experience poor sleep, exhaustion, headaches, dizziness, confusion, increased appetite, aches and pains, exhaustion, vivid dreams and nightmares, anxiety, hallucinations or paranoia or depression while you're coming down. Speed can affect people differently based on how much they take, how strong it is, their size, height, weight, whether they are using used to taking it, rather, and whether they take dr other drugs at the same time. There you go. Learn something new every day. You lied to me. And you're a cheater. I'm not the one saying I'm having Christmas with the family. I go with pizza. Okay, so old mate's mad that she lied about going to take pizza to his family. Here. Why do I have Why do I have to lie to you about pizza? Because you fucking go ape shit. If I'm with this would this would be so much better as a phone call and not like publicly monetized content. But again, mess, messy, mess. Pizza. But you have a woman in your bed right now. <laughs> Punish. Yeah, you are a librarian. True. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> Punisher, I think you broke, mate. Sorry. <laughs> so, answer right now. Where does she sleep? Nope. I am more concerned about the introduction of speed, but so it doesn't matter. apparently that's We're not, not important mm. in this topic I don't that. whatsoever. <laughs> Audrey, I agree. Mate, today has been a lot messy. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Lithium, I agree. I agree. It does. <laughs> I know you're laughing right now, but you actually broke my heart for lying and cheating, and you're a piece of crap, and I want nothing to do with you ever again. Okay, great. <laughs> great, but we've been here. Let's see if there's a different talking point towards the end. Thing at me? Beside you. You lied to me and said she wasn't there. Uh-huh. Whatever. Okay, no, it's just the same shit, different day. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, wait. I can make food a hand puppet. Are you going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry anymore. <laughs> well, well, well. Your friend. <laughs> a friend for a week? Uh, how dare, how Sleeps dare. in your bed for a week? Uh-huh. How dare. Where's your heart? Your friend. Where's your heart? A friend for a week? You look like a camel! You look like a camel and your friend looks like a sloth. Where's your heart? Okay, but we can't come for foodie's looks. Just, you know, let's not compare foodie to animals now. We we know how this goes. Sweet clean. Look at me, what means you're ready to have Where's your heart? You look like a camel! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm cute, and you know it. Oh, we're go we'll get. Oh, God. I am not a professional. I am experienced in my own shitty relationship with food. This might, this might be emotional eating, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we got the ice cream. Don't feed the cat and eat off the spoon. Don't feed the cat and eat off the spoon, please. Please, no, you're gonna get worms, miss. You're gonna get worms. This is how we get worms. Please don't. Yeah, I know. I need to know, though. But please. <laughs> you're a dirty mouth. Excuse me? Everybody, BBJ likes ice cream, see? Uh huh. What? Pew. Yeah, the doctor's gonna check out your breath. Because it reeks. When's that happening again? Sorry. Look, she likes 25th? She likes ice cream. No. Something. See the food, BB. This is how she got it. You can't tell me different. Yeah, you and you're the only insane one triggered, Andy. <laughs> Chantal out here judging other folk <laughs> when this is here. You have got to. Oh, here. 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 <laughs> Timid, isn't it great that this here. is a different reality? I don't ever have to experience this. I just get okay, to watch guys, it. Okay, what are we going to do? <laughs> okay, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish this one because shenanigans we now get another two hour stream after that three hour stream entitled pizza is a real man a real man pizza is a real man whatever the hell that means let's go oh really really <laughs> wait did we just watch this one <laughs> let's see that yeah you're lying did we just watch this one am i going am i going a bit mad <clears throat> let's see i'll show the messages Okay. I'll show the messages. No, we're not I'll... starting off talking about granny panties. So, yeah. No, this one was later. Show the messages. Just afterwards. You love yourself. You don't give a fuck about me. I have... Zach has an important note. Zach says, she put the spoon back in the ice cream. The whole thing is compromised. Okay, noted. Well, I mean, the cat had its tail, like, swishing through that ice cream the day before. So, I hope she doesn't eat any of it. Asthma, I'm in my CPAP. You light a cigarette right beside me. Uh -huh. You are so full of shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, take Hi, it. Hi, Pink Fairy. Veruca. Hi, how you doing? Sorry, my chat fucked up. These are beauty. We're all mad here, man. He's so full of it, guys. I'm having a great day. I'm having a really good day. I had a great day. Karina! You guys, he's so threatened by Pete. Tell him he has the wrong stream on. <coughs> <laughs> Do you honestly think I would obsess over him if he wasn't leading me on? Come on. Uh, <coughs> yes. <laughs> Frozen doorstep Lockmans. <laughs> Hi, Domestic Cheese. Missy Moo. Yeah, I mean, she smokes but it exactly. Yeah. You know what? Louise, thank you very much for the super chat. That's very kind of you. Louise says, Canadian here, just outside of Ottawa. If you should have any area-specific questions... Oh, Louise, absolutely, I'll reach out. Thank you very much for the offer. Also, apologies on behalf of our lovely country for this stinking poop. <laughs> we secretly think she so somehow snuck in. That would make a lot of sense, Louise. Thank you very much for the super chat. And thank you for being here and your kind words. I very much appreciate it. I'll give you a shout if I have any specific Canadian questions. Um, 
None are coming to mind right now. Sh- <laughs> Chantel's been a lot. Chantel has been a lot today. No, he, he thinks oh, it's funny. Actually, one important question. How are you? I hope you're doing well with the weather, because we know it's snowing quite a bit, thanks to thanks to this one. Yeah, I'm going to sell the CPAP on Kijiji. He thinks it's funny. Like, this guy does not care about me at all. No, he doesn't. The clarity. Hold on to Why? That. You're lying to everybody, and people fucking believe you. These idiots, Night Vive, <laughs> Triggered Andy, LR, they all believe you're fucking bullshit. We're rip, rip everyone. <laughs> than me. Actually, I'm dumb too. Yeah. <laughs> what? He's, oh my god. You're the double-faced liar. You're sitting here acting like you don't care about me on an iPad I bought you. Like, you think I would do anything for you if you weren't boning me? You're really going to sit here and lie to people? I don't think he cares about food, you guys. Re- Stark revelations. I don't think Old Maid actually cares about Foodie Beauty. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Didi's going to the bathroom because she's bored? You're giving her friggin' vagina- Shh. Okay, before we get into that, Chantal, miss, you started a stream today literally taking us to take a shit. While well, aptly shit-talking other people. So, let's, let's, again, let's just reflect. Let's take a moment to reflect what we've done with our day today. I've been really productive. Chantal has done all of this. <laughs> also productive. Different, different kind of productive. Time to sweat. Do something about it, big man. Big man. <laughs> Fight me, that sounds great. Tomato sandwich, butter, salt, some sourdough bread. Oh, delicious. Toasted, cheese. Going a bit far now. Cracked pepper though, mm, delicious. Okay, we're gonna skip ahead. We're gonna skip ahead a little bit. She gets to be Natter's interpreter. Yay! <laughs> Phoenix, I don't know. Maybe he didn't enjoy it. <laughs> oh. I know, I'm exhausted too, mate. It's been a big day. Okay, real talk, why do you need this guy so much? Bussy Beezing, no. Because I was in love with him. I mean, that's all the, the only thing I can say. Oh, and Louise, obviously I'm off sorry. camera, between all my bitching and him lying, we had a very, very good... A lot of good times. A lot of passion, a lot of no one laughing. Else. A lot of... What a surprise. What a surprise. I mean, he's obviously bothered because he fucking, seriously, he tries to act not bothered, but you don't do this unless you're bothered. Skip! Go, but... I think she might be bothered. He's not gonna touch Pete's. He's not gonna smash my window. He's hey, break- by the way, spoilers, chat, Pete's doesn't go. Skip. Oh my god. Not that I inc- would encourage Pete's to go. Look, I would like to hear your thoughts, chat, on this situation type deal style moment. Fruity went alone, 30 minutes away, by car driving, driving alone to go and visit Old Mate. And we know we know about Old Mate, right? Went and visited Old Mate alone to try to pick up her CPAP machine. For those of you who haven't seen it, spoilers, the cops are required to to get the CPAP machine. Would it have been better or worse for Pete's to go? Cause on one hand it's like, well, you're going with your friend, you're making sure your friend isn't alone, like you're you're doing it as a pair like you'll you'll be perhaps you'll be more safe like that but also old mate really doesn't like pete so would it have instigated like more of a potential personally i think pete's would have just if he'd have even gone he would have just sat in the car so i don't really know i've i'm of two minds of the situation you know everyone says going alone was super super worse super stupid sorry and then people are saying worse worse way worse for james to go (laughs) Everyone told Fruity she should have gotten the police involved, like, the first time we went through this narrative, but, yeah, I don't know. Pete's doesn't like cops, and yet Pete's was saying he was going to be the one with the phone in his hand, ready to dial emergency, should anything go down. I don't know, mate. It's all a bit, it's all a bit weird. It's all a bit weird. I am going to get my stuff. I want to get coffee. I'm not sure if I should bring pizza or not. Black Cat, she did go after this. She did. Well, I need him to know I'm coming. I don't want him to. I don't want to go all the way there and then he doesn't answer the door. He'll probably get up live before I get there. Shut up, dancing queen. You're pathetic. Quixie, I agree. What she's modding for. She certainly is smart, keeping the live stream going. Yes, I think everyone is kind of. That it's was like the best intent. The they're all stupid haters. Pizza's not a wingman. He really thinks I'm the enemy, and is laughing at me. He well, really has no idea. I don't think you're he an really... enemy, but I am laughing a lot today because that's my coping. I don't know what life is going to be like with all of this. He really has no idea. He has no idea. He's stupid. Skip, skip, skip. 
Because otherwise right. he would spend more time with her than he does with giving me shit online. Uh-huh. Yeah, personally, I would have just switched off and gone radio silent, but, you know. Is he good in bed? Sometimes. Don't want to know. Please do No. When he feels like it. No, no, no. No, you have called him selfish, remember? Two gobbies, no bean flick. We've been here. Skip. You've also told us five times a day, which I find hard to believe, but now that speed has entered the chat, perhaps. I know, Charlotte, you're right. Oh, army wife, that's a good... Some good foreplay. That's a good anyway. theory. That's a good theory. Oh, new community one. post. Won't answer. This is the maturity I'm dealing with. Thanks, chat. Katrina, thank you. Um, you just have to... Also, um, just while she's doing this, I'm just going to open up her videos to make sure... Make sure she doesn't do anything super sneaky. Um, anyway, okay, new community post. New community post. We're, we're taking it live, everyone. Taking it live. Ready? <clears throat> Guess who can't sleep because of shitface Al Shami being a real man and giving me my mask and power cord back? Stupid ass. Wait, what? She faced Al Shami being a real man and giving me my mask and power cord back. That doesn't make sense on his English foodie. Did he or did he not? Because this would inst there is no negative here. This would this would tell me he did give you your mask and power cord back. But did he or did he not? Who knows? We'll figure it out. Figure it out. Anyway, continue. Hit the link in the description. Hmm. But maybe if you weren't a cheating, lying twat, I wouldn't be mad at you right now. Oh, sarcasm? You guys think like... it's sarcasm? We use asterisks to denote sarcasm in in my no. world. You fucking lied to me. Like, <laughs> Typo you're or me like shit. not. <laughs> you lied to everybody. So what, you're just leading me on? Like, you just... Oh my god, I can't stand this. I want to come get my shit. I know you're watching. I'm coming to get my stuff right now. Oh, L, we'll get and to I it. I will be out of your life. You can continue with your shitty fucking channel, your crappy friends, whatever you want to do. I don't give a fuck what you do, actually. At all. Right, BBJ? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> Lish is awake at a reasonable time, Echo. And you are going to be lost without me. So, have fun. Yeah, and you she, have no one to blame but yourself because she, I treated you like oh, a king. You didn't deserve it. Sorry. She just you know, posted don't kiss your feet. Your fucking nasty feet. Three minutes ago. I don't want to hear about anyone's feet today. Thank you. you. Okay, so. Spoilers, chat. We're going to move. We're going to move quick. We're going to move fast. Ready? She is in her living room. We've seen her smoking all evening. Not in this live stream, but in the early ones that she has forgotten to delete. Uh, she makes her way to the car. Now, where is she here? Where are we here? Oh, we're outside. If you treat me badly, I'll talk about you online. Okay, so just a note. If you're, if ever in the future you you hang out with Chantel, you date Chantel for five days, you go to Toronto with Chantel, you hang out with Chantel and allegedly have speed and poppers going on. Just a, just a note, she will talk badly about you on the internet. We all know. Danielle, thank you very much for being here for 10 months, Danielle. Danielle says, couldn't wait to jealous your coverage on this. To jealous? <laughs> Danielle, thank you very much for being here for 10 months. I appreciate the intent. <laughs> Shenanigans. Thank you for being here, Danielle. Sorry. Chat, we're going on a field trip. You're ready? You all got gotta... snacks? You got snacks? You need you need a fresh cup of tea or something? I might actually let this run and put the kettle on. Just um clean off my car again. Chef Vonda? This is bullshit. Uh oh. The car's broken. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, this is a sign I shouldn't go. <laughs> Ow! The ice pinched me. Triggered, Andy. Fuck off. No, my car is not good. It's a friggin'. Okay, I need to. I need to clean it off. So, give me a minute here. Full of snow. Not even. 
New cup of tea has been acquired. Chat, did I miss anything? She's scraping snow off. Very good. Very good. Okay, skip. Road trip. Let's go. Chef Onda was very quiet and very humble. Good to hear, Joy. Good to hear. Oh, super chat. Oh, thank you. All kinds of everything. Thank you very much for the super chat. All kinds says, Hey Zach, I just wanted to tell you that you helped me through my exhausting chemotherapy. Your positive, a positivity lifts me up and your chat is awesome. All kinds of everything. Thank you very much for the super chat, mate. That's very sweet of you to say. That's not at all required, but very much appreciated. Thank you. Any, look, anything that every, anyone takes away from all of this ridiculousness, mate, thank you all for being here and thank you all for, for, using this as inspiration to go out and be be wonderful be the best you and i'm very happy to hear that all kinds you're welcome here at any time and thank you for the kind words and thank you chat once again for being wonderful just being wonderful thank you yeah, sure. produce kind of like the magic school bus um worse 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 than the magic school bus Hi, can I have a Trente um, cake drink warning? with extra... Headphone warning. ...ice and no strawberry pieces, please? Yes, please, yeah. Lucy, thank you uh, for thank yelling. You, thank you. It's very kind. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's like psycho marshmallow. Oh, my guys. Mary, 100%. If you take away the, the fact that you need to take control of your own mental health, yes, 100% from Chantel's oh God. <laughs> content. I oh. What did she order? <laughs> uh, pink drink. Pink drink. Big fan of therapy. Oh, big Sorry, fan man. of taking control of your health and yourself, being responsible for yourself, putting your big person oh, pants no, on. I just seen Annie's thing. But I'm not looking at the chat. I just seen Annie's thing. Not being... Foolish. You I know, love you, Annie. Big fan of all the things. Don't have a bad feeling. It's okay. I'm going to stay alive the whole time. And I'm going to leave right away. But I love you for, for still caring about me. Even though I know I must stress you out when I'm going through. You hear that, Nana? You're stressing my fans out. Oh, Marsha, right? let That's me know Nana. how cold Canada was. Oh! <laughs> Feel free. Okay, comfy. Go to he doesn't love me, so I tell myself. I tell myself. All right. Do a let's go. Skip. We're gonna skip because it gets this good. This first night, yes. For a long time, I was embarrassed to use it. It gets good. So what I would do, if you guys don't remember, I would always be in the same raggedy dress the next morning. I would go live and go home and sleep with my machine. We know. But three, four days without it, no, I, I need it at that point. Okay. And you know that, and you know my breathing's bad. But what do you do? You light a cigarette right beside me when I have my machine on because you're mad. Miss, you smoke the weeds. Like my health is not a joke. It's not. It doesn't matter. Like if you're mad. Your health is. Sorry, I'm just gonna put this in here, and you all might get mad at me, but. She treats her health like a joke. I'm not saying that gives anyone else a right to treat her health like a joke. It doesn't, but she treats her health like a joke. Period. Me, pay me, whatever. It just proves, like, you don't care. You don't care a single bit about me at all. Minus 23 degrees Celsius. Oof. If you did, you wouldn't be fucking giving me a hard time. Like, just give me my stuff. Oh. I'm coming to get it. Don't be an asshole. You can have pecan pie with your little precious loved one all you want all night. Karina, hello. Go ahead. Lovely to see you. Make and pecan pie Valerie. today. You'll probably be quoting, but you'll call it pecan pie. Her pretending to care about anyone's health, L. Yeah. Treating me like shit and like breaking me down. Treating me like shit, not ever like giving me the love I need. I give you so much. I give you so much. Yeah. You can't buy love, foodie. I talk shit about you, but I give you so much love. And I, I even go online and like tell people I was in love with you. You never, ever, 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 ever say anything nice. We will compliment Dee Dee, who's like the boringest fucking person in the world. God, she is pressed. Give me a fucking break. Pressed. Oh my god, you are despicable. You especially. Uh, That's for you. Yeah. I know you'll miss it. Okay, let's skip. Let's skip. off on your own channel, like he did to me. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm not gonna do that. 
T is for The only reason Pete doesn't like you is because of me. Because steeped. of me complaining about how you treat me. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Obviously, it hasn't been all bad because uh, it's hard for me to stay away. I do miss a lot of things. That's a you problem. Miss, that's a you problem. It's it's played out on the YouTubes that it's been bad. It's been bad. It's been so bad that I can't imagine self insert. I can't imagine putting myself in any of these situations and how I would handle it because that I would never imagine getting into these situations to begin with. It's bad. Bad. But at the same time, this is insane. Like what, what fit and curvy, lovely to see you today. Hello, my Like we're gonna destroy each other if we don't break up. Uh huh. I don't want that. But, like, he just is incapable of apologizing. He's incapable of admitting he's wrong in any way. Right. He's incapable. Girl, recognize you're not going to get what you want out of this situation. Or any situation with this individual. Dump his ass. Like, how, if you care for somebody, do you not care about their well-being? Like, how do you not care that I don't have my machine? Like, how do you not care that you hurt me? Like, you don't even listen to what I'm saying. You're just defensive right off the bat. You just want to hurt, 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 hurt. You don't even care about what I'm saying. You don't care that I'm mad, like. Uh-huh. He, oh. he, Fruity, he doesn't care about you. Pink drink. You know what you did. I talk bad about my best friend? <laughs> All kinds of everything. Yes, right. yes I did. Okay. I did. You don't want to go there with receipts, my friend. Sorry for the delay. Trust me. Although I'm not even threatened by your threats. I, I did respond a little earlier. <clears throat> it's very kind of you, thank you. You look stupid. Coming online and only bad mouthing me. When people see everything I do for you, they see it. They see it with the food you eat. They see it with the stuff in your house. They yep. see it with anything. The way I talk about you on Foodie, we know. You buy everything. Foolishly. Sorry. The way I, the, the, anything I do for you. Anything. Like Again, just because you buy someone shit doesn't mean they deserve... I'm sorry. Doesn't mean that they go. They are going to love you back. You can't buy love and affection. Period. If you say Turns it, out also you can't buy respect. If I don't go hard for you, actually, of everything, of everything you've ever done uh, done to me bad, uh -huh. anything you've ever done to me bad, the one thing that hurts me more than anything uh -huh. is that you don't, you say that I don't go hard for you, or that I don't actually love you or care about you. It's so fucking insane. Like, I don't think we've ever, have we heard that from Old Mate? Has Old Mate ever said she doesn't love me, like, on channel? No, I think that Old Mate is saying, uh, you don't love me in perhaps text message form, which we covered a little earlier. Um, perhaps in perhaps in a text, perhaps in private, because that would be the ultimate manipulation, right? To have someone pining and obsessed over you, and you to turn around and say you don't love me. Iconic pheromone quote. Um, you don't love me. Of course, that's of course that's just a way of getting more out of the the situation. I believe old mates a manipulative asshole and would absolutely say that to Foodie to get more or. To get his way, so wake up, foodie. Really? Like how? <laughs> I really don't know how else. Do you want me to move to Montreal? Buy it, call an Uber, buy a candle, and come to your fucking house for a week? I don't understand what you want. Punisher, I was almost at your good. house a whole week. Sorry, that's sorry, Dee. You have more dedication there. A whole week? No. Mm -mm. And don't tell me you're not sleeping there. There's no way anyone's gonna sleep with you in that little bed. You're gonna be touching bodies. Oh my and god. And you're coughing and you're farting and you're incessant coughing and farting. No one's gonna put up with that unless you're getting it in. So you're a lying cheater. And I've never cheated on you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna make a historical note here to say that her two previous long term relationships, she cheated on both of them. But you know, Foodie believes in karma and I don't necessarily. But anyway. So you have no right to be mad at me right now. Mm -hmm. So just give me my shit and stop messing around. Okay, and now you know why I'm mad. Because I really don't think you even care. Do Mate, you me L, that Bath and Body Works candle is going to be on Foodie's mind for like the next five years. Be a good little person and shut my mouth, right? Apologize online. And then I'm going to go live with Dee Dee and piss you off. And then wonder why you're pissed off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right! I mean, I also think that a lot of what Old Mate's doing online is a direct attempt at provoking Chantal. Again, trash, toxic, garbage, I can't believe is playing out online. <laughs> wild, wild. I imagine these things happen in people's private lives, but you know, privacy. Sorry guys. We don't I know, know her here. Because I can't look at the chat. But just know that this guy, he'll bite through his teeth. Definitely. Oh, Louise has some tea. 
Louise from Canada says she could have literally stopped at the medical supply place near her home to get a cord and mask on her way back. It was still open. She lives for the drama. I agree she lives for the drama. I mean, people were even telling her, girl, you can get a mask and cord for, like, whatever on Amazon. Like, it's not... It's the machine that's the hard thing to come by. The mask is meant to get replaced pretty frequently, and a power source, I imagine, is pretty universal. Um, anyway. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Maria, I hope no one experiences I hate, I hate two -face relationships pieces. like this. Just because, like, it's, like, well, exciting to talk more on Nader's channel, they'll go and badmouth me on his channel, and then they'll come to my channel and suck up to me. You know what? You're free to do what you want. You're not my friends, but I'm well, just going to ignore you. Clarity. That's it. Once I don't, like, trust somebody and I see their two-face, I just, I'm just going to ignore you. I won't, I won't block you. I'll just ignore you. Okay. You're dead to me. Right. Actually, I probably won't even give a shit and get over it. No, she won't. She'll block and then unblock two days later. We know what she does. But... Furthermore, what else am I going to bitch about? I still have about 15 minutes or so. <laughs> I'm insane, I know. God is a woman. Ask a very important question, saying, wouldn't she want a new mask because of the smell of cigarette smoke anyway? Yes, but the running theory is that Foodie doesn't take care of her health or the, um, the technology or mechanics that support her health. We don't think she cleans her CPAP, so... Unsure how old the mask is. Once I have my machine back, I am never, ever, ever, ever leaving. It's not leaving my house ever again. And I mean that. Probably a good idea. And Probably. I hope you know what I mean. Get two. Just get two. Get one as a as a backup just in case something happens. Because what happens if the machine just broke? Like, how long would it take for her to get a new machine if it just stopped working? Or to get it fixed by a technician? Or, you know, if she if she dropped it? You know, um, she should probably have two just in case. One as a backup, or like a cute little travel one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. When I tell you, you're the one. That's all I wanna know. Oh. When it's said and when it's done, yeah. I don't ever wanna know. I don't ever want you done again. Thank you. Ooh, there's a Burger King near his house too. Oh, go good. To get excited. Get all right. Do we get a matchy sauce? Skip. Oh, my life is crazy. You are making your life this way, foodie. You're not the only influence in your life, I'll give you that, but... Oh, all kinds of everything. Yes, yes I did. Uh, I did. It was, a, it was a very kind super chat, and I'm very I'm very glad that myself and the um, the community, the audience here, the, the chat, the lurkers, that everyone was able to assist, and it's, it, it was very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, remember that song? I still have to listen to the, the new Weekend album playing cheeseburgers. Skip. Skip. Not here for karaoke with Foodie today. Got enough to cover. I don't want to go over there. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't want to fight. And I don't want to have... I just want my stuff and then I just peacefully... Bye. You know? You make me nuts. Like, I can't... I can't be around you. You, you make me crazy. I give up. Okay, good. You gonna let it go now? I don't think she's gonna let it go now. I thought so, Frosty, yes. Okay, so we'll skip a little bit. Oh, insane. Well, I need my shit. I'm tired as hell. She just oh my god, stop. if I get my machine, I'm gonna sleep with my machine. I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna go home and put my machine on and stay live. Skip. I blocked Mo for you. No, you blocked Mo because you changed your mind. Also, Mo's emojinary. Let me know. Oh, skip it until she parks, says Lucy. Okay. Alright, cool. So, here she is rolling up to Old Mate's so place. Tap, here we go. Kitchen lights on. Let's, see my... oh, let's rewind. Do you want to take this in real time? Chat, do we want to, do we want to experience this in the way that nature intended, or... Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's live... Let's live it all through again. Just, you know. For funsies. <laughs> Let me know! <laughs> This is an experience. I need to get a snowblower. To be savored. Because I'm so responsible for my little parking space. To understand every There's frame. so much snow, like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't oh, he was cute. Ooh. Grab your buddy. 
Chat, just a reminder, this is the big anxiety inducing moment. I didn't say and juicy, I said inducing there, by the way. No. <laughs> the kitchen lights on. I oh, see my Jennifer, thank you for the note. Jennifer says my husband uses a CPAP machine and he always has an extra machine on hand just in case something happens to his main. That's what I thought. The spare one includes a mask, a cord, and a machine. That would make it would make sense, right? Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Should I go in? I'm not going in. Who? I can't call him either. I'm just gonna wait here. I don't understand how she can't call him because she's she's cancelled his service, but that's on would that only be incoming calls? Or outgoing calls rather, not incoming calls? I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> she went to get something for dinner. Yeah, Lucy well said. This is a lot. If anyone's prone to like not enjoying conflict or getting the oh no's about it, feel free to dip for a bit. I feel you. But, Why is he not answering me? You know, it's the season finale it feels like. Yeah, I think she goes through Messenger as well. I just don't want to go in and talk to them. Jem, agreed. Secondhand, those of you who don't enjoy secondhand embarrassment as well. Oh, I think he's calling me. Third Hold degree. On. Third degree. <clears throat> I, hate fun I hate confrontations as well, Em. Alright, I'm gonna go to I'm the pretty much the dinosaur in Toy Story 1. <laughs> I just hate confrontations! <laughs> but this, oh, this is God. someone else's reality. This is fine. This is just nonsense. Nonsense. What? <laughs> juicy? It is pretty juicy, though, Jenna. Morbidly curious, I Max. I feel ya. I feel ya. Some quiet background music. Some Enya. Let's get some... Let's get some calming background music going. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got on... Are we feeling classical today? What about ambient? Let's just get some ambient music happening. While we live through all of this. Dramatic ambient music. Wait, why though? Ambient. Apparently ambient music... Oh no, ambient music can be dramatic. Calm. Dramatic. I like dramatic though. Hold on, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got here? I'm gonna leave my door... I'm gonna leave my car run, I guess. This one's called Fern. I'm scaredy, I don't wanna go in. This is calming, this is good. Bye, Triggered Andy. I'm tired of you. Go be triggered elsewhere, weirdo. Rip Triggered Andy. <clears throat> Did he go live? I want to go in when he goes live. <laughs> Mish, that makes Call sense. Call me back, Natter, or I'm gonna wait here till you go live. Okay. We're just go. gonna we're just gonna sit and enjoy. Cause Call she, me back. Because again, Foodie Foodie chose to live stream all of this. Choices, choices. Back, come bring me out my shit, you friggin' asshole. I don't care if he doesn't care about me. I don't care about him either anymore. Right. <clears throat> Sandy, hello. Yes, it was indeed a mess. A mess tonight. Messy mess. Know. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys here then. Or do you wanna come? Oh, Steph, my apologies. I might have missed your super chat. Steph said. If she had to do this, which she definitely didn't, why on earth didn't she at least go during the damn day? The idiocy of this choice. Yeah, Steph, I... Look, she had all day to do this as well, and she was saying that she couldn't get a hold of Old Mate, but she's also been three days trying to do this, or trying to do this, which makes me believe that her intention of getting the CPAP machine is not the whole intention. Do you know what I mean? Like, yesterday, she got real high. She just got real high. She was like, no, I can't drive over there because I'm real high. It's like, well, you smoked all day today and now you're driving anyway. So clearly that wasn't it. But who knows? 
Esther, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Esther says, Pulpy, please play a Renoko Flow by Enya. That is calm. Mate, I wish I could, but um, Daddy G will have something to say. Unfortunately. But thank you for the recommendation and thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> Apparently super chats, yes. Alright, I'm gonna go. Music is soothing, Salty. It's good. It's good. Oh, that was the inspiration. Spa music, just something calm. You'll let there maybe do some just some skincare, some stretches, maybe just some yoga. You know, some calming meditation while Foodie confronts old mate. Maybe not. <coughs> we're going in, team. We're going in and we're doing it live. Choices, choices, choices. We need hype music for this? Okay. Let's try to find something hype. Dance and electronic. Inspirational? Give this one a shot. Is this good though? I don't know why she's giggling here. I don't know why she's giggling. Why is she giggling? I mean, she's probably just giggling out of awkwardness. Absolute awkwardness. But it is. It is cringe. It is cringe. Okay, we're gonna go no music here. Now that we've um <laughs> now that we've gotten to the, the climax, let's let's live it in in reality. Yo! Can I get my stuff? Okay, well, let me in then. <laughs> the <door's open. laughs> he won't let me in. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. First of all, the yo. I'm glad you all clocked the yo. That was awkward. My back is a ball of knots right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to get my stuff. Uh-huh. What? Yes, I do. Nan, I feel you, mate. Do you want me to get off live? He should have said yes. She should have just presumed yes here. <sighs> he says I don't need it today. Is that what he said? Oh God, it's so cringe. I just want myself. Where's my video? <laughs> what video? You know, delete. Can you bring it back? I if you can't bring it back, break it. Stop no. Back. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so tense. I'll be quiet. So tense. <sighs> oh, okay. Back in. Yo. AG, you're right, she did delete his live stream. But yo! Yo, what's up, chat? <laughs> yo. I want my stuff. That's annoying here. I want my stuff. That's need to stop. Call the cops then. Huh? Call the cops. Call the cops? Yeah. I, I want my stuff. I don't call cops me. I will, I want my stuff. Cool. Let me get my fucking shit. What's your problem? This is, this is me hearing. This is me hearing the fight outside my window and me being like, you know, someone will probably see me, but they all know I'm a messy bitch. Just... <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> you say that again. <laughs> just roll that back one... Just five seconds. I'm <laughs> making popcorn. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh. Oh. You want to call the cops? I want my Here shit. I want my go, shit. Go, nine one one. It's called nine. For real? One one. For real. Just a reminder. That's the emergency number. Yeah. 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 Gonna give me the stuff right away. Give me my stuff. Huh? I want to. I'm here to get my shit. You said I can. Oh, I give it to you. you said I can come get my I stuff. Give it to you. 
Okay, AG asks an important question. AG says, isn't deleting against terms of service? Um, AG, yes, logging into another person's um, digital identity is against pretty much every company's terms of service and I'm pretty sure are legal in, in some countries. But anyway, like... You said I can come get my stuff. So go let me get my shit then. Where's my video? What video? I did my live stream. I didn't delete your fucking live stream. That's a lie she did though. Cause, Cause just to let everybody know, if you just lose connection, your live stream like still renders and and pops up on your channel if it, if it disconnects automatically, which is what I assume happened when she canceled the canceled the iPad um service. So. So I think she may have deleted the live stream anyway. It's just my theory. It's my theory. You're gonna fucking lie in my face. Are you I'm, gonna lie in my I, face? Jennifer, I'm sorry. I am whispering because I don't want to interrupt, you know. <laughs> I don't want them to know that I'm watching. <laughs> You're gonna lie in my face. You lied in my face this cool. morning. Listen. California, where's Dee Dee? This is all happening here, right? And Dee Dee's... Wait. Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's over here. Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's doing this one. Hold on, Didi's doing this. I don't like to lose my temper because I be bad when I lose my temper and I don't want to go there. What you did, you need to fucking go, sit down by yourself, think about what you're doing. I just want my CPAP machine. Not with these people. You need to sit down by yourself, see what you're doing, think about it. While you have wine with somebody? Hmm? And lie to me? Where's my stuff? Chantal? Just let me go Chantal? upstairs Chantal? and get my Chantal? stuff. I say one word. Leave. I want my machine. I'm not leaving without my stuff. I came all the way here for my stuff. Leave. I'm not leaving. Okay, so. <laughs> While all that was going on, um, there was an important point that I wanted to bring up there. And I can't quite remember. No, it's gone. It'll come back though. Until I get my machine. Leave. Nope. Nan says Dee Dee is having a nice glass of wine and enjoying the show. They, look, that's all legitimately all I could think about was what's Dee Dee doing in this situation? Just sitting at the kitchen table, just. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's really awkward. Really, really awkward. I want my machine. And ask you, are you going to let me come get it? Can I come get it? Hmm? Oh, buttered crumpets, you are coming in and saving my butt today. Thank you. But it says she deleted it moments after he said, I'll sell her CPAP and her 3XL underwear. And they both laughed. Moments later, this stream was gone. Uh, his stream, rather, was gone in a puff of smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coincidentally, she shut off access to, to the iPad and, and the phone. Um... Uh, but yeah, it is. I personally assume yes. Chantal deleted the stream. I'll be back, guys. Messy, messy for Axis. Messy, messy. Tam, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. And now this is curious. I wonder if anyone's out here trying to make sense of what Chantal's saying because we can see her mouth. We just can't hear her. Reality time. What's she, what's she gonna say? She's just rolling her tongue there. And breathing? I think she said fuck you there. No, I can't sit. Miss, if you could just move it, just angle it up a little bit more. I think I saw fuck you. Not, it was not hello. I don't think she said hello possums, Punisher, no. It's, such a, it, it's a shame. Okay, so we don't get to see any of the, no, well... No, I think I just got the fuck you. It's all gone now. Okay, so... <laughs> Melanie says she's cussing out Dee Dee. Possibly, yes. Anyway, we'll skip a little bit ahead, see if we've got some... Oh, Lydia, we will. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a lot of hands. It's a lot of hands. No, the lips have come back. Hello. Anything? You got it? An anything? No. Nope, still, nope, nothing. Okay, it's fine. I don't, I don't. I'm so mad at fucking. 
Okay, I don't think we actually get anything until she's back in the car. Right. Speed. You're so mad at fucking... Lily, <laughs> you ask... That's a very big question today. What is this mess? Um, mate... <laughs> Dean says Zach, she 100% said hello, possums. Well, two. maybe she's a big fan of Damon. Oh. <laughs> Jenny, remember when she was a weight loss channel? Yes. I said I'll wait in the car, go get my stuff. <laughs> He's going live soon? He's cooking with a glass of wine? Ugh. Really? Uh-huh. He's such an asshole. Okay. He's such a fucking asshole. I'm not leaving without my CPAP. Okay, so the way we're going to play the rest of this out, chat, is we're going to watch this until Foodie has the police show up, and then we're going to jump over to Old Mates because the police show up on his stream at about the 30-minute mark, right? Because that way we're kind of covering the major narrative point here um, without having to, to not leaving without listen it. to too much more of the back and forth. Oh, we're He's getting out again. Okay. So either the cops are going to come. You said to call the cops. The cops are going to come and let me get my medical device. Uh-huh. Or he's going to fucking get it. I'm going to piss him off. Good. Wait, did he say that or did you say that? Fuck him. He's pissing me off. So either the cops are going to come. He said to call the cops. The cops are going to come. Oh, he said to call the cops. Sorry. I was thinking he he called the cops. I'm trying to get my, my story straight here. Come and let me get my medical device. Please bear with me. Or Please he's going to fucking yelling. get it. Also. I'm going to piss him off. Good. I'm done with your shit. Cheating asshole. Leona, hello. Good morning. Leona says... Good morning, chat and Zach. It's nine degrees here with minus 13 windshield. Oh, mate, keep warm. Get ready to head to the office. Mate, enjoy your work day. Thank you for being here. Is everyone ready for more cringe? Hold on, we'll take it down. Take it down a step. Get your tea, get your get your buddies, chat. I need my stuff. We're doing this again. I don't like it. Please. That I never tell you don't take your stuff? No, right? I no, never you did. You, don't take it, right? Right? you said not to come in. I never tell you don't take it, right? Yeah, you did. Why you take my videos? I Why didn't take your video. I didn't take your video. Mm -hmm. So all these people were thinking that you take my video without me knowing. Well, they have haters. They have haters that you know what they're gonna do. Y'all, can I just say, this is real life. Do you know when you need to let go of internet haters and deleting people's live streams? Real life situations like this, where it's all big cases of oh no's anxiety inducing, oh I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. If I heard my neighbors screaming about deleted live streams, mate, go out and walk in nature. Like, this is, this is not, this is not reality. This is just, oh, oh, oh. Exactly happened. Oh my God. I'm gonna be two was. minutes. Beautiful, yeah. hello. I just Thank need my machine. gonna be less than minutes. Bring my fucking videos that one I uploaded thing. a video for you today. Huh? I don't have them. I don't have them, so... So you don't have them? I don't have nothing. Yes, you do. I'm not stuff. leaving. I'm Sorry. either... Sorry. Okay, so I don't really... Let me just say it right now. I don't really like this bargaining back and forth of, well, where's my videos? You don't have my videos? Well, then I have nothing for you. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Manipulative asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. We know. Yeah. I'm not leaving here without no, my machine. This video I make, I lose, I lose like five, six hundred dollars. So I have yeah, to right. You lose five dollars. Now was not the time to laugh. Now was not the time to laugh. Now was not the time to laugh. I'm not leaving. No, no. Mm -mm. You can call the cops. Idiotic situation, by Are you gonna That's call? That's annoying. I got call the police then. Huh? I'm not leaving without my stuff. You call the police. Whatever you want. He's whatever. You did. You did. And I. I'm just gonna keep knocking at the door. Didn't know that. Okay. Just give me my stuff then, and I'll be on my way. God, this is not it. This. Is, oh God, I hate all of this. I hate this. See what he does? He won't give me my shit. He won't give me my shit, and he's having. You give me my stuff, and go fuck yourself. But if you I don't have it. Do you know what's wild as well? You have to consider all of the stories that Chantel's been saying today. Girl. If you were gonna drive over here, I would have been like, "Hello, excuse me, police. Yes, I need, I need an escort." I would not have been banging on this person's door alone. Ooh, no, nope, and definitely not with Pete's in the car either. Nope, I can't come to a conclusion on that topic too. Your stuff. So what your shit. channel? Give you your whole channel? channel? We're not equal, even closely. So give me my shit. No, it's not. not the same. Yeah. It's not, mine, it's, not, it's not the same to have this fight on the on the porch while you're trying to get your. Your emergency medical equipment. Oh, dark. Poor choices. Ah, ah. And you're sick, mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. 
That when you leave stuff somewhere, can I have my stuff? And you ask to get it back. But to go other people's place, take their stuff, I never did that. or throw it away. And you come now, oh, what's the stuff I leave here? Really? You serious? Are you looking at yourself and you just. Someone yeah. helps you build your house, you kick them out? Build me my house and you know, ignore I them? This place. Mm. So where I rent? Are yeah. you the engineer? Ah, this is not the approach I have with confrontations. Oh god. God, it's so awful. I hate it. Ah! You was here who built this place? No, but I help you pay for it. Pay for what? Let me get my shit. Why are you laughing? No! These, this is not comedy. This is not it. God. <laughs> I just want to crawl up under this desk. <laughs> just have, have a nice little 30 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I need my machine. This is a guy who stabbed two people and spent eight months in prison. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> Hallie, I'm glad you think this is fake because boy howdy is it sending all of the all of the triggers in my body like <laughs> to eleven. <gasps> what? <laughs> Chat, make it make sense. <laughs> make it this is the man who stabbed two people. Stabbed two people and went to jail for it. And she's she's decided to try to have an altercation on the porch with a live stream and he's cooking. Oh! <laughs> I hate it. Fuck you. Fuck you. What a piece of shit. Deep breath, okay. Good good advice, chat. Go break it! Go! Fucking asshole. <sighs> he won't give me Punisher, you're right. This porch has seen all the action. My yes. machine, and he's gonna break it. Uh -huh. He's such a fucking love, lovely individual. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Again, again, knowing all of the stories and what has happened here, it, I'm never gonna be in this situation ever. But my God, it would have been police escort to begin with, not attempting to do it on your own. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not leaving. Mm -mm. So glad I made more tea. Needed it. <laughs> Leslie, it is. Do you know why it's worse than the worst soap opera? Because it's someone's reality. <laughs> this isn't a produced piece of content. I mean, it is, but. Oh. <laughs> Reminder. Beep. Yeah, Didi's still. Didi's still doing this one. Didi's still. This is why sometimes we need to bring a little bit of comedy to these shenanigans because otherwise, oh gosh, it's, just, it's, it's de depressing and, and oh, awful. Anyway. Core, mate, it's lovely to see you today. I don't see it. <laughs> otherwise, we cry. Exactly, but I shall. Stephanie, hello. See? Good, good luck, my friend. I just proved that you're a fucking liar! You lied. You said I can have it and you don't give it back to me. Piece of fucking shit. You have another fucking woman there having wine, you stupid fucking gonorrhea filled piece of shit, giraffe looking asshole. You can come get your shit anytime you want. Your <laughs> shit here, so that she has a reason to come back. No, we're gonna speed I leave my shit there because he doesn't let me take my shit. Just 
put a bit of context in that. Fruity tells us she escapes while he's sleeping or something, right? Okay, wait, we've been we've been speaking about this all week. I need to shut up. Zip it. Enjoy your wine, Didi. Fucking sap. Simpy sappy Didi. What? He made you go to the fucking petrol and buy that, right? God, that. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. One moment. I just want to point out. Simpy sappy Didi. What? He made you go to the. Fucking this. This person right here. This person on the corner. Lucky. <laughs> just, just lucky considering um, Fruity and, and her driving. Uh, fuckery, thank you again for the super chat. That's l lovely of you. Fuckery says, Poppy sipping tea despite the drama. <laughs> Tea's calming, mate. Tea's, it's relaxing. It's chill. We're chill here. Also, chat. Um, and fuckery, thank you very much for the super chat. That's very kind. Um, chat, there's over a thousand of you catching up with the shenanigans from last night. Thank you all so much for being here. If you'd like to hit the like button while we continue Chantel's um, mess, messy, messy day, uh, I'd appreciate it. Please and thank you. Catch your own by that, right? <laughs> WB yeah. asks, I wonder if that was <laughs> Nadia. <laughs> uh, I almost missed Nadia. Yeah, sure. Oh, I hate these people. Hit the like, sip the tea, exactly. Fuckery, exactly. Ellen, this is like watching a house on fire. Like a fucking 800 year old turtle. A house on fire next to like a gas station. That's what this feels like. This is the real matter. You didn't hear him say, I'm gonna lose it and you won't be able to handle it. I'm gonna lose it and you won't be able to handle it. Oh, I can handle you, you fucking coward piece of shit. And you know what? Pizza's more of a man than you'll ever. Ever, ever, ever be. Oh, that's right. The name of this live stream is still Pizza's a Real Man. Pizza did not accompany Chantel on this drive, but it, that, I'm. Oh, shut up, Zach. Ever. Mm. Mm -hmm. With five vaginas, Pizza's more of a man than you'll ever be. Booty should learn to speak better about concepts and topics that. God. <laughs> so much for that. Somebody doesn't come to someone's house on a live stream and knock on the door. Are you insane? I'm coming for my stuff, like I told you. Uh huh. Oh my god. You told okay, again, she told him on the live stream because apparently no one can have a private conversation in this universe. This guy drives me nuts. I can't, I can't deal with him. So you made me waste my fucking gas. Are you gonna pay for my gas? If you have some fucking nerve, give me my video back. Give you your video back? What video? The one where you're talking shit about me? Fuck you. You're lucky I didn't delete your whole entire channel. You don't deserve a channel. We would say that's confirmation that Food is logging in and deleting shit. By the way, just T T. The Look only reason you have anything is because of me, and that, and that pisses you off, doesn't it? Makes you feel like less of a man, so you take your shit out on me. Mm, classic. Yeah, well, fuck you. Lucy asked an important question. How do I time out Chantel for her shitty language and name-calling? Mate! <laughs> <sighs> oh, mate, if, if I knew, I'd tell ya. <laughs> Go kill your potatoes with your new fucking girl, fugly girlfriend. Uh-huh. Mm, and then you have the nerve in the morning to blame me for missing your fucking probation appointment? I'm just gonna say, Old Bank should never have relied on Foodie to follow through on anything, but we, we all know we've been here since the start. We know. We know what's going oh, on. Oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Well, you want me to take you? Why can Didi take you, you big fat baby? You want me to take you to your probation when Didi's there? Get her to fucking Uber you. Are you crazy? <laughs> Get her to fucking Uber your ass. Oh my god. Uh, ugh, I'm glad I'm ruining your fucking vacation, Didi. Maybe you'll have a better time at the welfare office when you go back. Again, I think, you know, I keep thinking of Dee Dee just sitting back there. I, I know she was drinking wine, but in my mind, she's got like a big pina colada, like in a hollowed out pineapple. This is her vacation. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm going to have some nice wine for my friend Matter. There's nothing going on. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Do you see... DC says a simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I mean, but no, everything's content, mate. She did. She really did hear me when I started saying that. <laughs> you just lied to everybody and everybody saw it because you said she can pick up her stuff anytime like a big bad man. But then what happens? Big bad man. Oh, I should actually show up and you really are just all bark, aren't you? Just like a dog. Bark, bark, bark. Woof, woof, woof. Baring your teeth behind a fucking door. Like a bitch that you are. Look. I'm breaking down this situation to say Old Maid is also petty and kind of trollish, um, which has which has been proven over the last couple of weeks, specifically. Um, but it's very much, and I'm not justifying any of these people's behaviour whatsoever, they're all toxic, all trash, and I want nothing to do with them, but I do like to watch a mess. 
here's the thing, though. Fudi consistently comes online and um, basically plays tick for tack, right? So you poor, you talk poorly about me, I'm going to talk poorly about you. You, you know, you wrong me, I will wrong you. Um, she's, she, uh, she can never really take the high ground or be the big person as a concept, right? So it is particularly dickish and trollish behavior for old mate to be like, well, you want something, I want something. Tick for tack, mate. Oh, you can't bring my, can't bring my videos back. Not getting your CPAP today. You know, it just feels, it just feels very much like a cosmic balance. I mean, it's gross. It's all gross, but it's just, it's just kind of how my logical mind is seeing it. Anyway. Why did I leave? You call the cops, I'm going to break your machine? Mm. I'll take you to court. Audrey says, Audrey asked an important question saying, why didn't he just give her her stuff? Because he's a petty troll and a, an abusive manipulator. Uh, and she deleted one of his live streams and this is revenge. That, that's why. I'll win. Whoa. So I guess I don't get to sleep properly again tonight because of his stupid games. <laughs> All right. Pi, do you know what? I'm telling you right now, mate. If some production company out there isn't watching and doesn't buy the rights to this season and make, like, some... Like, maybe... Hallmark? No, Hallmark's a little bit more, like... <laughs> Hallmark is a little bit... <laughs> I can't imagine a Foodie Beauty Hallmark video. No. <laughs> no. Maybe someone else. That's nice. Go live. I can't wait to ruin your live stream. Go live. Mm -hmm. Everyone's coming in to say she deleted two videos before she left the house and he found out right before she arrived. That would make sense. That tracks. And she's deleted things in the past as well. FX, Lifetime. I hope you, did, did I have him on mute or unmute? Did you hear what FX, FX I can is? See. Slamming the door in my face. Fuck you. Blah, blah, blah. Really? Because I want my machine? You can't let me in for like one skit? One second to get my stuff? Like a real man? Because you're too busy with DD Leopard Print fucking gas station wine? 100% DC, 100%. You both deserve each other, you're both disgusting. <laughs> Jennifer. More trollish behavior, but yes. <laughs> I'm Matter's friend. Matter doesn't deserve friends, he's a piece of crap. There, I said it. Oh, I'm mad, I want to go back there. If it wasn't illegal, I would break down the door and risk my life dealing with him. Please don't put that out there. Please do not. I don't even care at this point. I spent enough of today. When I'm like really mad. I don't in, care. Oh no, territory. I don't care about my own. I just see like one person. When I'm mad at that person and it's like red and like, yeah. I don't care about anything else. I just want to like, mm. yeah. yeah. That's how I feel right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy that just this morning I was in love with this person. Mm. This morning we were, we were here. This morning we got an apology video of all things, so. Did I tell you you can't get your stuff? Yeah, you did, you freaking moron. What do you think not letting me get my stuff is? No, sorry, you didn't physically say the words, maybe. You. you can't have your stuff. But in other words, yeah, you did. You think you're, you're smart with little legal terms, because you've been in jail. Ooh. 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 I know I look insane, guys. This guy makes me this way. You would be too. Everyone's trash here, but you keep putting yourself in this position, Chantal. Please take a little bit of accountability. I drove all the way there for nothing. I understand there's nothing she can do about her past behavior, but like maybe future behavior. Maybe she won't leave CPAP machines behind at the abusive manipulator's home. Anyway, she's got an answer for everything. I should just shut up. Fuck. He doesn't give any fucks about anybody but himself. It says I don't care about myself because I went live stream. Annie, hello, my friend. Lovely to see you today. And he says, God, this sounds like the beginning of every bail court day <laughs> whenever I have bail court duty. When we cop uh, copped files like this, we used to blast, fell in love in a hopeless place. Perfect song to go along with this ridiculousness, Annie. Hello, good morning. I went on a live stream. My video's worth $500. Yeah, right, your video's worth fucking $5. Oh, I can't stand this guy. He, I mean, there's every possibility that his live stream could have made $500 with super chats and memberships and stuff like that. Um, but just as a note, just because a live stream's deleted doesn't mean that that money won't fall into AdSense. It will. You, did, you just don't see it. Um, because you can't see the analytics for a sing for that single video if it's been removed, but you can still see it in your like daily um, tally, which is a, a like a graph in analytics. So, just just in case anyone was confused about the money conversation. I can't stand this guy. I really can't. 
Honestly, I feel like going back, calling the cops and going back with the cops. But I think he'll break my machine. I really think he would. Like, I swear. Michelle, I agree. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> all my shits. I have a lot of stuff there, too, actually. I was hoping to go and just sweep the room with all my stuff. But no. He's lying. He's such a liar. That's proof right there. Like, you tell people I can get my stuff and I go show up and what do you do? Big talker? You fucking don't even let me in. Yeah. You don't let me in. Yeah. You know, once I have all my shit, it's finally over. And you don't want... If you're, it's really over, prove it to everyone and give me my shit. Let me come back and get my shit. Actually, I feel like people should... Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. And if you think it over, baby, you'll be coming over again and again and again and again and again. And Katy Perry remains a queen. And it's a very appropriate song. Spam him with that so I can go get my stuff. What do you guys think? Oh, this guy doesn't realize there's two lanes or what? I think that would be the best, uh, the best option. I don't want to even hear of his face after today. Like, he's seriously pissed me the fuck off. Okay, great. Skip. I seriously just want to sleep good tonight. Okay, skip. Because it's... Oh, where are we? I'll just go back and wait at the door until the cops are called. And there we go. Hold on, hold on. Because I didn't listen to all of this. I'm still confused about who called the cops. This is some... This is some... Shenanigans. Whoa. Hello. Hello. So? Agreed, but it 100%. Should I go back? No. <laughs> Is my answer. That's what I thought, army wife. I'll just go back and wait at the door until the cops are called. And then I'll say yes. I'd like my stuff, but he's not letting me have it. This BS mate. Mate! Let me tell you, I have a particular issue. I have a particular issue manipulating and using your YouTube audience as a, um, as a, like, safety network, right? You all know my thoughts on the paperclip streams we've been here. The YouTube audience holds no responsibility over what is happening at, on the creator's end. The creator is the one responsible for everything that's happening. Personally, I think the way that Foodie is speaking about this, she is, um, I don't know, enticing? Encouraging, that's a better word. I think that Foodie's encouraging her chat to be doing this. Why the fuck does Foodie not call the cops? Help me out. Someone help me out. Understand that. Why, 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 why is she saying, I'll just wait on the porch until someone call the, calls the cops? While I live stream to an audience of 2,000 people, why is Foodie saying this? Why? Why is she not calling them? She was high. Well, IDC. I mean, the cops show up eventually anyway, so they've, they've got to deal with her in, in physicality, so they might have, you know, some kind of inkling that that's going on. I, yeah, I'm just really interested to understand why Foodie didn't call them herself. She's wait she's waiting on chat or someone else to do it for her. Army wife says it very well. Army wife says so she can tell old mate that she didn't call and that shows how much she loves him. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. It's in case they get back together. Polter, lovely to see you to today. And I agree. I agree. So this his video means more to me. His video means more to him than have me having my seat. Yeah. But never mind all the channel setup I did for him. Mm -hmm. Applied for the monetization for him. Uh, he would. She clicked three buttons for him. Yeah. Cool. Know how to do fuck all. He can't even cut a piece of video. But the fact that I spent however many days and hours working on his channel for him, uh -huh. editing his videos, being hours, yet. hours to set up. I don't know about your. Have you ever tried to set up a YouTube channel? It's just days of laborious work. It is really hard to set up a YouTube channel, you guys. It's not, maybe half an hour at the most. It's not that, not that big of a deal. That, for him, none of that matters. None of it matters. He had his door open. He's like, I didn't say you can come in. He's peeling a potato. Um. Uh, Lucas, no, she can't. Did you hear me say I help you pay for it? And he slammed the door. I mean, she has she has the logins for uh, his account clearly, so she could claim it via his. But once a video is made and uploaded, unless that video includes copyrighted material, which would be picked up by the algorithm of some kind, um, or you voluntarily release that information, that video is whoever owns the channels. 
If you create content and you put it up on the channel, that is your content. So, I don't know. Foodie, Foodie continues to argue through this that, oh, well, I edited everything, I put it all together, I uploaded it for you. And it's like, yeah, but if you're the channel owner, then it belongs to the channel. It's like saying if you're an editor and you put, like, a music video up for a record company. It's not... You don't have any rights to that. It, be it belongs to whoever owns the channel. I pay your fucking rent. I feel like I have a right to your fucking house. Fucking moron. <laughs> a right to his house, which is the second time that's been brought up this week because she pays his rent, y'all. <gasps> Grebo has an excellent tinfoil hat theory. Plot twist. Diddy called the cops from the bathroom. <laughs> Let's go back at your seatbelt. Oh, wow, I missed a lot of... Let's get this stuff out. Editors out here owning content. Well, exactly. I mean, involved. this is this is why things like credits exist, right? So you sit through the Marvel movie and you sit through the, you know, seventeen minutes worth of credits. Each of those pe per people are, each of those peoples, each person is credited with the job that they have done. They cannot like walk into walk into the movie theater and be like, I'm claiming this. <laughs> They are an employee, not a rights holder of, of the, the content medium, but whatever, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, right, that's not even Joshua move. Get your stuff back. Should I go get my stuff back? I don't want to call. Whiplash, she got her CPAP. They're yeah, live nope. drinking wine and laughing at you. Nope, really? Right what are they saying? Yeah, you know what? Fuck now, I'm going to get my fucking CPAP. I came oh. to get my CPAP. On the road again. The Can somebody? Is he? Is he? Uh, members only? Sing it with me, Shrek. I can't wait to get on the road again. Is he like members only? Can you guys like tell him? Somebody, please, that I'm coming back and I want my bag, my CPAP in a bag. She look, Fruity. I try not to speak poorly of you. Um, uh, damn, you are lazy. Damn you! Like it, I don't think this is non-confrontational BS. This should not be live streamed. Why the fuck was any of this live streamed? She, sh this is shit to handle in private. Now, don't get me wrong. I agree. Like recording such a dangerous, messed up situation is smart. Yes, but what? Like chat. We've been through all of this before. What the hell is the live stream gonna do if something happens? Oh wait, the live stream ended up calling the cops. So what? What? We are really coming into dystopian times. No, she should have held herself accountable and been a little bit more intelligent and actually planned for all of this shit that's going on and not been like, someone on the internet will save me. This is Paperclip's, like, version 4 we're up to now, I think. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if the cops have to come, then the cops will come. Because I'm leaving without my stuff. So. I'm coming back. Louisa asks, is the viewer who called the police in the wrong? I think Foodie's in the wrong for instigating that conversation. I think Foodie's in the wrong for not making the call herself. That's what I think. Piece of shit. And fuck you, Dee, you turtle. Because this this isn't this isn't about like stories about like video game players on Twitch who have like a, a medical issue or like you know, their, their apartment gets broken into or whatever. And, you know, the, the chat calls the local police department and does that. Foodie's, Foodie's specifically putting herself into these situations continuously. It is not the audience's responsibility to babysit Foodie and make sure nothing bad happens to her. This is not an emergency situation. Foodie had hours, days, if you want to argue it, days to organize this with a local police department. You could have a conversation of whether or not this is a waste of resources, but I I don't think that anyone should encourage Foodie to be like, the internet will take care of it for me. I don't think that's a, an encouraging conversation to have for anyone. She's purposefully putting herself into these situations, hoping or expecting her internet audience to fix all of her problems. She is an adult. She needs to adult. That's it. Here's Farley Turtle. Like, it's, ridic it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think it's a matter of having a conversation about whether or not the audience member or, or her chat were in the right or in the wrong. I think I think she needs to take some fucking responsibility for her own life, honestly. Like, that's that's a pretty brutal thing for me to, 
to bluntly say, but it is it is ridic- it is absolutely ridiculous. It's basically like me going to light my hand on fire, coming down and sitting here with my hand on fire, being like, hey, y'all, my hand's on fire. I mean, it, that's probably a bad analogy, but you know what I mean. You can do so much better. Yeah. Choices, 100%. Choices, Louise. You can do better, you can do better, you can do better, you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. And then he has the nerve to be like, what did you say? Defending, you were just sucking up the pizza and he was talking shit about me. You told him to talk shit about me. Fuck you. She is literally spending eight hours on a live stream being like, should I go? Should I not go? Should I go? Should I not go? Should I spend six hours of this shit talking the two people whose house I'm going to rock up to, to claim my CPAP machine? Don't get me wrong, I feel for her because she's picking up a piece of emergency medical equipment, but she's manipulated the storyline around that entire thing. And she, why the hell is she not holding herself more responsible? Because she's foodie. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. She's voluntarily putting herself into more dangerous situations. And it's not, it shouldn't be too much to ask that a reasonable adult stops doing this. Oh, sorry. You're just laughing at me with Didi. Hmm, but that's not, that's not. Hallie, Hallie, exactly. Hallie says, guys, send me super chats. People, people, are hands on fire shaming me. Okay, right? Because Didi's your friend. <laughs> Welfare Mud <laughs> slicker, yes. Yeah, and uh, Maria, she asks her chat to do stuff all the time. Set a timer. Can someone Google this for me? How much does this cost? She's even gotten into the situation where she's asking channel members, like, what her budget and shit is. This is ridiculous. Check yourself into Impatient. Get your life sorted out, miss. That's, that's infuriating. I'm not saying it's a matter. Over it. I want my machine. Oh, I missed something? Oh, say, thank you, Capone. I can't look up the chat right now, guys. What did I miss? Oh, my machine. Danielle, apologies for the delay. Thank you very much for the super chat. I hope you're doing well. Danielle says, remember when it was bubble tea with a stranger? Oh, mate, I felt the same way about bubble tea with a stranger. I mean, to a much lesser degree, but also me screaming about internet safety in this day and age. Oh, God. Frank could have been anyone. Thank God Frank turned out to be relatively... No, Frank, Frank turned out to be, like, responsible oh uh, well not maybe not responsible i don't know he seemed he wasn't old mate that i want my lingerie it's expensive lingerie at torrid have you ever bought lingerie at torrid holy shit it's and all frank's fault no poor frank that's all i want i don't know why he's so mad well what baby you know i'm not gonna come back and see you after oh so she got a phone call where are we now decent to Timmy, that's so a good is he this going is... to give does anyone not know that this is infuriating does he not know that i can have a stroke in my sleep without my machine you haven't cared about it so many times in the past again i'm not trying to be cruel i'm just sitting here being over just feeling really over being manipulated by fruity because that's exactly what she's doing here like yeah it's a shitty situation that you don't have your cpap machine but you refuse to take your cpap machine home and you refuse to find an adult way to receive your food pap uh, food pap <laughs> cpap <laughs> food pap <laughs> again this isn't about one person being wrong one person being right i think the entire situation is toxic and garbage and everybody in it is kind of problematic in so many ways there is no one's the winner here no one's less bad everything's bad but like she's not taking any responsibility infuriating like, he doesn't care that I can die in my sleep. He's more worried about his fucking video. Does anybody, can anyone tell him that in my live stream? Tell him I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. He can call the cops. I'm not leaving until he gets me mixed up. I, chat, actually, like, I just want to say I appreciate you all being here and being as um, respectful as possible. I am trying to, like, work out the logic of this without just being entirely... Like, I know, I don't want to come across as cruel. It just... it it You just reach a certain point, you know? Like, you're not allowed to be on my property. Oh, yeah, since when? Because it's trespassing. You're not on the lease. It doesn't matter if you're fucking paying the bills, mate. Too bad, then. Call the cops. I almost wish he's he had, to machine. be honest. Seriously? Like, grow up. Oh, man. He's only worries about winning a fight. He doesn't care about anything else. He's such a good person. 
no, Wait. no, no one, no, miss, let's not mix words here. No one in this situation is a good person. No one. No one. Zero. Zero people. His roommate's probably like, who's this bitch? Why do you have another bitch over? <laughs> Thank you all for trying. I appreciate you all. I see you. Come give me my stuff. Thank you. Is anyone messaging him in his chat? Fuck. People are spamming his chat. Here's a fun thought experiment to run. What happens if Old Mate didn't have a channel? What happens if Foodie had just deleted his channel earlier today? Or what happens if she'd never set a, a channel up for him in the first place? How are they communicating in this situation? Oh, I blocked him and I turned off his phone. Great. So you're just going to rock up at his door and be like, I want my shit back? Oh no, but you need a fucking army of your audience. Ugh, God, it's so gross. So dumb. I feel so manipulated rewatching this. I really do. I'm not going to the door if he's losing Because part of my lizard brain is just like, no, this is dangerous. Like, call the police, get people involved. Like, this is, this is unsafe. And then I have to snap back to reality and be like, this is the person who decided not to take that route. Carry, 100%. 100%. Didi said it's my fault. Fuck Sorry, you. you're on my porch. Give me the moron. No Leave. Boring inside no? Of head. Ring, All ring. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's fair, Liz. That's fair. The, no, I agree. There is He's very little... He's not going to give it back? He wants me to call the cops? He's on probation. Can someone tell him that? <laughs> what ifs are very fun with Foodie. Yes. Because... Because somehow they're all better, you know? Every what if is better. Spursly, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. For being here for 11 months, I can read. Spursly says, two hours behind, but ready for this ride. Love you. Thank you very much for the kind words, Spursly. And I hope you enjoy. Hello, future Spursly. He said he would give it back, just not like this. Maybe, Pam. What do you mean, just not like this? She's not me by Madonna? He said for you to call the police? He did. He wants me to call the cops. I need confirmation of that. He'd Miss Foodie, you have had 17 bajillion chances to organize with the police and escort in this situation. Told him he's not doing nothing wrong. Look at that. Even her chat is telling her. He's saying to call the police. Does she call the police? No. Huge ass, mate. It was a mess. Messy, mess, mess. Mess. Lovely to see you, though. Thank you for being here. They'll do he said it, the mate. machine is broken. Mm. So he doesn't give a shit that something I need to survive. No, he doesn't give a shit. Huh. Doesn't care. All the cops he said. He okay. doesn't care. I know he doesn't want to, but I'm tempted to call him bluff. Look at her in this situation. She has every opportunity to reach out, find assistance, and does she? No. Instead, the chat does it. Gross. I'm not going without it. Call the cops. You call the cops! Oh my god. Just make me mad. I'm beeping the horn. I'm gonna piss them off though, guys. I'm like, gonna really piss bad. off every neighbor in this alleyway? Parking lot? Whatever Park it is. No, it's to call him bluff. Call the cops. Why do you care what happens to him when he like, clearly doesn't care about you? It's like a cute little nickname. He said for you to call the police to get your things. Oh, I don't want to call the fucking police, guys. Why the fuck not? Oh my god, she is making me mad. Why the fuck not? She's the worst, chat. I don't... Like, no. There can be multiple people who are the worst, but she's the worst. We all said it during paper clips. If you go back over there to pick up your shit. We've been here before, by the way, just in case anyone doesn't remember. Not in not in real time, but we have had this conversation sitting in the luxury villa like seven times. And consistently, she has been told, you need to get organized a police escort to go over there and pick up your shit if you are honestly never going back again. Is she going back again after this? Probably. I mean, I'm quite cynical of the whole thing, but she's the worst. She has a real job. Give me a break. Welfare office, Dee Dee. Call the police. Why? She is the worst. Welfare office, Dee Dee. You can shut up. Oh my god. 
Tell him to give him his stuff. He's just cooking. Not to the guy who stabbed two people, foodie. You make him fun of me. <laughs> hmm. Put in the put in the thing that I I call call the cops. See what he says. I hate it here. <laughs> This is not what YouTube live. <laughs> this is not what live streams on YouTube were designed for. To instigate your audience to to call the police for you and your lazy ass to deal with non-emergency situations because you continue to put yourself in danger. This is not what YouTube live streams were designed for. Susan Susan would not be happy with this content, I think. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Louise has clarified it was about 8 p.m. food Shannon's fighting time. with Natter? Really? So uncomfortable, Why? Capone. Oh, God. <laughs> Jen, I agree. I don't think we'll ever see Philip again, but Philip is, is a proud mascot of our, our community. She's looking around expecting it to be the police as well. It's so gross. I hate Call it. the police and be done? Yeah, do that. If her chat isn't more mad at her not, like, not calling the cops, I... I mean, I don't have high hopes, Maybe but... Maybe we can't keep your stuff. Everyone is spamming his chat with CPAP. She, she is so fucking proud and happy here that she has her audience on her side, and I hate every minute of it. Please, please call the cops. Very that Punisher. <laughs> I don't want to call the cops, guys. Philip is an icon. What if he broke the machine? Victim foodie, I'm not here for. Can you guys ask him to come bring my stuff out? And I won't call the cops. Can Otherwise you? I'm calling. I didn't sit through this. I don't know if you can't tell. Can you tell? You might be able to tell. I should still call, right? I can get some of my other stuff. People are still pissed in his stream. Mo, I'll have no idea. Apparently they were talking about food, so I believe that. I know. Nikki, that makes me so sad. Really does. He's calling the cops? <laughs> Could you tell, Lucy? <laughs> We're gonna get through to the end of this and then jump over to Old Mate's stream and then, yeah. Oh, I need to get I don't those numbers. I know he's already. I don't want to like involve the police, but I want myself. Those numbers. He's watching me. Can you bring me my stuff, please? Oh my god. I don't want trouble. I want peace. I just want my stuff. There. That's it. Oh, Karen, I'm sorry to keep you up. <laughs> please, is he watching? Can you please bring me my stuff? Just my machine. Bring it right now. Hey, Emily. Nothing has to happen. I'll be on my way. You can continue having your shitty wine with Didi. Okay, let's see where we get to. It is coming up here, because we've only got another five minutes left you? in the stream. And then we go to Old Mate's stream. For content. For content? For clarity. I'm gonna have to call the police if you don't give me my stuff. I need my stuff. And people are gonna call if you don't give me my stuff. There's two- Why the fuck are you not calling? Chat, I never expect any of you to be in a similar situation as Foodie. In general, but specifically here. You need to take check of your own agency, Miss Chantel. And anyone else who needs to hear that, take check of your own agency. You have the facilities to impact change in your life. So do it. Don't expect other people to do it. Some people watching. If you don't give me my stuff, I don't know what you're talking about, a video. You care more about your fucking video than you do about my life-supporting machine I need to breathe at night. I can die in my sleep and I can have a stroke and you don't even care. I just want my machine so I can sleep tonight because I'm tired of it and you don't give a fuck. And people are going to call the cops if you don't give it to me. So. I hate it. I hate this so much. I can't be the only one who's upset at this. I know I'm not. I see everyone in the chat. My apologies. But I just... It's so infuriating. Okay, Phoenix, well then Dee can go bring it out then. Somebody give me my fucking machine so I can sleep. 
Zach asks, could she not be calling because she doesn't pay her taxes and she's been flagged? I don't think that's how the social services work over in the Canada, Zach, but a good point. She just uploaded a video? Oh, Princess Kitten. Really? Really? <laughs> I don't see it. Not yet. Oh my god, she did. Chat, do we want to do we want to be the first to cover game over before we get to this or do we want to hold off? Oh my god. No, we're not watching this. We're absolutely not watching this video right now. We we, we will. Sleep isn't my it's not important. It's not important. We'll get to the end of this and then we'll get to the police and then we'll watch it. I just it. want my machine. Why are you yeah. flipping out? Yeah. What is your fucking problem? I'm asking for my machine. We'll watch. We'll watch. It's fine. No, no, it's okay. You lie to me, you cheat I on know, me. We got it. I know. You're having wine with another woman in your house? Uh -huh. and you have the fucking nerve to ask why I'm mad? You're fucking insane. So, you know what? Enjoy yourself. Okay. He wants his video back. What fucking video? Chat, I know we all want the tea. What it's video? fine. It's okay. Chandra Foster, thank you very much for being here and I'm joining us. Tell I'm calling the cops. I appreciate I it and welcome shit. to Pulpster. <clears throat> okay, I just need to get to where the police are and then we'll run this the end. Question mark? <laughs> You were not together, yells Erdie. I agree, Erdie. Yes. This should have come out at the end of the Toronto trip. He's mocking me? Hmm. Oh, she's already admitted. Yes. <laughs> He's insane. You see for yourself. Don't know you know what you're I'm trying about. to berate me? Uh, you need to sit by yourself and you need to think about what you did. Okay, daddy. It's gross that in my head that I know she's called him Daddy Natty before, so that's all gross. He wants his video, but makes videos with the very expensive iPad you got him. Give me a break. What about all of the videos on your channel right now? What have you done for me for those? Did you pay me for those? What has he done for you for those? It was our understanding that he was paying you attention and cooking for you. I mean, I wish we didn't know any of this. Did you pay me editing fees for those? I don't think so. Louise, this life has driven me to wine and I don't drink. Mate, I have a bottle of wine in the fridge and I'm half tempted, hey. <laughs> so? It's a nice Al... Al... Uh, it's a... What is it? Is it... Quetz... Tremina? It's a Riesling. It's from Alsace. In his chat, they said you're driving impaired. Come give me a breathalyzer test. I'm not impaired. Ah, uh, yeah you are, because you've been smoking weed all day. The uh, cops have stopped me at Papa John's. Look at me with a flashlight. You're Great. Obviously... Papa John's is not today, Miss Chantel. Stop trying to make an argument. Oh, no. Good luck. Ew. God, this video is going to be cringe as hell, team. As a videographer, ready. I own the rights. Exactly. I make your videos. They're not yours. Uh, you do not own the rights. The video... Uh, sorry, the, again, the channel owner owns the rights if they're uploaded unless they're flagged for copyright in other ways. And you don't know how YouTube works. Poppy and Pine, thank you for being here for eight months. Poppy and Pine says, thanks for getting me through my masters. Oh, mate! Congratulations, Poppy and Pine. Chat, can we get some hands up and some love in the chat for Poppy and Pine? Congratulations on finishing your masters. That's incredible to hear. I hope you go on to do fabulous things. Thank you for hanging out with us. He's losing his mind. Call, tell him to call. I want the cops to be called. I want my shit. I'm not leaving without it. Fuck you. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Tell him to give me my stuff. <sighs> give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. I'm too mad to be worried about my own safety right now. For real. You are making some choices in that realm. Yes. I almost want to punch him. Nat says the video is so cringe. Great, we can cringe along together. We've been doing that all day. Tell him to call. Is that a call? There's the police. Look how happy she is. I need to rewind this and you will all suffer with me. I'm, a, I'm sorry, chat. Look at, just watch this. Tell him to call. Just watch. Is that a call? There's the police. Look how smug. Look how happy. So happy. So smug. That's fucked, mate. Shit's fucked. No, man. I don't want to go in the house. Hi. Hi. Hold on, guys. Yeah, don't turn off the live stream. Fuck, idiot. Hi. You know what? I meant that one. Idiot. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi, sorry, officers. Yeah, we're live streaming over here. Is that okay with you? You get called. Consent. Consent. Um, Consent. Well, I'm on a live stream. I'm a YouTuber. 
Okay. Do you think they understood what that meant? <sighs> I'm on a live stream. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber. Do you think they understood? You want me to turn it off? Not, not you're being filmed. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh. Okay, they said to turn it off. Very good. <laughs> okay, guys, hold on. Okay. Or can I just turn it? Yeah. I love, I love this guy over here checking the car. Points for thinking, mate. I, I also know nothing about police, so. Do you um, have information like at night or something like that? Okay, it's gone. Great. DC's up next, but unfortunately, oh, sorry, sorry, DC. I've got a, I've got a, got a, a cringe video to watch. Are we already? Uh, where is it? The end? Question mark. It's not a question mark. That's just a Simpsons reference, right? Um. Okay. Uh, no, we watched that one. Got to pull this one into here. Got to pull this one up. All right, we all ready? We all ready for the cringe? The cringe fest? Jeez, I didn't want it to play. Cringe fest, cringe, cringe fest. 3000, are we ready? It's also very loud apparently, so let's just turn it down a little bit. I'm just gonna, just gonna watch a thing just in case. Um, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit as well, just in case you chose not to use copyrighted music, because that might have, I don't know, I'd question that. <laughs> anyway, ready? Let's go. Someone told me, sorry, wait, should we do foodie voice? <clears throat> Someone told me that you love me. Come on, baby, come and show me. I'm so broken and I'm lonely. I'll do anything for you. And sing. <laughs> She's got the song playing the whole time. Okay, we can probably just nix the song. Do, how about we line up our own audio? Let's do that. Let's do... This one's called The Bone Train. What's this one sound like? It's not at all appropriate, but... Bone Train. Okay, great. I hate this. <laughs> oh God, I hate this so much. No for me, dog. Oh, hold on. We'll just pause, because we got to go to Foodie Voice. I've got like seven things going on here, mate. Oh, no. Not making it easy on me. <clears throat> Baby, it's so easy to change me. Nope, that's going to win. <laughs> All you have to do is claim me. Love me. Touch me. Bend me. Break me. I just want to be with you. Pathetic. Very good. Excellent. We're going to continue. Bird Train. This is not her song. This is this is our song. This is what we're doing. Oh. Okay. We'll just um, pause. There we go. Hi, babe. I couldn't bring myself to wake you up. I left at 7.30 a.m. Couldn't sleep, so I'm going to coffee bees. Oh, this is from Chantal. Okay, but in text message form. It's fine. Check your channel. I made you something special for you. I love you so much. XO, call me when you wake. 7.30 in the morning. Who knows what date, though? Anyway, back to Bone Train. This is a photo of Foodie. Love you. Love you too, babe. Tomorrow I have to do the Beezer Awards at something. Another photo of her. This is confusing. Every single time I try to call you on video, you are on another call. So annoying. No, my uncle. You'll have to forgive me. This is all from the same period, right? This is all around the Toronto era and the cabin, cabin fever era, which was not long after, right? The ring, the Jafar ring. You make me stressed out. Oh my God. What is this supposed to prove? What is this? It, is this receipts? Louisa, you thought exactly what I thought. Is this receipts? Anyway, back to Bone Train. Not the foreskin hat. I left you some voice notes on Messenger. Okay, why? Listen and find out. I'm not happy. Be happy. Oh, this is from January 8th. Okay, we actually get a date here. All right, putting the pieces together.
That was Toronto. I remember that. So you're not going to answer me. I'll call you back in a bit, okay? I don't want to argue. Just seem mad. So we can talk in a bit. Why are you mad? You shouldn't be. Is that ignoring again? Not, this conversation doesn't make sense. Your one edited content. Oh, Cheesecake Factory! This was Toronto. Okay. I don't want you to call. It's 1.45, that's all. I have stuff to do here, you know. I can't even have a day here. You said you will move in 15 minutes, and I said okay, and I'm waiting for it. I said that because you were yelling at me on the phone. I'm waiting. Waiting for what? I don't want you to call. Stuff to do here. Oh, okay, so she's saying she can't even have a day at the luxury villa. And he's saying, you said you'd leave in 15 minutes. And I said, okay, and I'm waiting for you. And she said, I said that because you were yelling at me on the phone. What? What? Cheesecake Factory. Get it. Hey, I'm still live. I'll call you in an hour, okay? Are you going to coffee for four hours? Ooh, shady. Look, I love you. Why can't you relax a bit and just be patient with me? I'm going live. Fix the chat, please. Oh, God. I don't think this is doing what Foodie thinks it's doing. I don't think... I don't think... These are all from the same trip, but okay. Whatever point she's trying to make, I don't see it. So, if you don't edit my video before 9, you out of my life. I swear to my mother, life. He's done that before. And my father, death. He's... He's only done the mum before. And don't even try to listen to my voice again. And this is the last time I will talk about this shit. And then she said bye. So did this all happen on the 8th? Or is that what we're trying to process here? Oh no, Bone Train's ending. Bone Train's gonna end early. Eri, this is so sad. Not in the way that she thinks it's sad though. I don't think. Bone Train... Bone train finishes early. Now we're just gonna stare in silence at these, um, at these, this PowerPoint presentation. Wow, foodie. I don't know. I don't know what she's trying to prove. Can anyone tell me? Oh God, this is not it. I don't want to. <laughs> the bone train didn't prepare me for this. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. This is a note. This is a note to everybody. This is a note. Please do not take photos of people while they sleep. Don't do that. It's not okay. Okay, goodbye. It ends there. Chat, y'all made me watch that. <laughs> you, you all chose... <laughs> you all chose to watch that. So, let's, let's, uh, let's hit the rewind time. Boop. <laughs> Jack says it's a last ditch attempt to get him back. Oh my god. <laughs> she thinks that Pam and Tommy says wasted po. Uh, maybe. I was thinking Pam and Jim from The Office, but they're not nearly as problematic. I mean, a little bit, but. <laughs> that was the season final chat. That was this. That was the true season final. So we're gonna go back and watch episode twenty three. Twenty three, where um, so this is in the lead up to the police. Knock, knock, knocking on old mate's door. Are we all ready? Are we all ready? I'm ready. I want the tea, Christine. Let's go. Beef. Beef. Remember, this is at speed, but he's tenderizing filet mignon, which is confusing, with the back of a knife, which is doubly confusing. WB says that was the credits bonus scene. That was the bloopers. <laughs> Tara, yes, at the start of the stream I said we are unfortunately watching Old Mate for this one video because we need to get some context about what was happening with the police. So, as much as I really don't enjoy watching him, this is kind of important for tracking the narrative. Okie doll, I agree. I don't think he has any idea what, what he's doing. He's a little bit too fast for me. Like, he's a bit sped up, you know? Melanie says those text texts were savage. I didn't see it. 
I didn't really see... Like, at the end, he was like, bye. Well, she said bye. He said, if I don't get the thing that I want, then never talk to me again. I feel like they've had those conversations multiple times before. Nothing particularly, like... I don't know. I don't know. Weird. That's not a fillet? I think it was a, a, a full fillet that he's sliced into minute steaks. No, I can see a fillet there. There's a fillet. Okay, guys, hold on. Ladder. Ladder. Okay, so... Drama. Let me let me play you a scene chat. Didi and old mate make dinner in the kitchen. Didi's drinking a glass of wine or tea. We won't know. Drinking a glass of wine, watching Chantel be all extra outside. All of a sudden, the police show up. Didi sees it on the live stream. There's a delay of about twenty seconds. So <sighs> this is it. If the cops come, I have to shut the live off. So he says, just hit mute. Oh, it's Chardonnay. Or as we say in Australia, Cardinet. Glass of ch Chardy love. Okay, this is all mute. Hold on, I've got, I've got timestamps. I need the timestamps. Okay, it'll come back in three seconds. Two. One. Maybe a little bit longer. Volume up. Oh, volume up. I'm silly. Hold on. We'll wait until we come back at some point. Here? Here. Time seems are a little off. Here. I still appreciate them. <laughs> okay, great. So, Dee Dee's moving around. We're getting a better view of the kitchen, but we're still on mute. Okay, so we can now see that, that a couple of pairs of, of snow-covered boots have entered the scene. Entered the scene. The police are in the building. Guys, there we and now we are unmuted. Give me one minute. So I'll put you off the camera. Thank you. I'm mute. Did you say turn it off camera? These police officers must be very confused about this whole this whole thing. You guys. Like so these people these people out here live streaming and filming and it's very confusing. Hey, well, you are on YouTube, on Facebook, on something? Sorry? You are on Facebook, right? I was on YouTube. I was on YouTube. Okay, no. what are you cooking? Beef and fish fries. A friendly enough question, I like that. <laughs> That's going to be good. Uh, we are here because... I'm going to be honest, this entire back and forth with the Canadian police just made me feel like they were real Canadian, you know? Here we have an argument with your ex or something like that. Oh, not my ex, my friend. Your friend? Yes. Okay. Clarifying that Chantel was not indeed an ex, but a friend. Okay. Not according to her, but... There's no, no relationship with no. her? Let's slow this down, because I'll make him be a bit hard to understand. Okay. She's here because she wants his breathe machine or something like that. She's the breathe machine. Yep. Uh, on here. Yes. And she actually, I don't... She asked to come get it, and I don't tell her, no, you cannot get it. But okay. before she come get it, she go on my live stream in my videos. Don't get me wrong. YouTube's really important to some people, but I don't think the Canadian police give two hoots about a deleted live stream. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might be wrong. Maybe they really care. And delete all of them. And this is not legal acts. Just did it. Okay. Go on my YouTube and delete my stuff. Mm -hmm. This is not legal. Okay. Uh, I, I think you can go to civil court for that. G good advice. I don't probably not a criminal charge um i don't know i don't know what the outcome of that would be it all depends on who is the owner of the channel okay it's not criminal and um, also if you can I'm, check i'm just here you can check to make sure. can ask her she always all her live stream here my friend yeah. again just a reminder i don't think the police care about deleted live streams they're not all day all seven months talking shit about me Insulting me with zero mates with everybody. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong, but also the police don't care. They don't need to know this. <laughs> I can leave. Tell her, shut up, what do you need? Say me what you need. So you keep talking and talking. Every clarifies and says these are not the YouTube police. No, these are, these are not. Okay. For something happened and something lies, she don't even care. Okay. But to come to my YouTube and delete my stuff, this is my Very work. Good. This is how I make money. Yeah, to um, delete my videos, that's not legal act. Yeah. And I never tell her. Yeah, you can't do that at the 
Yeah, so okay. I pooped out. I came back. Um, it does suck that everything is so well documented in this in this corner of the internet. This is what happens when you fucking can't turn live streams off, where you just live stream your entire life. I'm not intelligent enough to argue whether or not what he's saying, like what he's saying, sounds like a lie. He refused to allow her in, and he refused to give her back the thing that was hers. Right. I, but you know, foodie's foodie's real good at tripping me up with the verbiage as well. So maybe he's learned a trick or two. But now at this, I need a personal order against this person because this person is crazy. Hey, broccoli, welcome uh, back. I'm Hi, just yeah. really here to add his red machine, and I'm gonna go. Yes, but I need a personal order against him because this doesn't happen. Restraining order against him. I don't okay, want to be For that, oh, she won't allow to contact me anymore. Yes, but for that, you have to go to the past. But can you tell me you don't allow to add, come even my yeah, I, I, I can say to her. You don't want her here. I don't want her here, yes. Okay. But for that, you have to go to the police station, take mm -hmm. a report about that. Okay? I, okay. Don't think, I don't think tonight we're going to come, come solve, solve all the problems here, okay? So I think you have... I, I agree. These cops are being very patient. Have something you want to do on Facebook yes. and YouTube. Yeah. So I think you want to do your cash now, yeah. right now. Yeah. So you and she made me miss like five hundred dollars today. Yes. I want so, all day so, for so nothing. I'm, I'm just here to make. Okay. I don't think the police care about your revenue source on YouTube, but they're just here. They're just here to get the seat back. <laughs> make sure she's gonna go. So if I have to breed machine, she's gonna go. Okay. So can you go take the breed machine, bring me and. Okay, and I never tell her, and she's not gonna take it. This is the see. problem. I can't go with you now. I never tell her, you cannot take it. He, no, he talks too fast. I can't do it. Come on. That'll be fine. But she goes, delete my videos, my, my stuff, and he come to bug me. Yes. I need my stuff now, but you know, I delete your stuff. This is not fair. It's not even logically. Look, I mean, I can understand there is a point of logic, I think, in that back and forth conversation, in that, like, Again, we are absolutely not defending any of these trash toxic people, but like, I can understand a, a realistic, logical argument to say, you left something at my house? Okay, great. This is, we're doing this on my time, not your time. Sorry about it, Boots, but that's the way it is. So I kind of understand that like manipulative logic that's sitting in there, which is gross that it makes sense to me. Um, anyway. No, <laughs> her thornification mm -hmm. says it exactly. Okay. Mate, they don't care. <laughs> I do not speak French, so I have no idea what they're talking about. Apparently it was something about food. Skip. Thank you. Do you have any piece of party with Skip? Do I need to skip? Maybe. I'm gonna do a report about the situation tonight. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna say that you're cooperative with us. Explain the situation that she came here and bug you in your... Always. I can't trust. Oh, so now Chantel's got a report written on her. Okay. Search her name. Her, her name is Chantal Marie. Search her name is true. What okay. do you do in her life? Talking about me. Okay. I, don't, I don't think the officers are gonna sit down and watch eight hours of Chantel's stream to figure out what's going on, but I don't think anyone... I wouldn't wish it on him. So I'm gonna explain that, and uh, that's it for me. I hope she's not going back here. How long she was here? here. Yeah, was, uh, my friend who is with me since two days now. Okay. She had verification time, and she's been with me, and she knows everything. This oh no, that's also something to consider. Didi's been hanging out, so technically, technically, there's someone else there understanding what's going on. I mean, a lot of us are watching. There's there's many of us who watch, and we kind of understand what's going on. But Didi's like, I don't know if Didi counts as a witness in any of this. I don't know, it's weird. It's crazy. It's him. Nope, 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 nope. Tonight. There we go. Okay, okay. Not, not on your whole okay. own life, okay? So oh, yeah. Just tonight. Okay. What's happened tonight? Okay. okay. 
and from you, you have to press charge, like for a restraining order. I don't need to press charge, I just need to don't be here. I yes. don't like, I like beast. Yes, beast. But, but if you can tell it, that's yes. verbally, just yes. beast. Do not lie. Only a judge you know. can give. So I think he's, from my understanding here, he's explaining the process of a restraining order. I don't know about Canadian law enforcement, but I'm I'm pretty sure that the police would have been like, here's your things, miss, now you need to move along. Pretty sure. You are restraining order, okay? So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the report tonight, but on your side, do the police station explain what... <laughs> Annie, Annie, thank you for being here. Annie waiting in, in the chat saying, no one cares about your video, old mate. <laughs> I need to get to the end of this police interaction though, because it's, oh, it's just. It's sick. Sick. But just I don't have to be shot at somebody's sake. Mm -hmm. In the same time, I need you away from me. Uh, yeah, I understand that. Okay, but I cannot just give some condition to someone. Okay, a judge can give yeah. some condition. Uh, this is great. I'm learning a lot about Canadian law. Okay, so the restraining order is only a judge. That must be approved by a judge. See? Okay, learning something new so, every day. This report is only for what's happened tonight. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. And again, I can I absolutely believe that the the police would have been like, you need to leave now. Thanks. And you uh, need to go. Have a good night. You too. Good, uh, food. Thank you. What's uh, your YouTube channel? Uh, name? My name? Uh, the YouTube channel. Neither the channel. My name. You in there? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The most Canadian interaction. Sorry, you said you were YouTubing. What's your name? I'll check out the channel. Cut to. This police officer falling down a rabbit hole. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Police Officer. If if you if you're checking out old mate and you come across a reaction channel. Hi! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> anyway, that was the interaction with the police. We're gonna dip out of old mate and we're going to jump back into um, he didn't give me my mask. He did give me my mask. Great. This one's short. It's only 30 minutes. We don't need to watch Chantel be high and bees at home, um, again, because we've seen a lot of it. Anyway, this is just narrative well, you purposes. you turn the F in corner. Okay, so she's mad at the traffic. This is for, for narrative purposes. I just need to understand this, and then, okay, maybe we'll dip into a little bit of the high stream. God, I have no chill. I also apparently don't enjoy sleep, so... Oh, this is painful. It's fine. It's fine! <sighs> we are Steph. <laughs> Steph, good night. Have a great, great evening. <laughs> oh, Why do we have to sit <laughs> I'm stuck behind some trucks, guys! Uh-huh. But you got your CPAP. I'll tell you guys all in a minute here. Ooh. I just want to get the hell out of here. All right, can it's you try to move out of the way? That. Thank you. It's very late. I hate winter. Next year, I'm moving away for six months. I hate the fact that you smoke all day and drive like this again. Yes, indeed. Thank Are you. you. Okay. Jamaica so I can't beats. look at the chat, but I will tell you. Um, the coward. The coward. I'm sure you heard everything online. But well, we did up to the police arriving and then the stream was off and then we saw the police perspective from inside So it really is an interesting day. It's been a bit Howard day. didn't give me the cops bring me the machine in a bag. Mm -hmm. No power cord. No mask. Uh -huh. This piece of crap knows I need that Actually, the machine is plugged into the cord, but oh the cop goes back. I don't have the mask in the cord I don't have them and then the cop says well, that's all we can do ma'am You'll have to call for an escort or we can't barge in his house and look for your mask in your cord So the cop so it turns out if she'd have organized an escort from the start, she probably would have had better luck. Instead of relying on her YouTube audience to save the day every fucking time. Hmm? This is a big fucking waste of time. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. I, that's why, I mean, now I don't have a machine. Because he doesn't give a fuck if I die in my sleep. So if I die in my sleep, the blood's on your hands, asshole. I want a straining order against her. I don't want her to come on my property. Yeah, right. You're the one who needs- Not yeah, right. I, like, if you got someone on your property and you don't want them there, I mean, it's your property. It's a restraining order. You think I want to have anything to fuck with? Like, seriously. You're the one who won't give me my shit back. But who, who, who wants to keep track of who? There's a reason you're not giving me my mask back, you piece of crap. And you better not ever call me again. Ever. 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 You're a lowlife. You're a loser. You're an abusive piece of crap. I think they'll be back together on Monday. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm cynical and I've been burnt before. <laughs> and I'm so fucking done with you. 
by you. You'll never get another video. Oh, my videos. They can't give a fuck about your video. Your uh -huh. video that I recorded, bought the food for, uh -huh. and spent hours fucking freaking uh, editing for you. Yeah. And you won't give me my machine back? Screw you. You're a loser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sit through this then. <laughs> and just like everyone else, the only people who like you are my haters of desperate women who hope to get a piece of the green team by... Just as a note for everyone out there, I don't like anyone involved in any of this. I don't, I really don't. This is also not my reality, so I don't have to deal with them. I'm just, I'm watching. Morbidly curious how this all ends. Blind Canada. Also, this could have ended so much worse today. <sighs> but it didn't, thank goodness. Good luck. Probably caught it from freaking her. Probably lying about that too. <sighs> I'm going home, guys, without a machine. Oh no, sorry, with a machine? Without a mask and a power cord. So a lot of good that's going to do me. Uh -huh. A lot of good that's going to do me. Again, petty trollish manipulator. Yeah, no, tracks. I know what game he's playing. He's being a piece of crap. Show the world what a piece of crap you are. Go ahead. But Didi's still loving it. Man, fuck. Ugh. <sighs> Lying. Liars, 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 liars. Going home to be... Uh, forget about this freaking idiot. Help. And he also... Everyone video. in the chat is clarifying that she can get these replacement parts in like the blink of an eye. Video, video. <laughs> Which would make sense because if, if as she claims it is her emergency piece of machinery, it would make sense that you could quite easily get a mask and a power cord for it. And it, again, like I said earlier in the stream, I think that the power cord is probably universal. Mask, relatively easy to get. So people tell me. Cool. A lot of good the cops did. Thank you for your service. They said, I mean, there's only so much they can do legally if this piece of shit is lying to them and saying, and then they're like, he doesn't want you back at his house. That's not a lie, though. He doesn't want you back at his house. From everything we've seen. And I'm sorry. All of them are lying. All of them are not showing us 100% of the truth. But I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to believe that Old Mate does not want Foodie in the house, considering the last, you know eight hours worth of content that we've seen. I wouldn't be here, trust me. I didn't need my shit. Trust me. He doesn't want me back as hell. What, you didn't think I was gonna call the cops? I didn't actually, somebody else did. But that's what you get. And there it is. Except Foodie was uh, instigating her chat into calling the police. Uh, you can't tell me otherwise. Mm -mm. You said call them. No, you said, to, you said call them. And then chat was telling you to call them. And instead of being an adult, you cried foul and waited for someone in your chat to call them. And knew that that was happening because you turned around with the smuggest of faces. He's going to be like, see, I beat the cops. I didn't give you all your stuff. Like, you care more about yourself and winning this fight than you do about the fact that I need this fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, I don't have to be at your house to make your life miserable, okay? Again, I think it's entirely petty. Like, I'm never going to be in this situation. But boy, howdy, if I wanted someone, like the fuck off my porch, here's your shit, get out. <laughs> but he chose a different path. You don't have to really do anything illegal to make your life miserable. Don't worry. Very oh, much. Can't stand this guy. It's been a big day. Big no, day. actually, that's it. I guess I'll just have to buy a new power cord and mask. So. And all new clothes. Actually, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to get an escort. I want all my shit. Eventually. Great. Great. Right. Why did you not do this over the last four days? Sorry. Oh, because you were too too much stuck at home, getting high as butts, and trying to figure out a way to get back in with old mate, is my thought. Only shit for him? Fuck him. Screw you. What, so you can give it to your new next 100%. girlfriend? Dee Dee, she better not touch my lingerie. She probably wears it when I'm not there. I, I'm not looking at the chat, guys. I don't encourage anyone to wear other people's underwear, just as a note. Dee Dee, you too. And I was gonna eat filet mignon. The filet mignon I bought? <laughs> You're a fucking joke! You're gonna feed another bitch the flaming yo I bought at Adonis? It's not against the law for me to trash you online, by the way. You don't have to get a cease and desist. Go ahead. Anyway. God, if this chat, just think about it. Again, I'm not a legal professional, but um, I would love to hear people's thoughts. Can you imagine if this went into slander? Can you imagine? I mean, I know it's impossible to prove, but I don't think it would... Go... I'm an ignorant layperson and know nothing about the law. I don't think it would go to, into slander, um... I am very concerned at, uh, like, the, the stalking element, and then there's the, like, the youtube -y element. I don't know, it'd be a mess, though. What a mess. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? What a mess. I'd love to be a fly on that wall. Get those court records. Read those transcripts. 
Who boy. Meg, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Meg says, Ugh, I just watched the beginning of Foodie's sappy video again to check the tune. Indeed, copyright music, garbage as in the band. Strike in one, two, three. Well, maybe, unless she's... Uh, thank you for the super chat and for the for the note, Meg. I very much appreciate it. She may have... Uh, so in YouTube, when you create a video, you can actually say you've used copyrighted music and it voluntarily runs an ad and that ad revenue then goes to whoever the record label is. So she may have just done that. She may have been like, no, I don't care. I really want to, I really want to put this music on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Plus the other thing, everyone, just as a YouTube note, um, copyright strike and copyright claim are two different things. The majority of record hold, uh, record like labels and stuff will claim a video over strike it, which means that the video still runs. It just means that any ad revenue running on it will go into their pockets instead of the creator's pocket. Um, that's a strike. Uh, sorry. That's a claim. A strike DMCA. We all know the, the situation is basically them saying, Hey, we don't like this. This is our property. Take it down. Uh, most, most music, production houses will claim over strike because they're still going to make money on it. Uh, but anyway. And so. That's okay, Meg. No worries. No, I'm here to talk about the youtube things. Appreciate it, though. I guess that's it. Eri, there's a point. Eri says, I think she, she he could argue that she's made him unemployable by saying he's an abusive drug deal, uh, drug user. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of conversation about the speed and all of that. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea and no authority when it comes to the discussion of the legalities. Uh, but it would be interesting, you know. I was just apologizing to him, like, hours ago. You can't just treat me however you want. Like, I'm not a fucking doormat like you think I am. I'm not. Stupid? Yeah, I've been really stupid. My, my bad. It won't happen again. Oh, Black Cat, she alleged that Old Mate was a speed addict in one of her earlier live streams, which we covered. Good morning. Oh, good. Marissa, hello. Lovely to see you today. Hello, hello. Good morning. I did, Emily. I I smell a stunt. I hope I ruined your dinner. Good. I smell a stunt. I hope the cops added some extra fucking cumin spice to your dinner. I don't think they Shitty did. dinner. I don't think they did. Didn't you love his food, foodie? Sorry, just trying to yeah, clarify the narrative, good. not being shady. Now you go home and you give it some real thought by yourself, not on live stream. You need to think about what you did. What did I do? Trust you? No, I think he specifically said you need to stop, stop talking to the chat, stop dealing with the live stream, do all of that. And look, I'm he's he's trash. He's trash, but. I sit here quite frequently and I say, Foodie, you need to go for a walk in nature. You need to, like, get offline. You need to take a break. You need to do all of these things. And I, I still think she should. How about you think about what you did? And you're going to have a lot of time to think about it. By yourself. By yourself. Oh, no, sorry, with Didi. Didi's yes man going, <laughs> yeah, not your food. Even me, I wasn't like that with him. I always give him shit. That's why we fight all the time. That's why he hates me, because I don't fucking... I answer back to him. Didi probably just goes, oh, yes, Natter. Yes, Natter. I didn't think there would be anyone more pathetic than me, but apparently there are. Actually, there's always someone more pathetic than you. Lesson in life. There might be always someone better looking, nicer, richer, but there's always someone more pathetic. And in this case, Turtle Lady is it. Hey, chat. Just a note. Um, life is not a hierarchy of better thans or worse thans. Human society is actually really complex. Social bonds, lizard brains, all of that. Um, no, foodie. No, that's actually not how the world works. And that very specifically speaks to how you see the world. And man, I wish you'd unpack that with a healthcare professional. But you won't. So, anyway. Turtle Chris Farley, leopard print. Dee Dee. Whoa. What a wonderful story. life lesson, Jenna. Yeah, 100%. Oh, the long road is welcome today. Sorry, guys, I went live. Listening. I think, well, the cop wanted me to uh, turn my live Facebook live up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you going wait, did you just try to mock the mock the cop there as well? Like we're gonna wait for you to go as if I'm any threat to him. Oh god. No, 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 no. I knew that would happen. Yeah. Mate. They had every personally, I think they had every right to tell you to kick rocks, move on. A hundred percent. Old mate was in there being like, I don't want her here. Get her out of here. I want a restraining order. And they were like, mate, we can't help you with a restraining order, but we can make we can make sure she leaves. God, foodie. They only knew. 
if they I only f- knew what if they only knew that you'd parked outside of his house multiple times on multiple live streams and threatened to follow them around the city miss <laughs> miss you should probably be grateful that the cops didn't know <laughs> to be honest so much to protect this guy and he really just doesn't care he's so cocky whoa he thinks that like it's really icy he thinks that like he's like above the cops that's what he thinks he's like above the law above the cops call the cop you'll get your stuff broke oh yeah okay you're a stand-up person you can break my CPAP machine good for you and this is why you don't sit on live stream and let everybody know your goddamn business while like you don't rely on your chat to do all of this shit hey foodie here's a little bit of retrospect for you four days ago if you'd have organized with the police for a visit then you probably would have gotten your shit Instead, you spill the beans on YouTube about every single one of your steps. Cry to your VIBs to call the cops for you. That I still think she instigated all of that amongst her audience, using that specific language and playing, playing the part. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. But, you know, hindsight's funny like that. Hindsight's funny. I don't want her here to close trouble! Except for the fact that Foodie sat on livestream and said that that is exactly how Old Mate would have reacted if she called the police. So maybe she shouldn't have just like, again, spilled the plan and just, just done it like a sensible adult. But uh, you know, who the hell am I? Who the hell am I? Whatever. Oh, you're such a fucking fat lying baby. You know that? Fat lying baby. Let's not, let's not, let's not call names. And I'm not done dragging you when I get home either. <laughs> English professor hit not broke. <laughs> you deserve it. And you'll never, ever hurt a thread. You'll never hurt a hair on Pete's head, ever. Trust me on that, too. You, you know what, stronger, Rebecca, I appreciate, I appreciate the perspective. I am going to say this because I said it very loudly in my earlier stream. Chantel is a whole ass adult, and Chantel needs to take responsibility for her and her actions. Chantel should have been the one to call the cops. Pete's isn't her fucking caretaker. The, her YouTube audience aren't her fucking caretaker. She is an independent individual and she needs to make the correct choices in life. And that's it. We're all out here living as mature, responsible, shenanigans-filled adults. And we suffer the consequences of our actions when they are poor actions. Chantel needs to actually take action herself and t- take some control. Take some, like, responsibility for her life and not expect everybody to fucking assist her. Period. But lovely to see you in the chat. Hello. Order. <laughs> Carrie says, thing is, someone else called the police. 100%. And she egged the audience on to do it. I think I've been live too long today. I'm so exhausted. Because she kept baiting old mate to be like, well, you have a problem. You call the cops. And then the chat legitimately asked her, well, why don't you call the cops? And she said, no, I don't want to call the cops. I don't want to get anyone else involved. This is too much. And she kept saying it for four hours while she drove to this fucking city. Of course someone's going to be like, oh, poor Chantel, the victim. Of course, we will call for her. We will find the doxed information of where they need to show up. How fucked is that? So fucked. Live stream fighting. Oh, my God. I just want to go home and bees. Can we just bees? Can't we just bees? Hands off for your mental health. 100% airy. Take a step back. I had a really, really cool person call me and say... Not my reality. But I helped them through through some tough times and how much. Because I think the real question that the audience asks is like, well, wouldn't you feel guilty if you didn't take any action, right? And I spoke about this again earlier in the stream, and everyone knows my perspective on it. Again, it is her responsibility. She's a functional adult, and she is putting herself into dangerous situations that are not emergencies, willfully ignorant, and dangerous. That's all. Appreciate me, and I just want to say that really made my night. Thank you so much, and. Bees the way to impatient now. Ugh. I don't like the snow trucks. Do I have to wait? I'm gonna wait for this guy. I guess. Can we just wait? Oh. All the snow trucks are out. Oh, and all the snow. Like, a lot of snow trucks are out. Like, I can't escape them! They're just doing their job, but it's just like, they happen to be out when I'm trying to get home and, like, relax and... Ugh. Well, that was a waste of time. Thank you. I knew you would do that, Nader. I know. You're predictable. I know you, and that's why I hate you more than everyone else, because I know you more than everyone else. Right. I dislike both of you. Not equally. Well, there is no there is no winner or loser Enjoy in my fucking, dislike. Uh, dislike both of you. Got no Petro Canada one.
God, this is. My well, mom's upset with you. She's heard how you've been talking about me. My brother translates for her, and she's not appalled by your behavior with women or what? Well, I sure as fucking hell would be. Anyway, apparently not. Oh my god, this guy's ridiculous. <laughs> how did I even do this? That's I'm suing fun. fucking plenty of fish. That's I'm fair. suing plenty of fish. That's it. She wants to speak to the manager of plenty of fish right now. Get me the manager. I'm suing them for natter. For real. Oh, I did too. But turn off the sound. I'm not listening to that without music. We need we need Bone Train for Foodies Goodbye video. Bone Train. You're all welcome. <laughs> oh, good night, Jen. Try to find some sleep. Yeah, for my ID too. <laughs> Do you have ID with you, Miss? Yes. Oh, good. So they did get her full record. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if the previous police report that she filed will get brought up. Probably not. It's probably a provincial thing, but... I have ID. In this small provincial town. There goes the baker, like his breath, like always. And Didi was like, looking like, oh my god, what the fuck. Like, she looked That's the look I thought she had. Oh, uncomfortable. And, yep, oh, I would good. I hope you are. I'm sure you'll be comfortable later on my side of the bed, bitch. Bone train is fire, Denise. Agreed. You're both bitches. Got no bitches. Got no bitches. That's a nice house. Holy shit. Wow. I want to be rich like that person. Dude, Nothing's well, I mean, either. considering today's the last day of... Well, no, sorry. Considering payday's tomorrow, I think she's going to make... I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't be too cynical because I think that this... If she'd have held off this drama for another two months, she would have made more bank, but uh, I don't know. Right? Very cynical. Very cynical. <laughs> All right. I guess I would have been happier with my machine and it felt free gonna use the hose and the mask as manipulation tactic. I told you he wouldn't give me all my shit. It's good Don't idea, blame me. Think I'm the one who wants to leave it there as a way to go back. No, he doesn't want to give me my fucking shit back. I never told her she can't have it. You just literally wouldn't give me my shit. Why did the cops come, you moron? And then now you don't have my mask or my or my cord? My cord was literally my machine, okay? I left, leave it on the table in the background, inside the closet. And it's plugged in the back of the bed around like this. Uh-huh. And there's a plug there. Uh-huh. So Hands on the wheel, to, please. Uh, get the machine, he would have literally we had to unplug the back uh -huh. because I didn't unplug it uh -huh. and he hid it he hides it on the floor uh -huh. so you can't see it and but it's always left plugged in always. Uh -huh. again consequences to the action of not taking your shit with you when you leave your allegedly abusive drug dealer ex-boyfriend who's addicted to speed make better choices Chantel because he, he lies when I'm there so he hides my machine uh -huh. or like he lies that I've been there so he hides my machine mm -hmm. and the mask is in the top drawer he knows where I keep it right so why is the mask not attached to the CPAP that's a weird question games Clearly playing why, why'd she put Why'd she put it in a drawer and not just like leave it attached to the hose? You know where I keep my mask. You know the cord is there. And you're thinking, hmm, I won't give her the cord and the mask just to fuck, just to fuck with her because I'm so pissed off because she's fucking with me and making me look like an asshole. No, you're making yourself look like an asshole. I don't have to do any of that. You're all, everyone here is looking like an asshole. <laughs> Didn't you learn anything in anger management? Like even one fuck thing that you retained? Oh no, because you blame me because miss, you missed your last session. So it's my fault that you missed your last session. Uh -huh. So I'm to blame for that too now. I need to stop at the outhouse. If you said you were the person taking him there, I mean... No, I can make home, I think. This is ridiculous. Blame me. Blame me, sure. Yeah, that's Sorry, right. it's a lot. Uh, Nitty Elf has clarified to say she puts the mask in a drawer so it smells like chicken. Right, noted. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification, Nitty. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. There's a big salting truck here. Jesus, with the trucks. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. It didn't just snow. It was been a little while. Oh, okay. So she's... Sorry, she's getting pissed off at more government-supplied assistance. I imagine... I imagine the trucks that salt and... and... and get rid of the snow... Clearly, I've never dealt with snow. Um, you know, plows, Mr. Plow, that's right. I assume that the salting trucks and the plows are paid out of a government expense, is that correct? So probably a probably a taxpayer, taxpayer expense, that one. Mm. Maybe don't complain about services that you don't pay for, foodie. It's, it's a concept. It's a friggin' way to snow because that's right. Anyway, See ya, Asriel. Have a lovely day. I need a small. Oh, good to hear, Elle. No, I'm very happy you're sharing. Where's my videos? Thank you. Where's your video? <laughs> I didn't delete your video, honey. I uploaded a- But she did, though. Video for you today that I edited. 
And I cut your iPad off, which could probably cut your stream. I don't know what happened to your fucking live stream. No, the stream's not there though. It's deleted, right? Don't blame me for that too. Blame me for everything. Blame me for all your. I mean, if someone out there like cut my internet immediately now, I'd probably blame them if something happened to the stream. Yes. Problems. That's gonna go well. Oh, am I shady? Am I shady? I'm shady today. Yes. <laughs> you all knew what you were getting today. Don't be surprised. <laughs> well. I'm not gonna miss driving from the long road, feeling super stressed and like... The long brown road. Do I really want to be with this guy? No more of that, because that decision is over. I like contemplated like... Chop suey we like, watched. I don't yes. understand like how he... Huh, like you're fucking everything up? You fuck everything up. You fucked everything up with your... You're lying, you're cheating, your bad temper, like, and you blame me. You fucked everything up. You fucked everything up. You fucked the meal <laughs> ticket. You fucked your ATM. You're done. Goodbye. Okay. And you even said to me, like, the, I think, like, the third day we were in bed, and, I, and, and we were, like, holding each other, and you were laying on my chest, and you were holding me, and you wouldn't let me go, and I said, why? And you said, I don't want to lose you. I, and I said, why do you say that? I know I'm going to do something to fuck it up. You even knew you would do something to fuck it up. Even She's told this story from the very beginning of the relationship, so I imagine this happened, like, six months ago. Then, and I'll never forget that, because... Sorry, she holds on to the strangest and most useless memories. Said that that night? I mean, same, same. I can tell you a laundry list of foodies, uh, food interests, but... Oh, that was depressing. <laughs> that really, like... I don't know, that really just stuck with me for some reason. All this time, that stuck with me. Uh-huh. All the memories I have, that stuck with me. And I know why now, because I know I'm... I, I'm thinking... At the time, I was like, maybe I'm going to remember this someday. Now I'm driving on the long road. Eight, what? Eight months? Nine months later? And... Things are just bad. Phoenix, I didn't know that you would fuck things up and blame it on me. You know, I would respect you so much more as a man if you just took accountability for some of the shit that's in our lives. But uh -huh. you don't. No, you make me eat that shit all by myself. It's the only thing that I'll eat by myself, I guess, right? Is all the shit in our relationship. <laughs> Everything else is shared. Everything else is shared except for all the shit. Because you bring the shit, that's what he says. Are you kidding me? You are a fucking angel. Say it matter. <laughs> No temper, nothing, no problem. Look, I'm not a professional in anything. I'm a layperson in every way. Um, an emergency therapy appointment might, might benefit what's going on here today. Oh. What's been going on all week? Was she still in therapy? <laughs> She's still seeing her therapist? Was she giving those appointments away to, to Pete's? She should, <laughs> she should probably talk to someone. <laughs> oh man, he was bad. If he, if Didi wasn't there and I wasn't live, I don't know. Honestly, he's fucking livid. Good. I hope you're livid. I'm just going to say, we didn't see like we didn't see old mate in that stream. Um, he certainly wasn't respectful at all. But I don't know. Something in me wants to call that like measured. Almost like it was very, like direct and like ob like overbearing, absolutely. But it was like he wasn't throwing shit, you know. I I don't know. I don't know. What me knocking on your door and asking for my shit makes you mad? You don't like people standing up for themselves, do you? That makes you really angry. Well, guess what, Nader? You're not king of the fucking world. You're actually a nobody. Okay. And the more you also, that, I don't even know if she's recognizing reality. Like she's fucking there, standing, knocking at the door, giggling out of you know nervousness and laughing and then she you know gets mad and then he's saying shitty things to her and uh, i don't know i don't know i the good i no. the bad thing is that it's well documented and you too can watch it here on live stream for the low low cost of nothing the more your ego takes a little backseat maybe people will bun lovely to see you mate thank you very much for the super chat bun says me an empath i'm sensing she's a bit upset <laughs> i think you might be right mate <laughs> thank you for the super chat like you more and you wouldn't have to plan B Didi all the time and make her come all the way down here so that you can fucking argue with me because you're not over me and you're lying and telling the world that you are but you won't give me my fucking mask you won't give me my cord why you want to have some kind of fish line right mm. well guess what I'm just gonna buy a new one because I'm a rich youtuber and fuck you Chantal Marie the rich youtuber oh Pete's Sorry. absolutely I am really yes just, just roaming very around. excited uh, and I'm like the most generous person, honestly. Oshawa I swear to you, this guy, and this is pathetic on my part, and I'm willing to admit it. If he treated me how I should be treated as a person, he would be probably adorned in gold, 
golden robes and I would feed him grapes and I would lick his toes. Because if you love me and you treat me good, I will treat you so good. Chantel, I don't know where... I don't know what your relationship with BB looked like. I don't know how we got here. She brings up BB all the goddamn time and it's only been two years since the breakup. Like, I do not... I do not get where she started thinking that she could just throw money at someone and get... and get their love, you know? Their affection. It's not even about love. It's just... It's... Oh, God. I treat men really well in my life. And that's why I'm still really good friends with the men in my life that I've been with, actually. It doesn't end... You're good friends with Pete's. And we have a lot of discussion about bullying and control based on the stories that you've told us surrounding Pete's. BB, long-term relationship. I hope he's doing well. I wish him nothing in the current timeline. Bad. I make sure, I don't know, I just, I am really, really good in a lot of ways. I'm not perfect. I can be very jealous. I'm controlling times. Not to the point of like, you know, losing it to that degree but also Ari, that's a very important point you cheated on both of them i mean it would have to take a lot i don't usually date men who push me to that point therapy ma'am denise 100 but... percent. if she could just book an appointment oh no someone in the ditch here someone in the ditch. skip she slows down about natter and uh he's like this is too much this is too much well then you talk a big game if you can't handle it like why can't you just suck it up and just freaking be nice you're not being nice, you're being mean. Can you just make me more mad? Anyway. Let's get Just because you say we're not in a relationship. Actions, as you always say, speak louder than words. So in this case, I am I'm meant to infer from your actions, therefore, that you are more than friends with me by your actions. No, Foodie. Relationships, specifically monogamous relationships, which is, I think, the argument that she's trying to make here, because she's certainly not uh, opening, like, an open relationship. Monogamous relationships require communication. If you expect your partner to be acting in a certain way in regards to monogamy, um, or even just claiming you as a partner, you need to have that open conversation. But guess what? Foodie is immature as fuck, can't even call the cops when she's in a dangerous situation. Do you think she's ever going to talk sit down and talk to someone about the future of their relationship, what their boundaries are, what their expectations are. Hell no. Hell no. She expects that if she throws money at someone, they will be her boyfriend. Get out of here. Acting like a immature brat. Jenny, thank you very much for the super chat, Jenny. Jenny says her upbringing probably included a lot of buy her something so she'll stop crying, food and presents. Um, 100%. I'm not diagnosing and I'm not a professional in any regard but Chantal has been on camera saying that her dad was um less than close and basically just gifted her with money the short form of that story therefore money equals unconditional love I can 100% see it Jenny I wish you'd unpack it with a healthcare professional but you know Actions. it's just us if I'm sleeping every night at your house we're having sex making future plans giving me shit for not moving out yet and living with Pete's um editing your videos Going up to bed after to, uh, sorry, filming your videos, going up to the bed to edit them, having sex, asking if I'm sleeping over. Chateau, what's not to get? He used you. People can be trash. He used you. Done. Oh, it's, re it's really, it's literally one sentence. How hard is it to understand? They're really, so, so, so in that case, also, I'm meant to infer that you're also, since you consider those things friends do with another. Please do not infer anything from your relationship with people. If friends are shitty to you, tell them, because they might think they're just being funny. If you're in a relationship and expecting your partner to be monogamous, have the conversation, because guess what? They might not be. They might be reading things incorrectly. Like, oh, I don't know. When you sign up for a dating website and you say you're down for fun, or DTF, down for fun, deep down down to fun. That's what that stands for, right? Down to fun. So doing those things with Dee Dee. In either case, you fucking lied to me. So yes, I'm pissed and talk shit about you online. I don't know what you don't get about that. Is that- What I don't get is how you don't understand that you're not justified to talk shit about someone on a public platform for money, as a reminder, just because you're having a hard time with them. No, you need to grow the hell up. Grow the hell up. Crystal clear to you? I do not or feel- a foggy. I do not feel an ounce of sympathy or empathy or anything towards this individual. She- she is a conundrum. I want to know how it ends. Maybe I should go home and talk a little more shit so you get it. Like, I don't know what you're not getting. Oh my god, this guy. Worst manipulator ever. I swear. 
it's, it, I'm in disbelief at this point that this is even a thing. Down to frolic like, through flowers, like, that's what it stands for, Zach. Thank you, thank you. Uh, anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna, I guess, try to sleep with, I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't understand friends I guess with I'll benefits. buy a hose and a uh, cord, yeah. I don't know. That was a newish mask, too, and they're like $400. Uh-huh. Three, some, 320 I think. Or something. Uh-huh. They're okay. expensive. It's okay, you're a rich YouTuber, you said it just before. It's fine. So he knows that, so because I deleted his video, or he thinks I deleted his video, well, that one time I deleted that one live streamer, he was talking shit, long time ago. No, Erdy, nothing's changed. He's gonna be like, Broken record. well, there you go. The video was worth 300 so you still get the money for your video, dumbass. Just because it's deleted. It doesn't know how anything fucking works, and you want to be a YouTuber? It's not because- So how about, Foodie, instead of standing there all high and mighty, um, you, the person who took control of everything and care of everything, teach the individual how to do it instead of utilizing your knowledge and history with something to, oh, I don't know, try to control the individual. Not standing up for anyone, just, you know, it is manipulative, period. Move like, on. Yeah, you can learn. Look up a fucking Arabic video on how to do shit. There's no excuse. There's so many Arabic videos. Learn yourself. All those times you were crying in bed and pining for Didi to come over or for me to come over, you could be learning yourself. And you blame it on me. Freudian slip instead i'm responsible for you not doing your video because i can't teach you i can't learn on my own i'm responsible for that too you fucking baby yeah and he always cries sometimes i feel like you just tell me what i want to hear yeah because you fucking yell at me i don't want to tell you what you want to hear what you, what you don't want to hear you moron i don't want to freaking feel your wrath i don't want to feel your your angry responses again chat the amount of times we've seen old mate be trash and angry like we saw what the the we saw the um the FFG moment right with the with the texting and we saw his response to Pete's as well him like blowing up and getting mad and doing all of that I'm just saying the interaction at that front door was measured it wasn't it wasn't the same and he even said he was like you need to go before I get angry. It's like, yes, he, he's toxic trash and clearly has anger issues. But the way that she paints what she experienced there, again, it unfortunately just makes me choose not to believe Foodie consistently. I don't believe any of them. But, like, Chantel can't rewrite the narrative of, like, he was so pissed when I spoke to him. It's like, he, he I mean, he's a manipulative d douchebag, but, he, again, he wasn't throwing shit. I sometimes I, I just want to hear what, what, what I want to hear. You don't tell me the truth. I don't know anything about you. Good. I'm not telling you anything about me either. You know everything about me. You make me regret I told you everything because you tell everything online. Well? Juliet, if she walks us back today, I might need to take a day off. <laughs> I have no one to talk to about this shit. And I certainly can't talk to a friend about it because look what happened the last time I did that. Actually, no, I do have some people who wouldn't allow no matter what. Because they haven't. And I have talked to people. It doesn't like me talking to anyone either. Especially not my friends. Marissa, nobody... Why you oh, so you mean your YouTube audience. Um, yeah, again, Foodie. Real life support networks, we encourage that. Um, and he doesn't like you talking to other people because he's a controller manipulator. You got the same but different. Same but different. Who's this Marissa? Why you talk to Marissa? She's gonna tell everybody everything. Shut up, I'll talk to whoever I want to. California, no, it's not. He's threatened by everybody in my life. But he can have a person like Didi over, no problem, and I'm supposed to just go, here you go, here's some fucking Bambino and weed. There you are. Would you like me to call your Uber back home, Didi? Oh, you're walking funny? Oh, sorry, here you go. Let me hold your hand after this long week of getting banged. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm gonna lose my fucking life. Oh, Jenny says if she here. walks this back, you can check out a new paycheck. YouTuber called Anne Boleyn Reed. No, why do I need to buy this paycheck? Wasn't she the, keep track. she was the adult She's entertainer, right, on Taxes, Twitter? I know EG already. She's doing YouTube stuff now. Let's go down this hill. Might need to check her out. Looks fun. Oh, home sweet fucking home. How's Kevin? Kevin's good. Track. Kevin's good. Kevin's, Kevin's asleep right now. Oh, oh. I'm the halfway. Whoa. Oh <laughs> Joyful. <laughs> well, I'm snowed in for the winter. Looks like I can't go anywhere. She's not an adult entertainer. There's an adult entertainer called Anne Boleyn Reed. Who filed a... Didn't they file a copyright or threaten to file a copyright suit against someone on YouTube? Someone. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I was reading a story about it. I do see that. I have no experience with a narcissistic relationship. What the hell? Like, exactly, Capricorn. I'm not used to this friggin' weirdo. So proud. Thank you guys, but you know what? It was all in vain. She's been allegedly seeing this person for eight, nine months. I didn't even get any of my stuff. You got your machine. I mean, not the whole thing, but... 
This was all in vain because it was ill prepared and ill executed. And you sh another note, chat. I I'm not going to sit here and rely on you guys to you know help me in a dangerous situation. I appreciate you all being here. I truly do. You make this corner of the internet what it is, and it wouldn't be what it is without you. So thank you for being wonderful. Um, I I promise to never put you in the same situation as as Foodie does to her VIPs. Promise. I might ask someone to set a timer. Maybe. Okay. I promise I won't do that. Very loud. Oh, I'm sorry, Akira. I'm 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 being silly. I'm I'm playing dumb. I did cover um Amber when I first started YouTube. Yeah. Are we in the first? I don't know. We're in. It's like we're in a pink bag. Oh, Pete's has entered the chat. Boo. So someone's told Pete that they called the cops for help. Fuck it, these people. Someone called the cops. Well, no. And, uh... Did you say no? Yes, they did. Fucking liar, foodie. Is that a lie? We'll count that as a lie. Can we get the closed captions up on this one? Uh huh. Someone called the cops. Well, no. And, uh. I'm still on my stream. The, uh. <sighs> the cops were useless. Can you give me one to change? The cops were useless. This. I hope. I hope Officer Watts' face turns out to watch Old Mate stream and then fall down the Foodie Beauty rabbit hole so. They can hear Foodie talking mad shit about how useless they are. This, God, she's the worst. She's the worst. Yeah. But he's being a dead. Oh, and there we go. Right, chat. I've got a little bit of time. It's not yet midnight. It's only 11 p.m. Let's get on to... I don't accept your energy. Sorry, talk to the hand, evil spirits. Okay. Calm down, Foodie. Um, let's bees. We've got an hour and 43 minutes. Do you want to play the skip game? Let's play the skip game. Look. It's super high, Foodie. <laughs> what a surprise. Bex, hello, my dear. What's going on? You've just woken up. You? Mate, good luck. Hello. <laughs> good luck, my <Blake. laughs> Are you guys... Can you chat? <laughs> Of course, it's a marathon, Fanny. Always. Look, if she can go live for eight That's hours easy. a day, is this members only? I can do it for four. You know, it's fine. Four. We're up to four hours now. We'll probably get to four and a half, maybe five. Brooke, hi. No chill. You're back. <laughs> no chill. Girls in Lockmore. It's public. Lee says the the useless cops didn't get her weed or her mushrooms back for her. Yeah, that's why she's mad. Oh, by the way, mushrooms have re-entered the chat for anyone who was confused. I think I skipped through that part. Where in the timeline is this? Erdie, this is the final stream of the evening. This is after she's gotten home from Quebec. She has part of her machine and she's smoking up a storm. And we're going to get an hour and a half or so of whatever this is. I know it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Because they all bleed together. <coughs> sometimes, Louisa. Sometimes. I did Hexy. If I'm trying to catch up. It's not yes. open chat, is it? Lulu, Beezer Beauty. Hi. What's up, guys? Mushroom. Lovely to see you, by the way. Hello. Where thank you, you for joining in. It says public chat. Sam. I'm exhausting, Holly. Jen. Agreed. Step block, Beezer, Caesar. Agreed. Jaded. Chantel's missing wallet. Once again, I'm yeah, so glad that this is her reality and not mine. I couldn't. Oh, she she would exhaust me. Can order new mask and cord, She already does. Just fucking annoying. I, I choose to watch it. I won't get to sleep with it. Um, Elise, savage tonight. I was savage. Yeah. No, you weren't. Yeah, you weren't savage. You weren't a baddie. You were legitimately crying for your chat's help. You hold no agency over your life. You make no decisions that benefit you whatsoever. You are irresponsible, immature, and I wish you'd go to impatient for many things. That did me. 
Well, I'm glad you're back. Broke with the cat pick. You ordered Burger King. Call me Wallet for short. Um, I'm sorry that you guys. Oh my god, this must have been a hell of a fucking ride. You were badass. Um, Produced and monetized, by the way. I don't have a second sheet. With Flash, apparently, I don't she, she mentioned it today. Yeah, Andreas. Um, well, I just talked to Shannon. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm suspicious. I'm very cynical, so so forgive me. And I I kind of I kind of generally stand by like like when I break up with someone, it's usually a clear cut. When someone who like is a friend of mine, and it doesn't work out, it's kind of clear cut. I don't trust. I don't, suspicious. Don't trust it. I talked to her for quite hey, a Mick, while. Hey, Mick, lovely to That's see you. Was. How's it going? And actually, talking to her was the exact thing I needed. And Milk tea, mate, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We've got a write-up over in the Discord in Watch Party. There's a pinned comment that'll give you the, the rundown of the first little lot. Um, and Dean and Lucy have got some fabulous timestamps for um, part of Old Mate's video. So check out, check out the Discord. Oh, I'm so sorry, Milk. I'm, it's been a full day. It's been a big day. Big day, mate. <laughs> I just, even after everything <laughs> Big day. that we've been through together, the fact that she is more concerned with me getting hurt. Sidekick, welcome to Very Important Beasts. Really Link, I agree. Milk Josh, tea's fabulous. Me for real, the real one. Anyway. This is a Milk Tea stand um, account, by the is, way. She's, she's just, <laughs> makes me feel like an unconditional type of love from her. And I apologize to her for anything I've ever said. But, you know, for people that have been friends that long, it's just, she's like, you know, it's like we were having dreams about each other and I did miss her, but I've just... I just don't trust it. It's been so self-absorbed. I don't. Sus. That Suspicious. With this whole drama, like, I've just... I'm not even myself. And, like, everything is just making sense right now. And I just feel like I have so many people who care about me and I don't feel like I deserve it because of how I've been. And... Hella sus, Liz. Hella. She was like... I don't know. I just think that, like, even in... Consider this in the real world. Consider you're friends with someone, you fall out, you break up. And then you spend, like, eight months shit-talking one another to all of your friends. Like, are you expecting to patch things and make up? Especially if you consider, like, you get paid for shit-talking your friends. Like, to your friends. About your friend. I don't know. It's, it's suspicious. Stay away from him. I mean, him. yeah, you can argue, like, friendship can overcome all obstacles. But it's still... I don't know. Maybe I am cynical. Because if you don't and he hurts you... I'm gonna be in jail. I, something bad's gonna happen to me. She's like, she's like, I'm glad I'm in the Dominican right now because if I was there, I would be driving to Gatno, and I would fuck them up. Um, and Shannon, she's I've seen her beat up a big native guy before, so yeah, she's actually the only person I actually believe could probably fuck him up. <clears throat> but anyway, um, we're I guess I mean I do have to put things into perspective as well. Like Chantal went alone to. Uh, a dangerous individual's house with not a great plan. So, I mean, yeah. Maybe I'm being too cynical. Maybe I need to... You know what? I'll just sit back here. I'll just watch my stories. This is what I'll do. Just shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> you know. I mean, I, it wasn't right for me to say that thing about the stuff at the party because, I mean, like, her kids see that and they, and they do. They look up to me. So... You know, I'm sorry to them for that. That's but also... Just, ugh, anyway. I miss you, Mo. Sorry, Chad, I'm, I'm getting really, a little bit tired. Honestly, at the end of the day, like, I know this is just like entertainment for some people. Thank you. Literally my stories, yes. Peace. But I just realized, like, with Shannon, I asked her, like, she was... She talked about this, but she was in her own abusive relationship, and... That you blurted out on the internet for all of everyone to hear without consent. Yep. I get, sorry, I hold grudges sometimes, chat. I don't know if that's been that's been noted down. You were still in love with so-and-so when you had to leave him. Sometimes. And she's like, yeah, I was, but I had to do it. Like, I had to do it for my kids and for myself. And it's just like, it's <laughs> it's hard because I do still, I still love him. A lot. You are a fool. Less now than I did earlier today after everything. Because when I went to his door and the way he looked at me with hate, like, I'm supposed to be somebody that you, like, cared about, like, you look at me like you have someone else you're having wine with. He answers the door. He has wine with this fucking other bitch. And he's looking at me like, what are you fucking doing here? Like, I'm dirt. Like, I'm dirt. After, like, everything I've ever done for this guy. Like, I wish you knew. I've stopped caring. So, yeah, I'm heartbroken. I'm very, 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 very heartbroken. That's nice, dear. And 
I just don't even feel like myself anymore. This was not the same energy she had in the car, by the way. In case anyone's stepping in. And I know I have to do something... <clears throat> Regardless of how I feel, like, regardless of how I feel in my heart. Because my heart's weak. I have to find strength to, like, you know, slowly wither away. I need to cook my filet mignon. Hi, Vegas doll! So I'm not really okay. I know, Nashi. I agree. Go speak to someone. Awesome. Check yourself in somewhere. Take a break. And that's why you have to be strong, because people will prey on you. It's all about the wine, Denise. Aww. All about the wine. I have some really good friends. And you guys are awesome, too. And I thank you for being there. And being supportive. And Again, this is her YouTube audience. Not not her local support network. No, he wasn't. He didn't want to talk these to are not, These are not friends in the traditional context. And when he started lying about what they said, he demuted quickly and let him know everyone heard what was said. What did he lie about? Oh, my God. I haven't seen this, by the way, chat, so you'll have to forgive my... Create the reality you've always dreamed of? Rawness. <clears throat> I shut How about phone. live in reality? Don't create it in your head. Whoever's telling her to create her own reality, get Sorry, out of here. I can't delete his channel. Don't forget, you're amazing. Thank you, Georgia. You are too. He came back thinking he was unmuting us and he heard it all. What, what, what was said? I need to watch it. What was said? This arc is over, yeah. He doxed his phone number. 415 number. I turned it off. Stop it. it. We're not talking about that. For anything to talk about. Really? I made you lose money with your video? <laughs> okay. I've given him thousands of dollars and I made him lose what? $30? Fuck off. Oh my god. Oh, he probably hates me right now. I'm right. You're wrong. I'm big. Okay, you're small. Because... And there's nothing you can do about it. Ironic because of this hair at the moment. That's... That's a trunchbull quote from Matilda. I didn't say anything. Yeah. I'm just going to move on. What did he say when the cop asked what his YouTube channel was? He said he lost $500. He told the cop we were just friends. Mm -hmm. That's nice. But you're all, you're all jumping to a conclusion. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to strike out. Yeah. Hmm. We might have to get speedier here. Hi, yeah, I know. He was so livid. Like, when he was on mute, he was like, um. That's interesting as well. My cynical brain, once again, thinking that Chantelle is trying to manipulate the narrative because she turned it on mute specifically to have another go, another argument at Old Mate. And it's like the first instance where Old Mate was like, no, leave. You need to turn the live stream off. You need to, like, check yourself. Get out of here. Um,. Again, this is not a defense of anyone. Everyone's toxic trash in all of this. But it does make me very cynical that Foodie specifically turned the live stream to mute um, so that she could continue having an argument and is now saying, well, this is how he acted. And it's like, well, miss, we were there. You could have chosen not to mute the live stream, but for some reason you did. So I don't know. My, something in my brain screaming that I'm being manipulated here. He was like, you don't want to make me angry. I'm going to lose it. You don't want me to lose it. <laughs> yeah, I do want you to lose it. We heard that. He did say that. He did. You shouldn't antagonize people with anger problems. Though, but <laughs> you shouldn't antagonize anyone, miss. Like, learn a lesson here. You're an adult. You're a fucking adult. I mean, fuck. He did it to himself. I did nothing. You weren't doing nothing. Oh, my God. Chat, help me. Help me. Help me not get frustrated. Lilac, thank you very much for the super chat. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Wild Lilac says, a long time lurker, recently joined. So glad I found this wonderful corner of the internet. <laughs> thank you, Zach. Lilac, thank you very much for your kind words and for your super chat. That's not at all required, but very much appreciated. I apologize that you're coming in at a time where I am frustrated <laughs> with Miss Beauty Beauty, but I appreciate your kind words and thank you for being here and hanging out with us. I just want my fucking shit. You're the one being an asshole. And, I mean, anyways, you want to have fun with Beauty? You can have all the fun you want now free. I'm not talking about you. But you're not part of my life anymore. You Kay. used and abused me for the last time. Kate, I'm trying, mate. So, <laughs> really trying. We started out the stream uh, fun. Need a big talk. This is what happens when you watch hours worth of Chantel, by the way. Do I prefer this or Chantel so high she can barely talk? The second one, because at least that I can skip through without thinking I'm going to miss anything important.
Tenshiri, it has been a full day, mate. Hello. You think so, Laura? Did he look bad to people or what? Well, I agree. I actually really like um I particularly like I don't I don't watch too much content because who's got all the time. Um, I watch a lot of foodie, but I I do find that like live streams and just YouTube videos in general, I much prefer the hour long like hours long ones because I just I just it's like with foodie, I just chuck it on in the background. I'm just listening to people talk or I'm listening to it at the gym. It's good. I like the like the long lives. It's a a, a niche okay, interest for sure, but. <laughs> Do you want to watch Foodie Beauty and some idiot Australian talking about it for five hours? Oh, wow. Boy, howdy. Do we have the channel for you? <laughs> yeah. I know, Shantover. I know, Sofa King, exactly. I'll tell you, I'm so bad I was defending you. Wow. Kiki, Kiki we did. He is insane. It's back That's somewhere. That's how mad in he gets the, and rages around and stuff. In the thing. We yeah. listened to a I song called Bone Train. Are persistent but strong. You deserve better. Thank you, Amanda. Hi, everybody. That's fair, Bex. I appreciate it. Moody Mama, welcome to Grand Prix Ready Set Peace. People are signing up for her today. They are making choices. Okay. Moody Mama, you you are new. Moody Mama needs to mosey on out. I know Tracy. Miss Moody. <coughs> I'm saying I know Tracy because I see her comment and I know. I felt it. Skip. We're going to play the skip uh, game. The skip. cop did come back after the power cord. Gators, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Gators says, please watch the video she posted after this. I've already watched it, Gators. You just have to just rewind the stream a little bit. I think it was probably like an hour or two ago. We we watched we watched the breaking up is hard to do ridiculousness. So after the cop left, he said he had it. Mm -hmm. But thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Holly. Nope. Did she get her stuff from old mates? Bex, she got half of her machine with police intervention. She did not call the police. Old mate did not call the police. Her fucking chat called the police. Mate, we will talk about it. Kate, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. The, an adorable little loaf monster. Thank you. Also, what kind of spider is in your PFP? I think I've asked before. Redback? I think it's a redback. He found out his phone was off when? I said he was crazy, I know. Pretty, Did I curse sure, Punisher? Okay. Whoopsie yeah, I daisy. Totally can. I can block people. <laughs> I do need I a swear jar. No. That's what I need. No, I really, really created content oh, for my Black channel. Oh, Black Widow. Yeah. I really, really, really Poisonous. saw... Thanks, Kate. calling someone while he was eating and it wouldn't let him? Kate Lundberg. Welcome to Rainbow Beach. Ready to be? She is still interested in all of the tea. She's the... This is the worst. This is... I can't, mate... I can't even fathom being... Like, in the same room as this person right now. Mick, thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate it, mate. It's a lovely little lemon there. <laughs> thank you, Mick. Chimmy-oos! Kara, good thank morning. You, Hello. Chimmy-oos! Mr. Gone has a fabulous challenge for the chat. Sum up last night's events in emojis. Good luck. Want me to backtrack? Just seeing how much you really hated me. Like, it's a good challenge, though. And wouldn't give me my stuff? Like, the way you disrespected me? Like... Bex, I said by Monday. And then again, the shit with Dini, like, he's... 100%. He's mentally torturing me, and I just, I'm done. You are mentally I'm torturing mentally yourself, <laughs> miss. And I have a lot of people who point. care about me, and I would be really stupid to go back to someone like that. Monday. I'm not going to talk about him after tonight. Monday. Uh -huh. well, okay, what's she going to talk about all weekend? Monday. Her ours. Welcome to peace. Yay, everyone's joining. Cop number one wanted me. Oh, get out of here. You're the worst. I don't know. Vegas. Cop number one wanted me. Get out of here. They were literally... Oh my god, this idiot. You know what? I'm going to feel less bad about calling her an idiot moving forward. Yeah, he doesn't do anything for me, actually. You're right. I mean, the cooking, sex, yes, but I can get that from other men. Who treat me better, actually? Okay, I mean, I, I'm so bad for talking about him online. I wish you would. But I mean, hey, I don't know. I would, wouldn't want to go through this alone, actually. I wouldn't. Hi, Sammy! Come here, Chubby Use! Come here, Chubby! Here comes Chubby! Huge ass. Come here, Chubby! That's actually a really oh, good... Oh, he stopped because I said here comes Chubby. Sequence. Nobody cares! Skip. No one cares. You're right. Goodbye. I just wanted to do this. Let's see how zooted you get by the end. Let's go. 
Also, as a reminder to everyone, uh, Chantelle smoked heavily during the day and then decided to drive for half an hour. So well, that like, might have been a reason why she didn't want to call the police, but... You called me a hater today when I was working as a Severus Snape double agent for you. Do the food he made... Get out. Era. No one cares about see. her chat talking to There's her. Tenderous. Sorry, like, not no one. I'm sure people are very interested in her chat talking to her. I am not interested in her chat talking to her after the shenanigans today, and I cannot believe people are signing up for membership and not calling her out on being an irresponsible fuckwit. Ooh. Irresponsible person. Crazy. <clears throat> are you fucking serious? I want to see this. <laughs> Dee Dee said she would go with him. She said she would go with him to do the fucking restraining order. She's such a fucking sap. You poor does. sap! I hope Dee Dee, she does. Fucking, let's rip on Dee Dee. Dee, Dee you're fucking pathetic. <laughs> Zach Debbie needs a break. Nobody likes Debbie. Okay? It's you're fine. Debbie, and nobody likes you. We're almost done. What's with this guy with Debbies? How many problem. Debbies like this guy? What are you, a freaking Debbie magnet? Freaking sad sap. L, no. No. There's a difference, mate. There's a difference. Her chat being like, oh, we're so glad you're safe. Oh, we were so concerned for you. Oh, I was the one who called the cop. I hate it. I hate it so much. I I don't necessarily understand the people who support her financially to chat to her. That's a, that's a different conversation. It's whatever. It's whatever it is. Um, I super don't get the We Stand Chantel Queen Yas work. I don't. I don't. I just don't. Like... It's, it is interesting to see people who are just like, you need to take control of yourself and your health and do the thing. But every response is, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. And then she'll be pissed off and then she'll block everybody. So, like, I, yeah, I don't know. It seems, it's one of those things, what's it called? A sunk, is it? No, I wanted to say sunk cost fallacy, but I actually mean zero sum game. Where it's, what, like, what's the point? No one wins. No one wins. No one's winning. No, she has just as much to blame here. Oh, to be fair, I'd appreciate, you know, I appreciate what you do in general. You do you, boo-boo. I'm not telling anyone what to do. Appreciate you all in the chat. Thank you for being here. Um, but, you know, we all know... I don't know. We all know that at the end of the day, she's never going to take anyone's serious concerns to heart, and she's just there for the attention, and she fucking loves the fact that someone called the police for her. She loves it. I don't even like me defending you. Oh, thank no. you, Mary. Oh, no, that's really. I've got Beth, hello. On the side. I really appreciate it. And I don't take it for granted. I never realized how it affects. Like, for Shannon to, like, be on vacation and, like, she's like, I missed my 9 o'clock dinner. Because Reg says, wow, she broke 100k total views yesterday. Yeah, she was getting all the eyeballs. Because I was so worried about, like, everything going on. Like, when I answered the phone, she was like, are you fucking happy? What's going on with you and all this shit? Like, just more concerned about me than our fight. That made me feel like, yeah, she's somebody I need in my life. Like, I needed to hear from a real friend like that tonight. Like, she's like, I hate, and she's like, hearing her say, I hate hearing people talk shit about you. I hate it. She's like, your life is like a soap opera. Pretty hello. Oh my god, it fucking is. Yeah, so Sweatshirt. 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 Her cheeseburgers. Hey, you, you, and Channy. Yeah. Love you with all my burnt buttons. Hi. Thank you. You're dying. Mega doo doo. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't like, I'm just like. He showed his narc behavior tonight for all to see. Glad Shannon and you worked it out. Never can have too many friends. True, Marissa. I still, I don't trust it. It's sus. Like, and Marissa's an amazing person, by the way. Like, just. Some of you are just amazing. I don't know. Uh, Pete's, thank you for the super chat, Pete's. Pete says, lol, that's why I talk nonsense in her chat, unless she really makes me mad, then I can't help but rage. I, yeah, I just, for me, it's always hands off, right? Everybody knows my approach anyway. For me, it's always hands off, and I just don't, like, I'm here for the, sh I'm here for the show. I'm here for my stories. I just want to know what the hell's going on. But sometimes, you watch a human make the, like, the wildest mistakes day after day, week after week, year after year, and not learn a goddamn thing. And it's just like, I understand you could argue that like, Zach, why don't you put energy towards something more productive? I mean, this is, this is my, this is my chill. This is my downtime. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to know how it turns out. But I, I think for me, at least, if I was ever expecting someone to ever take my advice and not continuously, it would probably frustrate me a lot more than watching, like, watching the shenanigans. Do you know what I mean? But thank you very much for the super chat, Pete. I appreciate it. Thank you. And like about you, you should pity Dee She's not a fighter like you. Very submissive. You're right. I'm a fighter. Like, I'm like, <laughs> and even Shannon said that. She's like, you used to give me shit for being with certain types of men. It's true. This is not in my character to be with somebody like this at all. Foodie, you and Shannon have been dragging each other across the internet surface for eight months. I do not trust it. I mean, look at my past dudes, you know? So it's very difficult, like... I'll trust it when I see, like, the two of them sitting on stream together having a chat and drinking a cup of tea. That's when I'll trust it. You're not going to tell me I'm, I'm not going to be with Pete's? If you I'm tell me that, I'm going to go sit with Pete's and piss you off. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, 
You're not going to control me who I can be friends with just because he called you a motherfucker. I mean, your ego is so out of whack. I know. I'm glad people saw it too. Like, I'm glad people were, got to see. I really didn't think he would act that way. The long road. What does this mean for you and me? Of course I support LGBTQ. He's going to kill with his... He probably went to his last probation with Didi. Because it was yesterday. And then he has the nerve to give me shit for not remembering it. <laughs> Hello? Like, what? You have Didi there, you moron. Oh, I don't feel bad for him at all. I'm sorry. Just to note that this individual is a xenophobic, racist bigot. Sorry. Sometimes I just need to remember that. That helps. Yeah, he's probably fuming right now. I wouldn't want to be Didi. Probably anger screwing her right now. He'll never, he would never concede or ask me nicely for anything. No, he's too proud. So, see ya. I'm just rolling in. Mostly. Love yourself more than you ever loved him. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. We're going to skip. We're going to skip heavy. Let's, let's go. I get so high when I'm around you. Lemon Z. I can't touch. It's this thing. What did I say? I, because of my love for him, I think I was more lenient, like more forgiving and like turning a blind eye to things that he would like let slip. No like, worries, would say. And I'm just like, wow. Do I really want to be with somebody who has these like morals? Like, <clears throat> Good night. But then I try not to judge too harshly because I feel like, no, I guess no, we're not all. I don't know. I... Do you have anything interesting to say in this? Anyway, I don't Possibly know. Possibly not. I mean, same, what is really. This? It's just nonsense. What is? What do you guys want to. I'm going to watch a horror movie after. I'm going to watch nothing. Get out of here. I am watching a horror movie. I, I still feel stupid, though. Like, so many people are happy that I'm, like, doing these things, and I just feel like. I feel really blind. She She's fucking loving today. You can't tell me she doesn't love to all of this going on. I, I hate, I hate it. I don't. If anyone doesn't see how giddy Chantal is with the attention and the cops, and like, ugh. okay, we can agree to disagree. And everyone, I'm not telling you what to think. And you will all take your approaches to consumption of media, however you will. But God damn it. One fifty one of this one I'm watching Amanda. Look <laughs> tired and sleepy. I feel tired and sleepy. Okay. Watch. I want to see him raging around though. Oh, so <coughs> after all of this interaction, she's gone home and decided to keep watching Old Mate while getting high as butts. Great choices. <coughs> Rad mom, you welcome to Rainbow Beaches. Randy said, "Bees, welcome." <coughs> Lambo, oh my god. Into the sky, don't make me die. Me. Hello, Star. Good to see you today. Skip. <laughs> She's fucking giddy. Look at her. I'm sorry. This face is not it. This face. Sure, this is the individual who just went through, like, a horrifically dangerous situation, so much so that her fucking VIBs needed to call the police to assist her. I don't think. Is that what this one? Yeah, it does. Do you... If you... Okay, self-insert time. If I were Chantal in this situation, do I think I'd be going home, getting lit, and then watching my allegedly abusive drug dealer ex-boyfriend who was addicted to speed, do you think I would be going home and watching his live stream after I've just spent eight hours raging about the woman in his kitchen drinking wine and the fact that I couldn't get my life-saving fucking medical item from the house? No. No. Oh, boy. She's she's getting me. She's getting me together, gal. Reminds us of a crime documentary. Hey! Was that a good pause? That was a good pause, right? We do what is it, 151? Didi's insane. Let's not call people insane, but miss, you are pushing me. <laughs> Andreas, I thought of you. 151.55? Yeah! Her, ch her chat, for context here, her chat is telling her what point in the videos to go and watch so that she can what? So that she can what? Fucking kick her feet up in joy while watching, again... The allegedly abusive drug dealer ex-boyfriend who's addicted to speed and holding her CPAP ransom. What? Cooks? This is fucked. This is so fucked. This is so gross. I do not understand, sorry, anybody who's sympathizing with this individual. This is... Nuh-uh. 
no, I have grown cynical over the year, the year, just the year of the the YouTubes. But goddamn, goddamn, do I get confused? Ah, thank you, Liana. Oh, he realizes his phone is off. Oh fuck, here we go. Yes. Okay, hold on. I can't wait to smile like this. Mary Beth, that's the confusing thing as well. Like, imagine if you just walked in. Like, these are all new people being like, oh my god, she's so... And we did the poll the other day. The majority of people who are in this reaction channel who were watching at the time of the stream have all watched Foodie for between two to four years, right? So I honestly think, and we all kind of know, that people dip in and then see a couple of cycles and then dip out and kind of hang around in reaction channels if that's what they want to do. Um, we, we kind of understand. We know how it works generally. Um, but it's just wild to me that anybody could walk into this and be like, no, Chantal needs our support. Chantal needs someone to call the police because she's in a dangerous position. And you guys, and you guys, you guys, we need to, we need to help. We need to save Queen Chantal, you guys. Kara, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Kara says, thanks for staying up. Giddy is the word. Oh, it's so gross, Kara. Thank you for the super chat and for being here though. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's see. Oh. Lennon, I agree. Lovely to see you chat, though. I agree. I do not understand it. <laughs> Let me watch that again. She's not scared of... No, she's not Did scared of all me. She, but then again, you know what this is? This this speaks very much to I don't think Foodie lives in her own reality. Um, because you see what happens when she's faced with that reality. Like, she, she does that thing, she gets that anger like that anxious, nervous giggle when she's at the front door and now she's trying to rewrite the situation because we didn't see it on live stream. We didn't hear it on live stream. It was muted. It's just so bonkers, mate. It's weird. <laughs> was it... Beep, beep, beep. After the day, after what everything we have just sat through, this individual is going to sit down for another hour and watch old mate. Make it make sense. Help me make it make sense, chat. It's exhausting. Louise says, Yaba said that she's so sick of this and doesn't want to cover it anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Louise, thank you for the thank you for the note though. I, I'll be honest, like I I'm I have zero chill. I will follow I will I will follow a very niche interest into the ground until the end. And I'm morbidly curious how it all goes. But at this point, Chantel's confusion and frustration is very much like, back here. It's whatever. The reason why I, I enjoy doing this is because the chat's here to help me unpack all of this ridiculousness. But I honestly... Like, her, her channel will die when the reaction channels die. Or at least ease up or leave or whatever. It'll happen. And she'll have to cause more and more drama because how do you up the ante from this? Like, you can't. She won't be able to pull the views and numbers, I don't think, with less people talking about her, and which will incentivize her being riskier and riskier with, like, upping the ante of the content, and that people will still watch, but, like, it's not a long-term plan. Like, five years from now, no one's going to give two hoots about what Foodie's doing. Um, there will be there will be some people who will watch everything, absolutely, and I'll probably be one of them, but, like, it kind of gets to a point where hey, I just want to talk about, like, calories and food and problematic relationships with with overconsumption and health and all of those things. And this, like, who's going to step up and be a reaction channel to... who's Who's got lived experience dealing with this stuff? Like, sad to say that I'm sure there are people out there, but is anyone going to want to revisit these feelings to, to walk an audience through what Foodie's doing? God, no, I hope not. I mean, everybody's welcome to, but it just, it's so dark. Oh. So dark. Yeah, no, you haven't paid for the bill. Wait, one more time. <laughs> so, she's fine. You know what? I feel less and less about calling her specific things. I'll never be cruel. I'll never be specifically cruel. Um, because there's no, there's no point in that. And I don't enjoy being cruel, but I feel, I feel no type of way about calling Foodie the idiot that she is. Because you reach a point where you're like, good God, girl, get a grip. Her giddiness is entirely twisted, Bex. It's entire. it's, it's, oh, evil, evil. Bitch, see how he is? 
It's so oh, gross. Mm. Yeah, Meg, I'm not a professional at all, but I think she's not living in her reality. Yeah. She's not in mine either. <clears throat> Twisted is a great word. With a golden moment? That happened live? Oh my fucking god. Susie, oh my god. Everyone saw that tonight? I did. I reported the iPad lost, but I guess if he has Wi-Fi. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Oh my fucking, I cannot fucking believe that. I can't. That is like actually so funny. You hear that? <laughs> oh, she turned the phone off. I'm not putting it. <laughs> oh, fuck. The day her channel gets removed. The, like the day her channel is removed, however that happens. She's, yeah, she's gonna, I don't know. I know what she's going to do. This is... Her hug box is her coping mechanism. It is her reality. It is her source of primary income. It is her... Uh, you know what? I feel pretty safe to say that it is... Feel like it... Her chat as a whole... Not speaking about individuals. Uh, specifically individuals who are, are of the trollish nature. Trollish and entertaining nature. Um, I'm entirely hands off. But you do you, boo. Her chat as a... As perhaps a minority. I'm pretty confident that we're permitted to utilize enablers as, as the word now, because like you, how do you, how do you, how do you do this without the support? Not just financial support, but I'm talking about the yes, queen, we got you. Boo. You're so funny. Look at him. He's such an idiot. Like how, how does she function without that? I don't know how she's going to function without that. One day, one day she might. He's so hateful. I remember him telling me the last time he was yelling at me, he said, <sighs> he's like, don't fuck with me. Don't hurt hey, me. Hey Jess, because I, to see. I, if you, he's like, I'm the type of person, if you hurt me, I will orgasm hurt, hurting you back. Like he's really like fucked. Anyway. I'm sorry. We're going to rewind on that one. Cause it's getting late, but I need to unpack that. Black Cat says an important question. Black Cat asks, question Pulpy, when a VIB is blocked, are they kicked out of the VIB status? No. So the way that that works is that you hold your badge until I think it's th between three and seven days. So if you get to the full month and then you're unblocked, you will still technically be a member for like three to seven days while the rollover happens. So you sit blocked as a member and you retain that membership status for the full amount of time. So if you get unblocked, which is what you see Foodie do every other day, um, you come back as a member and you still retain the length of stay, essentially. He's like, don't fuck with me. Don't hurt me. Because I, I, if you, he's like, I'm the type of person, if you hurt me, I will orgasm hurt, hurting you back. Like, he's really, like, fucked. Anyway. I can't trust anything she says. That's the kind of person you are. You're proud of it. Okay. Whatever. Dude, Foodie, this is the type of person you are today. I would not be I would not be judging anyone. I mean, again, she's she's filled with lies. She's filled with lies and sadness, but I'm glad, uh, whatever. I'm glad I don't see him anymore actually. Like obviously like Sam, just, hello, like, lovely to see you today. I hope you're doing well. Of course, a part of me wishes so bad things were different. I want him to be so bad the person I had him made out to be in my mind. Of course like, you I want do. Him to be that person. Of, so bad. Yeah, guess what, Fruity? You can't force people to be anything. You can pay them everything in the world. You can't force someone to do anything. God. Feels like a nightmare. Like, that it's just so nightmarish. I do have Walkmans. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Thing. It is. No. I know, I know. I'm, I'm just telling you, like, honestly, how I'm, you know... Um, yeah, no, he's. I, I, Same, I am still alive. Yeah, I feel like it's been know, a long day. That's like personally me. Like that's the feeling I get, and I feel like. I hope you're well though. I don't know. Like I, I feel like I keep seeing. Oh, uh, Lynette, worst... I'm not sad today. Um, it's it's really just the last hour. Foodie has really gotten me into a. Into a confusing state. <laughs> First four hours of the stream, great. <laughs> Good time. Every time. Good time. I, I promise. But tonight, like, shocked me a little bit. Like. I didn't even recognize him, like, when I looked at him. Like, I tried looking right in his eyes, like, to see, like, are you going to show me any kind of indication that you love me at all? Like, at all? Like, after eight, nine months or whatever, how long it's been? Like, Holy shit, he doesn't like you, let alone love you. He doesn't have any feelings for you. 
God. Nick, thank you very much for being here for two months. Nick says she's giddy because she knows it's not over. Oh, 100%. She's back there on Monday. I, look. If the universe can give me one thing. Not this one thing. But if the universe is listening. I will be very interested if old mate puts his foot down and is like, no. Get out. Leave. Never want to see you again. Because maybe maybe things with Didier are working out. Maybe he goes to an interview in Montreal. Maybe he moves to Montreal. Maybe he never wants to have anything to do with Foodie again. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's a manipulative um, uh, uh, individual. So if he can get something out of Foodie, he'll probably continue it. But maybe, maybe, just consider this thought, chat. Maybe, maybe Old Maid actually has a limit of how much he can take from Foodie. And maybe he gets to a point where he's like, this isn't worth it now. I don't know. Who knows? And wouldn't it be wild if it is old mate who's the individual who calls it off after getting everything from Foodie's perspective for the last eight months? Wild. Oceana has a question saying, how will he explain taking her back? I, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't explain the last time he took her back either. He didn't really have to. His audience wasn't really like, you know, yelling for that answer. It just kind of ended up happening. And Foodie was the one who presented it as, oh, it was bad, but we're going to try and make it work together. So, I don't know. It's either dark, yeah. <clears throat> a piece of paper is not going to keep him from me. It's a waste of time. Piece I guess it's paper. a paper trail, right? A piece of paper might keep you from him, though. Yeah, but I don't think he'll bug me anymore. Susie, please, 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 don't go back. No, Susie. I mean, if I... Oh, God. That would be really stupid. Replace the student with Chubby and BBJ. Monday. Yeah, she's going to the vet. This coming week? Like, oh, next week. Yeah, this coming week. He's going to try to destroy me. Once DD leaves, we'll know. 100% Punisher. I agree. Yeah. That's why I, like, unsubscribe. Like, I can't even see that he's live. Nothing. Like, I don't want to... And yet you were literally just watching him and giggling like a an idiot at the point where you turned the phone off. All right. Great. It needs to be cold turkey. Cat Court, lovely to see you. Thank you for two months. Cat Court says, I don't think this is the end of their relationship. Uh, yeah, I honestly think that they'll get back together on Monday. We won't hear about it until maybe the end of next week, maybe after that, because Foodie's gotten a little bit better at being quiet about it, but we all know the signs. Like... You know, one to two hour live streams every day, drives along the long road, Starbies, outhouse visits. We know what the signs are. Yeah. Produce content over on Old Mate's channel. Like, we know what to look out for. It'll be pretty obvious if it happens. Because the more I stay away, it sort of gets easier. So, I said I gotta ignore them. Yeah, ignore Narc, exactly. Not or it's not fair. Yeah, he said it's not, it's not fair! Oh, poo, it's not fair! Bah! Mistress Rebecca, so what are we doing for the 12 hour stream now? Well, that's a good question. Um,. I do still have the hotel booked, but... Right. Why don't we... Oh, well, hello, chubby youth! Hi! Skip. Are you hungry or something? Skip it. We can do something during the day, and then we can... You know, <laughs> it's the cool cat night. court. You're right, but you I should, should say the full name. And then we can, like, stay in a hotel or something. I don't know. Oh, my God, if we live together... Yeah, Aaron Mines, do not do as foodie do. No, Rusty. Yeah. Hello, her. That's how we know. <laughs> no, he just reminded me of, I don't know, other narcissistic abuse or whatever. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it's Tizzy. We are. Yeah, he's a youthful boy. He's only five. Oh, 100% oh, Zara. These are just, these are just, these are just stories that we watch. Normally, I like to approach these things with a lot more lightheartedness, but, um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't watch this stream, so I was kind of expecting her to just get blazed out of her mind and, like, watch a movie or something, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I can just skip through this, and it just turns out that she came back and decided to be fucking gleeful about the events of the day, and it's really, really distasteful for me. Oh, God. Shoo, it's fine. Angie, shoo, 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 be for nine months, cut his phone, he's a waffle stumper. Ready, set, rebees? I did. I did. Good time, guys. You better put a cease and desist on the video. He's crazy, so proud you see him for what he is. Oh, yeah, the porn videos? Yeah. Can I wait for you? Will we ask, are we near the end? Minute. Yes. We what have the hell happened here? Yeah, we're playing cheeseburgers. 40 minutes at speed. those who are still giving you crap. They will never admit that you were telling the truth about what happened. Yeah, I know. Zara, Who's my plan for this evening is to finish this, have a long, hot bath. Yeah, no, we talked about it. 
Yes, bubble baths. <laughs> Let's invite Mo too. No, I'm just kidding. Your imaginary friend. Um, long hot bath for me. I can't think of that right now. Maybe some chill music. Just, just chill, you know? Just do a bit of chill. Maybe play some Pokemon. Then do the sleepy times. Please, Jojo. Then the get uppy times. Then the worky times. Then the Jimmy times. Maybe streamy yeah, times. Five. Depends on how we get. For years and I've how we get you where we go. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Vanessa! Oh my god, and thanks for watching me! <laughs> Put my fights on. I don't feel heroic. <laughs> Thank you, Orange. Yeah. I appreciate you. I just feel broken. Oh god, I don't care. I seriously don't care. Like normally, I'm quite a sympathetic individual, but Fruity really does just really drain don't all of that away. Really, just don't want to have anything to do with. Only towards her, like, towards other people. Kiss your ass, just so you won't fucking. She is a special case. That's how I feel. So. No one cares about you or your ashy t-shirt. Thank you, Amanda. No, that's unkind. I'm sure people care about her, but those people confuse me. He sent it. <laughs> what? Beholder's Beauty. Think of all the money you'll save, have every month now that you don't pay this crap. Patsy, hello. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I didn't give him any money this month because he, he did start making his own, but he still wanted to do that deal. I was like, no. So I didn't end up giving him anything. Oh, Kara, that sounds good. Oh yeah, sorry. Fifty. Yeah, you're right. I I don't particularly enjoy music in the shower. Maybe I should try that a little bit more. I like the sound of like running water. That is calming for me. I can't believe someone named Natter it not fair. Pizza. I was yeah, playing right, Diamond. Right, I'm right. currently at the <coughs> why Sky. Why do need to know that? Well, why not? Because you're being me. Sky Spear, Sky Tower. I'm doing um hard yeah, resets yeah, for yeah, Shiny yeah. Dialga at the moment. Yeah, Penny Dark Senses here. Been doing it for like a month. Oh, yeah. Can't buy love. No, you can't. <laughs> can't buy me Should love. Love. What do you want to eat? Love. Can't buy me love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Skip. Skip it. Hi, we need to finish Thank this you. up. We need to wrap this up, team. Wrap it up. Poppy's gone mad. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm hungry, though. Uh, Jamila, after the police... Thing. This is maybe like two hours. <laughs> two hours. I think I, didn't I buy some things to eat for snacks? Or... No one cares about your yeah. snacks. Yeah. Oh, good. We're eating. Yeah. Fabulous. Who's doing a calorie count? Yeah. No one, because we're not a health and fitness journey live stream Senior channel anymore. The way on. Thanks for sending these. Someone sent her fucking lockmas. Are you kidding me? Chat. Who did this? Who did it? I need to have a word. Mmm, <sighs> they're so good. Who sent this unmanaged type 2 diabetic queen Lokmas? Who did this? I'll, I'll wait to hear from you. Who did this? That was some weak ass Beatles. It was gone. It was. I've sung that song plenty of times this week. <laughs> Who did this? Good morning, Yamina. Hello, lovely to see you. Her VIBs are the worst. Agreed, Black Cats. Agreed. <laughs> Every, people saying no longer diabetic. Stop it. Unmanaged, untreated type 2 diabetes. You can't tell me any different. I'm not a healthcare professional, but I will make that judgment call. Isn't this, a sem isn't this the second time someone sent her Lochmas in two days? I fucking hope not. You know what? After the performance she's delivered today, maybe people think that she deserves it. She's really... This is the Emmy. This is her... This is her Emmy-worthy performance today, I think. Can I order something, Phil? No, I don't want to give it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's in my right now. Nick has a good point. Nick says she probably bought them herself and pretended someone sent them to seem important. I don't know. Apparently, like people are calling the police for Foodie now. They're they're literally feeding her. So good job, Foodie's chat. You're all, not all of you. Sorry, not all of Foodie's chat. Oh God. 
I had hot dogs today. Did you? Did you have eight of them? Then shame yourself because you could eat eight hot dogs or whatever the fuck that story was from earlier in this week. I am testy today. Not today, just now. It's from a place called Lockmark. (laughs) Uh huh. Is it? Great. You want your feelings, yeah. Enjoy your mini fried dough balls covered in icing while your blood sugar rips apart your, um. Not nervous system. Yeah, What's the other one? Him. What's the other one? What's the What's the blood system? Man. Not arteries, veins. Honestly. That one. Cardiovascular. Maybe. I don't know how I ever fault the people for that. That one. I don't know how I fault the people for that, but I mean, yeah, turn other. Cardiovascular, circulatory, circulatory, <laughs> circulatory, like the nerves. I think deaden. Um, with the it, yeah. Sugars don't break down. Sugars literally are, like, blasting through your cardiovascular system, deteriorating the um, the capillaries and, and veins and stuff. But anyway, Fruity, continue to eat your Lokma. <laughs> Amber Dawn. I had, I had fun. I'm still having fun in this stream because you're all keeping me well entertained, and I, I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Anyway. I'm just real mad at... Not the internet, just mad at Fruity. Not mad, I'm just disappointed. I don't know, one piece of really. Disappointed that we came back to this. Oh, okay. Disappointed. Disappointed. I will. Like, look at it now. Plain cheeseburgers. The blood pipes, Punisher. How could I forget? It's called the blood pipes. (laughs) The meat wagon blood tubes, Pete's. (laughs) I was strong tonight, really? Choices. Okay, Fizzy, I will. Dark Desert Highway, yeah. What? Skip. As I'm much fun as this is. I've got to wrap this up. I felt really scared because he was mad at me. Like, really mad. <laughs> when I went to the door. Miss, like, you are on the live stream. And again, I will refuse to allow you to write this narrative because I don't fucking believe you. The hate in his face just made me... Was it? Why didn't you show his face on the live stream then? Why did you have the live stream pointed to you? Why did you mute it when you went back for a second round of going at it with this guy? I don't know. I don't trust you. These are valid questions, I think. Every <laughs> screaming, we were there. <laughs> yeah. We were there. We were there. The cops stressed me out, but don't disappoint the beezers and go by. Mm. Ooh, pepper spray. Well, the only guy, I expected him to be like... Anna, hello. Enjoy uh, the rewatch. Okay with giving me my shit back. Actually, I did. Because of the way he was talking. Oh no. Mmm, dumplings. Mmm, dumplings while I eat my lokma. Forward. I'm really interested. I, the I am, considering she wasn't able to sleep and she posted that fucking ridiculous video, I can't wait to see what content she bangs out today. They're good. How about instead of sending foodie lokmas, and again, I'm mostly hands off, so you know I'm coming to the end of my rope when I'm telling people what to say to foodie. Don't do this. I'm not influencing any of you. Do your own thing. You are reasonable and responsible adults. But my God, if her chat does not tell her that she is responsible for her own fucking life today, I'll be surprised. I won't be surprised. Again, disappointed. I don't know who gets me these things, but thank you. Beautiful. Welcome back. How was Yabba's stream? Who, 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 who's missing an archie? Sassafras, hello. Lovely to see you. Enjoy the rewatch. <laughs> Mia, I appreciate you. No, Harry Reeves well. is not here to count them. So. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more. Oh, wait. Two more. Green Goddess, hello. Lovely to see you today. I don't know, sweet man. I think I'm okay. Full day of drama. Do you know what? Everyone's thinking that, like, the person sending foodie these, um, Lokma is a feeder. There's every potential. We don't know. Someone might figure it out, but I certainly won't. 
Um, we don't know. I think, in my mind, it's someone who's like, oh, we've just watched Chantel go through such a traumatic event. Oh my god, poor Chantel. She's so she's so hard done by. You know what? We should organize her a treat. We should really send her something to make herself feel good. What does Foodie like? Foodie really likes Lockman. Let's get some Lockman sent over to Foodie so she can, you know, feel better about things. Again, it's a very cynical mindset, but god, I hate it. I can check a couple days off, eh? Do you? Yeah, you probably should, you miss. Your audience should be mad at you. I'm, I'm mad at you. I myself. Disappointed. Not bad. Disappointed. You sending a number, Jojo? Okay. Thank you. Do you know what? Also, here's the other thing. I'm just going to say this. People are saying, oh, they're helping, like, they're helping her along the way to develop worse comorbidities. Do you know who's responsible for the food that's being shoved down Foodie's gullet right now? I'll let you know, it's Foodie. It's Foodie. Foodie's responsible for every bit of food that goes into her mouth as an adult. She is a responsible individual. She makes choices. Sure, people sending her food, like, that's wild to me and I don't get it. But she's making a choice to eat porch-delivered lochma. But I mean, sure... A feeder might have sent this, and a feeder might really get off on it. Foodie doesn't have to eat it. No one's forcing her to eat it. Oh, but her food addiction. You all been watching the same foodie as I have for the last four years? When's the last time you, you saw her take her mental health seriously? Like, when's the last time she made a, a good decision for her mental or physical health? T feel free to tell me, like... No one's responsible for the shit that she's shoving down her throat except her. Done. I'm not here for foodie excuses. I'm not here for for any of that. Oh, it's feeders. Oh, it could be, you know, it's just true and loyal fans. Okay, great. They're all numpties. Supporting this individual to what? Early dialysis. But she's ultimately the one who's shoving it in her mouth. Done. Done. Oh, poor foodie. Oh, no, someone sent her sweets. You all know she can't She can't control herself around sweets. No. She's an almost 38-year-old individual who has never taken anything in her life seriously. And at the bottom of that list of priorities is her mental and physical health. She streams her own self-destruction to, to fund all of this. Man, it's sad. No excuses. This is nonsense. Marsha. Thank you very much for being here for five months. Marsha says, what a night. Thanks for guiding us through it. My pleasure, Marsha. And I appreciate you being here for five months. And I apologize if I'm giving big disappointed energy to round out the evening. You're all wonderful. Thank you for taking control of yourself and your health out there. Thank you for your patience as we unpack all of this. I am getting through it. <laughs> oh, Self-care? Mm -hmm. Self care while she shoves. Shut up. Move on. Mmm. Sweet flea. Yeah. I'm not sure where he is. Really? Mmm. Korean dogs are good. Oh my god, Lena. Send me a message and remind me. There's a few people I probably haven't followed back. If you want me to follow you back, just let me know. Marissa, oh my god. Voldemort, yes. Good boy. Speaking of evil, let's skip ahead. Also, is she sitting in the dark in the kitchen? She's not even turning a light on. God. Way to get pressed about the lighting sound. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'm picturing him and Dee Dee having sex. Are you? Are you? <laughs> no! I don't know why I am, but... You oh. are a trip, miss. You uh, are a trip and a half. Doing? These fucking... Look at this. Sorry, let me just get petty for a minute because I'm feeling my feelings. Look at this. Fucking empty soda bottle over here. Just trash. Trash everywhere, miss. Clean up your life. All I have is vegetables. 
sung to the tune of Spice Up Your Life. What kind of freaking food is that? <laughs> I like bugs. Two months in advance, rent. You just have a light car, 100%. You know what? I'm taking lessons and I am taking motivation away from foodie for today. I'm going to I'm gonna look after myself this weekend, I think. I'm just going to have a chill time. I'm going to hang out with some friends, have a couple of drinks, take my health seriously, boot camp on Saturday morning, gym on Sunday evening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really take care of myself this weekend. That's what I'm going to do. And not live stream the entire thing for sympathy and f- some fucked relationship with my audience. Yeah, right. They're probably bonging right now. Are they? Who cares? You Who clearly cares? do. You're literally talking about it, thinking about it, and picking Jesus your nose. Jesus boogers! Like yeah, hold on, I have to put, pick my nose for a minute. Immature individual. Are you laughing at the Jesus boogers? That's really funny. Skip okay. through this Louis Vuitton bag. Trash. <laughs> like killing Baltimore. Oh, maybe here. gaming, Lucas. Yes. <laughs> Play some Monster Hunter. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe you guys are dead. She did. Good morning, Jared. Oh, lovely fine. to see you. Hello. I'm not richer than Big T. I'm not rich. Come on. What can we eat? You called yourself a rich YouTuber in this stream earlier. Today. One of the streams. Well, I wanted popcorn because uh, I bought dill pickle powder for it. Uh-huh. God. I'm not sleeping the greatest, so I'm tired, like, more frequently. Uh-huh. <sighs> this is weird how giddy and happy she is, considering she put that video together, by the way. Just eh, suspicious. Life after 30, thank you very much for the super chat. It's lovely to see you today. Life says, I woke up at 5 a.m., you're live, went to the gym, had an awesome leg workout. Nice. And now I'm back. Love your lies and commentary. Foodie is a hot mess. Mate, messy mess, mess, mess is the word of the day. It's not bird, it's mess. But thank you very much for the super chat. And I'm very happy to hear that you had a fabulous workout. What's your uh, What's your favorite leg workout? Let me know. No need to super chat. Just drop it in the chat. I'll keep an eye out. He doesn't give two shits about me because he doesn't care if I can't sleep. Ooh. Patsy has a note. Sorry, Patsy. Patsy says, Chantelle is addicted to instant gratification and now she will be getting less of that in the form of old mate's attention. She will shift back to her drug and food addiction to try and escape her reality. And she is responsible for all of those actions, Patsy. 100%. I agree. I think that's exactly what we'll see. That's if she doesn't return to old mate by Monday, which is also another possibility. I'm not telling anyone to think what to think. I'm a layperson. I'm just here watching my stories, trying to track the narrative. Foodie got me kind of kind of disappointed today. Um, yeah. Hmm. Here we go. My prediction is that Chantel will continue to make poor life choices, not take any responsibility for herself and not give two shits, continue to monetize her problematic behavior, be a racist, xenophobic bigot, use problematic language, and basically be the living embodiment of a dumpster fire on YouTube. That's my prediction. Just covering all the bases, you know. Yeah. He really just makes me feel, really made me feel like he hates me and I don't feel any love from him. So. Uh huh. Sierra, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Sierra says, watching all this in real time yesterday was crazy. I was listening in, I got like half of it, and then I saw the Discord popping off and I was just like, oh, I need to check. And then I checked. And I kept checking. That's another thing that changed for me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Life, Sweet. you had an answer. You can't have no pickle powder. I think Go I'm going to go to bed, guys, soon. I'm going to get off, at least. Thank God, me too. Uh, life. life. Life said squats, deadlines. Deadlines? Deadlifts? Deadlines. And kickbacks on the Stairmaster. Oh, mate, kickbacks are a s- struggle for me. I have no flexibility. Nice, though. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, that's what I think, Patsy. I honestly think by like it's either Friday or Monday we'll get a return to old mate, and I'll, I don't know. I'll just rage about Tomorrow it again. I might just give myself a day. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Oceana, I think so. It covered, oh, like I said, it covered all the bases. It's just gone too far at this point. I don't like predicting anything specific, but you know, <laughs> who the hell am I? Someone says he's fashioning me. Is he fashioning me right now? <sighs> We're going to get to the end. I just want to... I need to have this completed. Completionist Zach needs Hi. to complete. No. Oh, it was deadlifts? All right, guys. Adrenaline in my body, yeah. Pardon me. Fuck, what adrenaline? That's the sugar coursing through your veins. Cheers. 
chill. Chill. Yeah. We're here for chill. No. Just here to watch the next story. I'll see you tomorrow or whenever I feel like it. Uh huh. Sure you will. <laughs> Can't wait to see you today. Tomorrow. Today. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Yes, YouTube. This is a five-hour stream. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with you, foodie. Chat! <laughs> Chat. I need to apologize. I understand I have been a little um, abrasive in the final hour of this live stream, so I'd like to say thank you very much for bearing with me in my disappointment, but you, I feel like you can understand why. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the shenanigans. As always, I appreciate all of you. I hope you go out and do something wonderful. I hope you go and take care of yourself. I hope you never do as Chantel do. Take the motivation and the inspiration to take care of yourself and your health. And just be a responsible adult, please. Please. <laughs> For those of you on the rewatch, as always, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. And I will see everybody on the next video and or live stream. Bye.